<laughs> okay, hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's very, very good to see all of you, as always. Um, although, like, right now, I'm... I, I, I didn't sleep perfectly, so I'm having, like, you know, weird wake-up transitionary period. We'll get there. <laughs> Borderlands will wake us up, right? Anyway, how are all of you guys doing? Hey, Jules, good to see you again. Um, hello, Chris. Hello, Fade. Yeah, that was, that was what I was getting at. You, Fade, are trash. Yeah. How you doing, Fade? Hey, Lognat. Um, glad to have you before you have to go to work. Sorry, get to go to work. What's up, Rainbubble? Good to see you bright and early. Hey, Replicant. Hey, Quaylon. Bob, Joe, Mac. How's, how's living the dream going? Um, hey, Thumbs. And, uh, I didn't, I didn't miss anybody, did I? Randy! Hey, Randy. And hey, Pixel. I did not sleep perfectly either. Stomach was not happy. No. Oh. Why? What'd you do to it? One life cares not for your sleep quality. Time to lock in. Yeah, yeah, true. Maybe, maybe we'll start with something low impact. Um, hey, which is? Okay, no music. Full screen. Which is our seed for this again? Oh my god. Uh, okay, hold on. Mods, select seed. I should really clear out my old ones. This is the one with Biznap. I'm pretty sure we're XD. Pretty sure. Uh, open tracker. Okay, maybe not. Michael Dragger, nothing. No, this seems correct. Oh, fuck. Didn't I save it, though? Like, didn't I write it down? Hey, Sanka, how's it going? Good to see you. Wait, one second. Okay, you know what I'm gonna just do? Random, one life. Okay, good. XD. Oh, it is. Okay, I swear I took notes. No, maybe I took notes in the Biznap one. Okay, so let's let me write stuff in this one, too. <sighs> I fly, like... Oh, sorry. I'm flying out tonight with the family to San Antonio for a little eclipse vacation. You actually are just traveling for the purpose of the eclipse? That is really cool, and I envy you. I would love to experience an eclipse in my lifetime. Um, but, you know, so far I've been playing it as just, like, I need to get lucky. Um, so this is one life, zero. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, you fly like 50 to 60 times a year, and she cannot believe I haven't started packing yet. Oh my god, yeah, I know. Like, don't you know how to fly, Sanka? Come on, like, uh, uh, she's packed. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay, okay, okay. Zero. Thirty-six. Oh yeah, we were doing Tinas, that's right. I think the next US total eclipse is like 1099. Oh man, that was like... Man, I missed it by like 980 years or something. 2099. Okay, so you're saying that if I want to experience an eclipse, I'm gonna have to fly to San Antonio. Got it. Babe, we're going to San Antonio. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not going to San Antonio. Did I just select TVHM? God damn it. Uh, you know what? I probably could have let it play. Why don't we just let it play while we catch up? On the sleep quality, though, I woke up, like, two hours ago after maybe four hours sleep. Can't get back to it, so I'm gonna vibe here for a bit. Okay, I'll... I'll talk in a low, relaxing tone so as to help facilitate the sleep that you so desperently need. Apparently it's 2044. Yes. Sorry, apparently now it's 2044. According to the first Contact. Google result, no Lamac. Ah, yes. Lamac. The, 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 the first Google result, Lamac. Um, yeah, I could wait until 2044. Right now, absolutely not a place in my life where I can just kind of, like, you know, travel for an eclipse. Sigh. August 12th, 2045. Okay. What do you bully me? No, no, I, I didn't. I was just trying to, like, pad the talking like this. For the... For reasons that are the exact opposite of bullying. It was for your benefit, Pixel. Hey, what am I wearing? I've got an amigo. Right, we were using that for, um... Tina missions, questing, and kings and stuff. Uh... That's nice. 
That's nice. We don't really have a grenade to go with it, but oh, cool. That actually, it, it turned out that was in fact our best shield shield, let alone the fact that it's a big boom blaster. Um, we're not actually starting TVHM right now. I'm just gonna, you know, go this far. We're gonna find a place with a full four minutes of totality. Uh, apparently last time this happened, traffic was a nightmare. Go figure. If you're in the area, chances are you're at least gonna go out of your way to drive somewhere to see it. It's all good though. If I wanted to sleep, I'd just turn my phone down till it's only just audible, relatable. I can totally relate. Uh, that's also my, like, uh, sleep ritual, is I put on something that's engaging, but not too engaging, on, on YouTube or whatever, and, um, turn the volume down to where I can just make out the dialogue and listen until I drift, drift off. Because I get, you know, like, bored if I... Even though I'm going to sleep, I get bored. I, I have an addiction to, like, constant stimulation. Constant enrichment. So if I don't have anything, then I'm just lying there, yeah, trying to go to sleep, but also literally bored, so I just have to have something on. It's Biznap or your butts. You watch Always Sunny Reruns. Yeah, a go-to for me is a show that I've already seen a hundred times. Totally. Well, you've already seen before. Yep, yeah, exactly. For me, it's um actually corner gas. You hear me talk about corner gas a lot. That's my like go-to fall asleep background dialogue. Try it. See if you agree. Although you have to, you know, see it first. Got to escape Mopey's phone during the wedding ceremony and reception. Ugh, that uh, by itself is like the biggest reason to cancel the wedding now. <laughs> Okay, back to Tina DLC. Um, I think... Let's revisit our Tina DLC checks, because um, I think we were going to... What was... Um, gold Golem? Go gold Golem is nothing. Okay. Magical Orc Patriot, Magical Spider, Big Boom Blaster, Maximilian nothing. Spider Pants we're not going to bother with until we have, like, movement speed. Hey, Brain Freeze. How's it going? For the kill yourself check mission, you actually have to die. Yeah, we don't get whatever item is there in this playthrough. <laughs> um, don't care about anything from the kings. I guess we're actually just progressing, huh? Okay, fine. God, left tracks. I know. You know, it's it's really nice that those have fallen out of fashion, isn't it? Okay. Um. Yeah, Hatred Shadow. Cool. I mean, I guess, really, like, another way to look at it is, it's really nice that, um, TV writing has progressed to the point where jokes are funny enough to speak for themselves and you don't need a cue for the audience. Um, that convinces them now's the time to laugh. It's like, you know, Kappa emotes. Um... Nothing actually wrong with the Cappy emote. What's wrong is your jokes not being good enough jokes unless you have a laugh track. You know, like the Cappy emote is actually a laugh track. And we we try to discourage that type of laziness here. Alright, first check of the day. Nothing. Now about that beer out, you. Alright, moving on. Um, we have side mission here, and I realize that in this map we have to kill handsome dragon. How are we gonna do that? We're not spec kunai. We probably should be for handsome dragon, but oh my god, you suck. Same with using sarcasm indicators. Yeah, double down. If someone didn't get it, I agree. I understand. Um, 
Uh, it's not always so simple that you can just make a joke good enough or sarcastic enough to be gotten immediately by everyone, particularly like those like with neurodivergence, but... I mean, that's just the nature of human condition, you know, like, uh, no social interaction is ever going to be perfect under any circumstance. And it's okay if, um, you know, problems arise here and there. Um, doesn't necessitate undermining quality of interaction overall. Legendary grenade, you don't say. What would we be interested in? Me thinks nothing. Uh, we already have fastball? Not interested in, like, fire bee or pandemic? Not, uh, we already have quasar, right? Chain lightning. Oh my god, do we? No. Alright, fine. Chain lightning. Good call. Hey, Viznap, how you doing? Where am I struggling? Kind of stagnated, subsisting off the Slaga and a Triketra. Subsisting off of? Oh, poor you! Having a Slaga on your Maya. Wow. Damn, I should really buff loot or something. Anyway, you got this. This hmm. feels great. Where are you at, anyway? You know what? Here. Y'all are annoying. Oh, that was him. <laughs> hey, cool. <laughs> Points. All right, well, that checks off, um... Bunny from Legendary Launchers, uh, getting ever more closer to our Norfleet, right? I feel like I have bought a boom in the seed, but I might just be thinking of um, the fact that I have a hopeless surgery addiction in my seed with business. Hello, Bunny, but... Oh boy, I love Rolling Thunder! True! Alright, buddy. Alright, you buddy. I'm Stu. He's Stu. Die! Loot Ninja! Die, hypocrite! Hey, Platinum, how's it going? This is then. He has no loot either. Unique shotgun. Curious. What else is good for Unique Shotgun? Besides, uh, at least for Zero. Besides Twister, uh, Heartbreaker, uh, Jolly Roger. We've already gotten Dog. We're in level 7 Unicorn Explosion until after Creature Slaughter. Yeah, sounds about right for a normal mode casual. That is, and also, yes, that is fun. Uh, return to Sir Galler. Yeah, let's do that. Hydra. You might consider uh, replacing level 28 Twister with uh, 35 Hydra. Maybe. But like Twister, though. Blockhead? I'd fuck with it. Let's get your reward, shall we? It's not like the, um, you know, Blockhead is at any additional disadvantage than the Twister is for zero. And, <laughs> yeah. We did Blockhead, then actually, legit, I might respec for Two Fang, Death Blossom, Middle Tree. Jacket 1340. Uh, which seed was it? I can't remember. Where we got, um, oh yeah, no, that was not this seed, because in this seed we have dupes. Oh, we don't have dupes. Previous seed to this, where we did have dupes on, um, the In Memoriam mission gave... Oh, I gotta turn that into Torg. Yeah, okay. The In Memoriam mission gave the shotgun 1340. 
Why did I have this idea that that was just, like, you know, an extended bridge to the other side? And, um, by the time that I noticed at a split second, um, that it wasn't, it was too late and my jump input, uh, was... It was too late for my jump input to do anything. Oh. Anyway, uh, continuing the story, uh... The other 1340 shield, uh, sorry, the other 1340 shotgun came from, uh, Bull himself. So we got both of our shotgun 1340s, uh, from In Memoriam, which was just lovely. Yeah, hold on a second. Screw one life. Yeah, yeah. No, really, I'm not woken up yet. Okay, so the board isn't real. That's cool, but... Still, I shouldn't have just gone for it with confidence like I did. Side note, the reason... <laughs> the reason that happened, you know, besides my just, you know, complete negligence, is I have never actually run backwards to the travel from there. Not one single time have I had a reason to just not continue through this whole map ever before in my career. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool, a bridge across, let me just run. No. No. But you can make it, I assume, if you don't trust this board. Oops. <laughs> that worked. Hey, thanks, buddy. Are you listening to Death Reason as? Um, trusting bridges blindly while telling stories and, um, coffee not having kicked in yet? Yeah, I'll write that whole thing out. Yeah. Classic no collide geometry. Yeah, I mean, really, I can't blame that. It didn't help, but, um... Okay. Well, if you do jump, it's easy. But, you know, I'll just I'll just run around in the future anyway. Okay. Uh, Delet. Uh, options. Mods. Hey, you guys want to do the, um, spoilers ritual? All right. Configure seed tracker, fill in tracker spoilers. Uh, open seed tracker. Actually, does this even work really right now? I think I have some bugs to fix apparently with the uh, fill in tracker. Anyway, Norfleet! Magic Slaughter round two! Oh, we were so close, dude! <laughs> uh, Grog Nozzle. That. Oh my god, it was. Um, little old Hyper. Uh, Terramorphous. Which is fine, you know, we could have always come back, um, and checked, done the raid checks. Um, hey Jamie, how's it going? Good to see ya. So, my Sheremy didn't break when filling it out, but bunny emotes did. Why did bunny emotes... Hey, bunny emote! This is probably not related to anything, but... What version of Windows are you on, by any chance? Anyway, um, uh, Ruby at least? Son of Cromorax the Invincible. Windows 10, hmm. I wonder if Windows 10 and Windows 11 have def different default text encodings. Bunny Emote, um, had his tracker, uh, break when it tried to print out the share me to it, um, because of this weird character. Um, and I should really just make the tracker be, uh, UTF-8, um, since surely Notepad can handle that. I'll have to test with, um, Notepad or, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, Notepad and ask, maybe ask someone in Windows 10 to test with their Notepad, too. Anyway, um, anything else? Pimpernel. Where's Pimpernel? Nope. Why no results? Maybe I'm glitched out. Probably. Anyway, let's let's just start a new one. Weren't even using Notepad. No, uh, that's not what I was asking. Um, whether you were using Notepad or not. Using Sublime. No, I know. But um, what uh, Python does by default is write out using your system's uh, default text encoding. Um, in your case, it was like CR whatever. Um. Yours printed fine on Notepad, Windows 10. Well, okay, the question is, did your tracker have an issue logging the share of me? Do you have a share of me in, like, your tracker? And it worked fine? Actually, having high to school? Yeah. Um, 
Let's do... Uh, mm, enemy Rue, Love Thresher, Share Me. Why did bunny emotes break? Why, so, bunny emotes broke actually just, like, in-game, trying to log it using his operating system's default text encoding. Are you on... You're on Windows 10 as well. Yeah, what the heck? That's really weird. Why would bunny emotes break? Anyway, I'll, I'll worry about that later when I... Uh, next get a chance to work on the mod. Um... Edit seeds, let's delete uh, XD uh, New seed Everything No, not duplicates Everything else Okay Let's do it Do the Japanese language pack thingy installed But it's not in use Huh I wonder if that's related. Anyone else running the game with non-English language ever having been? Huh. It's the only variable that that is a variable that kind of makes sense, except for the it's not in use part. Hmm. Anyway, um, hey, who do we want to play? <sighs> um. I kind of want to try to have fun with Amaya. Let's do Amaya. Um, because how frequently do we play Maya? We don't. You know, that's actually kind of cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gage? No. Arts work. Hey, thanks, Arch. <laughs> mm. Hey, Arch, you want to see, like, running blindly like an idiot? <laughs> oh, man, rewind the VOD about five minutes. Here, see, play Maya. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's, um, give Maya a chance to be entertaining for us under these circumstances. Now I can get off this glacier. your metaphorical ship has finally come in. <laughs> Given that it's a Maya, let's really hope that it's a B seed. Maybe, maybe our first B seed will align with, um, you know, our rare Maya playthrough. We tried Gage. Boring as shit, because Anarchy's still the only way of damage. Right, and Gage, to, to offset that, Gage would need to get a B seed, and what's the fun in that? It comes with a class 12 heads up display, complete with a mini map. Now, come come, friend. Let's get you inside. Man, this is great! He's Sandhawk in Southern Shell. We could do better than Sandhawk. Huh? The insane prediction that Knuckle Dragger will drop a pocket rocket. That's pretty insane, but you know, um, less insane since it's you, Dota. Hey, Dota, how's your day? I'm gonna be rich, <laughs> Jamie. Oh man, we should have done um, uh, uh, kill yourself. You know, let's go check. But maybe in the future we'll actually um, hold on. That's not what I asked you to open, is it? Seeds. Right click. Open with code. Thank you. That was XD. Uh, kill yourself. Uh, do it. It just gives T to your shield. We weren't missing anything. Alright, I'm gonna delete this. Okay. I'll throw my hat in. Michael Drager has Pimpernel. Now you're talking for Maya. I'll, I would accept a wonderfully... Available Pimpernel farm on Maya. It's gonna be Citrine Pistol. Okay. Hey, Glasgow. I ran off a cliff. Thought there was a bridge in a part of a map that I wasn't familiar with, and there wasn't. Or they'll rip your eyes out. Um, I I blame it. I blame my energy level right now. The dragon drops actualizer. Okay. 
Man, I wonder. If we get enough people guessing every gun in the game, then someone's got to be right, right? So, like, right now we have Nirvana, Actualizer, Citrine Pistol, Pocket Rocket, uh, yeah. I vote beer. There we go. Now we're talking a realistic prediction. I also vote beer. Um, but hey, why don't we... Unassuming docks. Get our level five. Sledges. Okay. You arrive at the docks of flame. You want life action to de rest before this doing your Maya finish mode? Still so feel rusty as fuck? Yeah. yeah. Everything up. Relatable. I say we head toward the town to investigate. Oops. Guess what we gotta do? Beer coat is coward threat. Vote. Uh, yeah, that's true. Right, beer being the absolute most likely. Um, there's only one pocket rocket in the entire seed, but there's um, 160 or whatever beers. Hey, to the left. Man. I'm not very good at games, am I? You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing. The dragon attacks and There you go. Okay. Yeah, guess the if you guess the beer, you have to guess the flavor text. Man, his flavor text isn't just like the most appropriate term when it comes to beer. Hey Googly, how you doing? Was it two more days now? Flame Rock Refuge, a far oh, cry from Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer hey, Sparrow, good to see you. Oh, Purple Doll uh, Sniper, Nuba. okay. Uh, and his nick and here's spooky music. And the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. This area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Does that work? Suddenly you're this attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you. No archer, please. Thank you. No archer, please. You'll get more experience from defeating them, but they'll be much, much harder to kill. Oh, and if you see an enemy with a skull next to his name, run like the No way. golem, please. Where's pants? Okay, good. Good, he's contributing. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite so far is good. Where's Gunpile? Yeah. You know, we actually didn't think of that one when we were first coming up with this list. Everyone contributed to the the list of um uh dud flavor texts. But um for some reason we didn't think of that one. I thought of that one later um when someone else was doing that mission. This golem's got a real tough matchup right now. Tons of archers this time around. Ah, couldn't get that last shot off, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did you immediately switch to me? Okay, we're fine. Oh, no, wait, this way. Just don't get shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. His twin will avenge him. Yeah, right, right. Twin. Littermate? I feel like the whole world is their mother. They're, they're born from the earth itself. So, like, is twin correct? Right. Your phone unlocks, so you can use your phone. Oh, okay, right. Wow, that is not something that I would have considered. Man, that's a lot of details, huh? You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting glimpse. New bony fans drop. We don't. We don't deserve to know. We'll find out um, if we just happen to accidentally see him in the tracker, or. Oh uh, wait. 
Uh, or, uh, you know, by actually, like, killing him when we get to this level. You'd both golems well, die. Really? You had both golems die. Like I've never actually uh, had that issue. Space. Where Bony Pants outlives space. both of them. <laughs> Girl looks like she got a problem. Hey, Ether. Thanks, dude. I talked to her. In character. 75. <laughs> yeah, that's like, um, you know, if our sub were a company, it would do like a big promotion to celebrate its 75th. So where'd she go? I ran off a cliff. Ether, I don't want to talk about it. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. Hello, Moab. You go to the the You're starting another one life. Nobody's technically allowed in the forest. If I, oh, world come world. on! Why? A real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. Okay. 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 Fake bridge. Yeah, right. Fooled by a fake bridge that I had um, never attempted to run over before. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop, time out. I gotta do do. this. Tina. Well, even out enemies still have time. What was the thought process? I don't know, make it feel more alive. It's okay, got like a graveyard or something. Okay, it's not even a graveyard. It's a pumpkin patch. And um, pumpkin patches are famous for having skeletons in them in Dungeons & Dragons. Right. We're just gonna have to do is find a deodorant that works. Okay. Immediately, without reading the rest of what you said, I agree. That's the weirdest thing you're gonna have to do. A lot of what they use is the ball roll-on ones. Huh? Oh my god, aim low, I guess. That was the weirdest culture shock. No kidding. Yep, I'm really not familiar with anything other than stick or spray. I will agree. Ball? Ball of what? <laughs> Legit allergic to the gel deodorant. Okay, well, there's, like, gel deodorant that comes in, or the stick comes in gel, or, I don't know, what, what would you call that, a salve? Or do you mean, like, all stick? Hey, Glenny, how you doing? Good to see ya. Don't worry, it, it hasn't held you back. You smell delightful. It's like a ballpoint pen, but much larger. Right, but, like, uh, how, how do you contain a, you know extended amount of deodorant in that format. Is it like a liquid? Um, similar to ink behind a ball in a ballpoint pen? And then as the ball rolls, it continuously wets, and then, you know, the wet ball transfers to your pits. You know what I love about this yeah, it's a liquid, uh, huh, okay. Just destroy the village's only way Use a stick, but they, wet. if they are no gel or whatever, it makes sense. Right, 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 right. Right, so you use, like, the white, opaque kind of stick. Me as well, these days. I don't even know they made that gel stuff anymore. Never dried on you in the 90s. <laughs> well, okay, I guess maybe I... Okay, when I hear gel stick, I think, like, the semi-translucent, like, blue ones. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never see nothing douchey again, I promise. <laughs> Bitch! That is unacceptable! Mm -hmm. Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! And a whole line of that Jill stuff. He's <laughs> away! God, Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The queen is counting on you. I'm trying to imagine <laughs> this 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a culture shock, even to me, hearing about it. I cannot imagine this, um... You know, ballpoint deodorant application system. Please get him out like, like, I understand it, but I can't visualize it and have it seem correct in my brain. You've never even seen a stick slash gel deodorant. I wonder if they didn't catch on so well in the UK. Uh, that, or rather, um, they were entirely replaced by what? Spray? Or, or ball? The progression in the U.S., as I understand it, was, you know, everyone used, um, stick, and then spray was invented, and spray semi-caught on, so some people use spray and some people use stick. Tranquility. For ball stuff. Alright, let me see. Oh. Okay. I have seen this before, uh, for cosmetics, but not deodorant, it was, like, for something else. Like, some female, you know, uh, again, cosmetic Boring. product. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so deodorant comes in that format. Gotcha. Dang, now I gotta come up with Spray and ball are the two common it. ones here. Yeah, okay. Stick deodorant is more common than women's deodorant. Oh. I just googled ball deodorant, got ads for deodorant for my balls. That makes sense, right? <laughs> A long time since you yeah, I never have. I feel like that's old school, but I remember those types when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, no. Yeah. No, for me, you know, as a kid, I just was brought up on the existence of um axe body spray and stick. Yeah. Is like a cylinder you put Yeah, it's kind of like a, a push pop. Um, but uh the propelling mechanism is like you twist it like a screw. Hey pork, good to see you, dude. How you doing? Long time, man. Pork, you're in the UK. Do you use ball deodorant? Or spray deodorant? And are you familiar with um stick deodorant? Let's go. If we don't get my eye back, we'll never get to sanctuary. I mean, I'm older than you, Googly. I, I just think by sheer coincidence, like I never was exposed to this. I thought arid spray is the only kind. And a little brute for those date nights. A little brute? Brute as in dry? Come on, Clappy. Fair, I would have thought you were around my age. Oh, you're. I bet you say that to all the gals. Brute is an aftershave. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know many French words, but I do know that one means dry, literally. As opposed to sec, which means sweet. Shut up. Yeah. Great. Now get me out of here before more bully mongs arrive. Hey, kiddo, Jack. Hello, Ninizuka. Wrong. Oh. Vault Hunter Aww. looks for the new vault. Vault Hunter gets killed by me. You see, you see the problem here? You're still alive. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. I remember Avon selling it. Oh man, now that's dating yourself. Do you want to first antiperspirant? Use antiperspirant. Sure, okay. Did I tell you that I went to this art showcase for my country? County. I was like, for your country? <laughs> uh, one of your kids' art was being displayed there. Wait, really? Okay. Um, her parents invited me to go and I went to support her. It was a great thing. That is so wholesome. I mean, this kid is like, what, seven or eight or something? And they've got like an art display? Shit. She's eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her, dude. Do 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 do
it to you. Anyway, where's the echo? If you would, retrieve my eye for me. Oh, and I apologize for saying walk out my eye. Mm. Great. Now we just gotta find someone to play that game with me. Much as I'm sure you'd like to check your fist out of my skull, I'll do surgery is best left to professionals. Mm. Well, Paul Hammerlock in Lyersburg can fix me up. I'll see. Anyway, um... After that, I decided to give her a little sketchbook because she loves to draw nuts. Yeah, right, encourage the hell out of that shit. Uh, the very next day, she drew a pip love. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so she knows that's your favorite. Oh, God, I really hope that's your favorite. I didn't just get that wrong. Hey, where's my damn hint? No echo. Well, I mean, there has to be something somewhere. Right? Yeah. Mods. Are those space like pants? Okay, uh, we are F D double J. Your butt is from space. <laughs> Thumbs, thanks for that, dude. Are those space pants? Um, because your butt is thanks space. Thanks for getting our your Glenny. Butt is from okay, space. Knuckle Dragger drops Seraf weapon. Why didn't we see him? Let's say we cut through it, chum. Uh, it probably just flew into the void. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this door's Hyperion tech. Child. Um. Bunny, enjoy the sub from more thumbs. Man, really, thanks, thumbs. God, I really hope I got your favorite Pokemon right. I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Cause like, yeah, no, your avatar is Piplup. Pretty sure you're all about Piplup. <laughs> it is, okay, thank God, yeah. Well, it was nice knowing you. I hear getting eaten alive by bully bugs. Echo Dragger did his best crazy Earl impression. Eat a beer bottle, yeah, right, right. Executing phase shift. of being an artificial intelligence I'm networked into almost everything on this planet it's a long way to sanctuary please take whatever you need for the journey ahead yeah you told your kids it was your favorite we had a whole conversation and she and, and but you didn't just have a conversation about it it's like you know she cared about you enough to like remember that about you and then when you gave her a sketch pad to draw on she like drew that for you and um, anyway, we'll, um, we'll go back and we'll farm Knuckle Dragger after we, you know, get a weapon. Uh, it is not efficient farming Knuckle Dragger with the starter pistol and the starter shotgun. Yeah, hey, Taro. Um, when are you leaving? It's today, right? Surgery. Excuse me. And I'm still offering a reward for Roland, the mass murdering mm. leader of the Crimson Raiders. Good Tomorrow, okay. Friends. Wake up at four, leave by five. Lovely, fun. Speaking of, I was informed today by a medical friend that I might need minor surgery. So that's cool and fun and sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're uh, looking for an audience for that surgery, I mean, I'm just saying I'm available. <laughs> mm. Um, okay, what do you mean by informed by? You know, to me, I think of, like, um, needing surgery as something that you get, like, you know, uh, Rigorous diagnosis about. But okay. Friend is medical field. They said it under some context. In which it was relevant. hour play. Fuck yeah! Oh man, you gotta plan for that part, like, you know, 30 hours worth of entertainment slash sleeping aids. Your mod may get me playing field too. Oh, you seen it? It's been like 18 months. No, I understand, trust me. Um, I, yeah, I, I know that, um, you, uh, couldn't play this game literally forever the way some freaks do. Uh, but I'm really flattered that actually, like, um, you know, this concept has you interested that much. Cool. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, Volt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. Other people have been saying something similar, like, you know, they haven't been able to play this game for years or whatever. Um, 
at your service. Or they've never modded Borderlands before, but like this one is uh, an interesting enough concept to uh, come back or, or do that for the first time. Because your butt is space. Hey, Randy, your thanks for getting rid Oh, and also, I miss Glista. Glista, uh, Glista, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Because, despite how it may seem, I love you. <laughs> thanks, Glista. Happy 19 months, friend. Old friend. And also, happy Wednesday. Good to have you. Hope you're doing good. Also, enjoy the sub, like, again. Again, for the 19th time. Thanks. And, yeah, then Randy, thanks for getting our old friend, Pork. Appreciate that. Thanks for doing something nice. Uh, Pork is a real stand-up, wholesome dude, and, you know, thanks. Thanks for doing something good for him. He totally deserves it. Pork, enjoy the sub, man. Thanks to our Randy. Also a totally wholesome stand-up dude. Alright, don't talk to Claptrap. Let's uh really definitely let's hope for a weapon. Man, this shit is a grind, these two guns. I only got around to playing BL3 last month. Oh, you never had, huh? How you liking it? Got gifted the game, that's nice, yeah. Already 300 hours in! You said you started last month. 300 hours. How many hours are in a month? That's a 30 times 24. Like 600? Something? There we go. <laughs> a sleeping cat now in your lap. Enjoy it while you can. Okay, absolutely a hellfire will speed up these things. Okay, pick it up again. No, wait, wrong way around. Ah, uh, hold on. Well, maybe this will be a better hellfire. No, sorry, pick up bad fur day, then pick up... Uh... Town ain't big enough again. Will think twice <laughs> Played in for bad for day, you're right. Hopefully. SMG Maya off to a start. Yeah, you know. Um, I will say I never run SMG Maya, and um part of the reason is I don't find Maya to be as interesting when you're not focusing on uh your kill skills and your phase lock procs. Uh, the other part of the, uh, the other reason is I don't generally find um, the SMGs that you acquire reasonably to be interesting. Please make Captain Flint's That's absolutely better. Time. Okay, but this time, Quite bad too. hair day. Town ain't big no enough. Captain Flint killed everyone in Lyle's Lake. I see no reason that Lyle's bully mong should long ago <laughs> about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former town. It's like, you know, the fun the SMGs in the game is like the Tattler. Uh, and, like, the yellow jacket, I guess. Oh. You know, the problem with this is the dot. Don't burn to death. Just choose not to do that. Uh, you know, come to think of it, though, it makes perfect sense to really just... Ugh. Do the little babies on the ground. Kill these guys, punch babies downstairs. That's where we keep the punchable babies. Most Maybe how's it going? Uh, ran off a cliff. <laughs> Blindly trusted a bridge I'd never walked across before. Ooh, 
Are you collecting gold on fur? I love that show! Oh, am I? <laughs> Wonderful, you've gotten all the fur I need. But anyway, um, your butt is from space. Provided the game, you know, or the seed rather, uh, pushes us in the direction of, you know, doing a SMG Maya, especially one that's in a fun way, uh, I'll absolutely do it. All right, town big enough. Save, quit. To be able to turn in bad fur day. Yeah, trade hair. Hey, look at that! SMG Maya! Wow. Alright. What was I saying about pushing? Um, okay, you can go, because we're not going to get another one of those. Um, but we do want to see what Hammy gives. Hey, Cyclone. How's it going? Kind of weird to hear Claptrap's lines for Bad Hair Day. Not over the echo, I know. Damage, dude. <laughs> kind of weird not hearing any dialogue for Bad Fur Day. And I don't. Well. Still complete this, assuming that Hammerlocks is something we want to see again. You already got a Hellfire. <laughs> already got an actualizer. The real woe. Um, give me Ward. Thanks. All right, what you got? Nothing. All right, cool. Uh, still, we do need to finish this so we can do shielded favors. <laughs> Claptrap seed, yeah, right, right. I think someone donated. Oh, shit! Man, I can't even catch every alert today. Ani! Hey, Ani, friend! Um, thanks for the $30, dude. Been really enjoying BL2 thanks to your mod. I'm just happy to hear that, you know? Been some time since, so see that as a donation to the streamer, but not just to the streamer, but to the modder, too. Yeah, no, no, I figured. And, um, either way, man, does it mean a lot. Uh, both ways, man, does it mean a lot. Thanks, Ani. Thanks for... Thanks for going above and beyond, dude. I really do appreciate that support. And I really do appreciate, you know, you going out of your way to even just tell me that, you know? Glad to hear it. Also, I don't recognize the name Ani, so... At, while we're at it, nice to meet you. Okay, that's our uh, best hellfire. I mean, I guess I'll just run nothing but SMGs. Okay. Uh, so, also, let me make sure to remember every time to buy SMG. Yeah. Also, hey, you guys want to see if we get Tatler now? Can we go three for three on guns being SMGs roll? I I don't think that the actualizer is genuinely bad. I, I wouldn't say that. Um, I would say that the actualizer is genuinely completely forgettable. Oh, it's Ani Oxer! Oh! <laughs> and I said, nice to meet you. You know, why am I not surprised? Wouldn't... <laughs> not even the biggest show of support you've given me <laughs> before, that's for sure. Thanks. Thanks as always, Ani. Appreciate you. Oh, so you actually are playing BL2 again? Oh, that's so cool. Actually, like, really cool to hear that. Yeah. That's for refund, not gonna... Yeah, yeah, Tiny URL. This is a cat. Wow, that is so much better than a Discord link. No. It is... It's not just a tiny URL. It's a tiny cat. Is he fully grown? Because he, he seems like he has um, kitten proportions, like, you know, giant facial features, but, um, kitten or, or not kitten? Mm. 
thank you for sharing. And I, I, I really do uh, want to say I appreciate you going out of your way to make a fantastic tiny URL for it, too. With Rogue Lance. Oh! Not me. Uh, but no, wait, you, that's probably not what you were saying. You're probably saying Rogue Lance and Loot Rando these days. Yeah. Beer VV cheese. This is a good excuse to step away. <laughs> also, I enjoy your usage of the word need. <laughs> hey Trout, how you doing? Walked off a cliff, trusted a bridge that I'd never walked over before. Three years old. Oh, okay. He just he just naturally small. Why? You know, it's a nice thing about phase lock. As boring as I find it, I um I do like that it can pick up Knuckle Dragger before he falls down because he's an idiot. He is really short. Okay, his tail is super long, huh? So you're saying he's a ferret? Or different ermine. <laughs> Hello, Kanan. How's it going? Walked off a cliff, trusted a bridge, never walked over the bridge before, never will again. Hello, Valcarona. How's it going? Where was the bridge? Um, in uh, Hatred's Shadow. I was walking back to the fast travel from. This is a really interesting get. You know, it's an Ahab that doesn't list a level requirement, so you know it's level one and. Hey, would you look at that? It's got four-digit damage. We'll see what it does to... Uh... Boom Boom? <laughs> oh, wait, Crazy Seed, yeah. No clip. I, I didn't see anyone clip it. If someone clips it, I'll update the command, but, I mean, it's just a normal mode run. Like, who cares? Yeah, that's a lot of damage, yeah. And if we need ammo for it, we could just farm another. Uh, but let's push Claptrap, get shielded favors, yeah. Welcome to my humble shop. Big level one world burn. <laughs> that's really weird, too. What was that, 2,000 damage? Hey, AJ, how you doing? The Hatred Shadow fake bridge killed you once. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I mean, I completely put that on myself. Although that does make me feel a little better. Um, but, um, you know, I saw it and I was like, oh, okay. So there's a bridge across. I noticed as I got to the edge of it that um, it wasn't a through way. So I jumped, but um, I jumped from the edge of the one wooden plank that is fake. So, no jump input, I just fell through the plank. Yeah, I was really hoping that it would be another SMG. That that was the amount of comedy that I desired, but oh well. Oh, 
Zero tripped. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it yet. <laughs> yeah. power box stopped working after Claptrap attempted to integrate with it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sex. Wait, hold on, no, I have to do this with style. Nailed it. Dude, I busted the fuck out of that electric fence. Oh, yeah. Is somebody clipped the most recent death? If not, that's okay. Yeah, no, if someone goes back and clips it, I'll, I will update the command, but I... Uh, I'm not gonna go out of my way. No one needs to go out of their way. It's not a big deal. Premarital sex. Hey, how do you know Cla Claptrap and the Lever weren't married? I just removed an entire cat's worth of hair from your cat. Did you um, then shape it into um, a second cat? Like uh, those images of people doing that with their huskies? Oh, it put us here, of course. I didn't walk past the travel. Good for me. I should, yeah. You, you've, you've seen the pictures that I'm talking about, where someone um, brushes their husky and um, it, they're left with enough fur to form another husky. Protection from bullets. Oh my god, the seraphs. <laughs> Wait, hold on, maybe we can actually get away with using that. <laughs> Those stupid get. Hey, everybody. Mm -hmm. I haven't brushed beans for in a while. Probably gonna get some. Yeah, get the same. Yeah. We, um... We get some cat hair from Banana, uh, but not to the point where, like, he really warrants brushing. Um, this will be his first transition oh, yeah, from like winter to summer, but, you know, that's not saying much here in SoCal. But we'll see, like, you know, if he starts, if we start seeing so much fur, whether, like, it'll actually warrant getting, you know, one of those, like, metal comb brushes. We'll see if he likes it, too. Hey, Whitecraft. How you doing, dude? Oh, sorry. Doop, doop. Okay, no handsome Jack here. Uh... Nah, forget about that. Well... Greetings. Yeah, we could do symbiosis. It's more fun than farming Boom Boom. And we don't have a grenade, so... If the answer is no, you are it's just convenient to... Grenade up there? Your cat does not like the metal brush. Yeah, I, I understand that the metal brush is always, like, you know, an either-or thing. Either the cat loves it and they, like, go out of their way to demand it, like, biting the brush or whatever. Or pawing at the brush or whatever. Uh, or they just straight up hate it. I'm guessing Banana will probably hate it because he's not really the, like, sit still and engage in, like, physical affection thing in general kind of cat vintage cheddar and gorgonzola man when you said that you needed cheese i didn't realize just how all out you were gonna go wow you got a plate and one of the items on that plate is vintage cheddar means a fluffy boy yeah banana's slick so i'm not i'm not expecting him to exude as much as say beans does right Or <laughs> Randy's, um, <laughs> extremely, like, scruffy old man. <laughs> Wish Pumpkin could be sedated long enough to brush her. I have to brush Spice for both of them. <laughs> just... <laughs> but Spice is okay with it, I take it. Here you go. Oh, hey, thanks. Alright. I appreciate that. 
Do do. Do do do. Um. Uh. You. Command. Staff. Edit. Obed's last loot randomizer one life died to being blindly trusting of a bridge he never used. Okay, that's the wrong link. Copy current address. Oops. There we go. Thanks, Pixel. Cool. <laughs> Previous cat used to like the metal hairbrush. Mega loud purring. Ultra purring. Okay, Hyperion. Um. Trespasser. Okay, I'm glad we, um... I'm glad we can take away the knowledge uh, that quickly. Let's go. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey, Kamix. How you doing? Hey, let's go kill Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're already set up for Pete. Exactly. Never even use the Seeker. I thought about it. And that's about as much as you ever, as far as you ever get using the Seeker, you know? Spice loves attention. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Boy Jackie got their names the wrong way around. Spice loves attention. I don't know. Well, okay, I mean, you're saying Spice... Uh, spice isn't the spicy one, sure. Spice acts more like a pumpkin. Pumpkin acts more like something spicy. Yeah. Trespasser! Wait, how? Okay, 2 1. That really doesn't increase the fire rate much when you have no swap speed. Oh god. Oh god. Got him in the end! Alright, let's go. He's all about the attention. He'll do what he can to make sure I'm paying attention to him. Yeah, Banana... Banana, it's not so much about the attention. It's just he's he's actually like me in that he craves enrichment. Like, he needs entertainment at all times. And that can be us. Um, like, if, he does, if he's decided that he's not able to entertain himself at a given moment with toys or plastic bags or whatever, um, then he'll demand it from us. All right. Okay, that's legit. Way more than I was expecting. Fine. Okay. Cool. Is that dud? Looks like dud. Real loot was the friends we made along the way. Legendary shield! Oh my god. What if BC'd by level 7, dude? A death and a half. Yeah, isn't that great? Hey, Unin. How you doing, dude? How's your day? Just blast this gate down, but don't do it 
Oh, it worked. Back to the mailman. Hey, I'm happy to be background noise for you. Hope work's going good. Good enough. And... Okay, look. I, I know that... The actualizer is cool and different and all, but it's, it's not actually the fastest time to clear now, is it? Oh, then there's also that. Mm. Do you fucking mind, might? Uh, you know, I also like you know wouldn't mind like a single grenade, but I'm a little early for that. Uh, exclamation point, um, loot items? Is that what we made the command? Huh. Huh. My cat's boo and beads. Boo and be- Oh. You know, okay, I thought I would be cool and take a shortcut. Um. To boom boom, you know, instead of, like, going back to hammerlock, but. You know, I think we're learning that we really do just want to, every time, walk to the Myersburg fast travel after we do anything else. I might actually be able to defeat Raid Boss Flint! Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, um, okay, even if we don't get the B, I, I wonder if the Ahab will be as successful against Flint as it was against Boom Boom just now. What level's the Ahab? One. It's one. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you doing, Sleepy Captain? Good to see you. Anyway, my cat's boo and beans look exactly the same, except one is fluffy. That's a really good giveaway. <laughs> Exemplary. Okay, forget that that's our role from this mission. What the fuck is this role? Jesus. Open your mod folder. <laughs> All right, Seeker. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't use the Seeker one time. Oh. This is the goat seed. I mean, conference call's cool. Sure. Um, Not really from a useful location or anything until UVHM. That'll be useful. Absolutely. It's just the parts. Who the fuck gets parts like that on one conference call roll? Actually, we got two, didn't we? No, no, because that was from, um... Okay, Symbios is not a long mission. Maybe Symbios should be a long mission, just because of the walking. You can playthrough swap um, in other playthroughs. Undo Symbiosis, uh, and then... Skip the walking by save quitting and swapping playthroughs when you are traveling back, but maybe that's not enough reason to call it a short mission. It feels long. Yeah, like, if it were just the walk through, uh, if it were just the walk one time, it wouldn't be long, but it's the, like, having to actually go on foot. Oh. Sounds like more work. Uh, it's it depends on what you mean by work. It's significantly less time um, for a couple extra inputs. Hey, I like this character. Yeah, you're not gonna like mine though. <laughs> What's up, Kale? Good to see you. You turn to the transition, run to Midgemong, then run all the way back to Lyersburg. Yeah, I mean, okay, so if you're farming it, again, you can optimize the farm much more than that. Um, 
what you would do is let's say you're in TVHM and you want to farm a good conference call, right? Um, you go down to normal mode, pick up symbiosis, uh, or pick up um, shielded favors so that it resets the wall. Um, then go back to TVHM, do the mission. When you leave the map, save quit, go to normal mode, immediately save quit again, go back to TVHM, and it will put you next to Hammerlock. Um, and that way you don't, you only need to do the run there, all the way to Midgemong. You never need to, um, do any running back from Midgemong. The moment you kill Midgemong, save quit, go to normal mode, save quit again, go to TVHM, and you're next to Hammerlock to turn in. And that's fast. That's, like, legit really fast. But, it's also, like, you would have to have that game knowledge, you know, to do that. It's not really inherent to the mission. Uh, that's just, like, you know, if you are, you know, into the techie stuff of BL2. And I don't, you know, I'm not trying to design the mod exclusively around that. So, yeah, maybe I should biff buff Symbiosis to be a long mission. And then people that, you know, go above and beyond or whatever to, like, execute like that. Good for them. They they get a partic uh, better than usual farm. Yeah, you know what? I just talked myself into it. Let's buff it. Uh... Uh, change log. Uh, buffed. Okay, no, hold on. Symbiosis is now a long mission. Go to my catalog here. Symbiosis. Tags. Tag dot long mission. Okay. Jeff with CC Zagros, right? Yeah, I know. I noticed. High quality, low price, and no question. Are those space pants? Hey, your Mel butt York. is space. Your butt is from space. Four more years! <laughs> Wait, really? You'd vote for me again after this shit term? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, you know, like, I'm typically referred to as the lame duck streamer. <laughs> Thanks, Malkyo. Happy anniversary, dude. <laughs> Appreciate that. How you doing, dude? What's up? How's your week? Ward first? You? You're right, I'm gonna hate yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna know the best part? I'm not gonna spec Helios unless I happen to get a Reaper. In normal mode, and only then. I would even unspec it later. Hey, Blackish. How you doing, dude? Great luck. Hey, thanks, man. Really would like to see this legendary shield, though. Spring break, though I still have projects for grad school. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're not gonna have a break until you get that degree, are you? Do you not use Clive Kill? Not until UVHM at the earliest. You don't a don't need it. B it's not really fun. Um, definitely not more fun than uh, subsequence thought lock wreck. I'm gonna be with students is still a break in your book. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Hey, Magma. Chilling. What's up with you? Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Bad boom! Alright, we'll come back and find out later. Even if it was a B, you know, it's not really worth knowing now. 
Um, uh, as much as I'd like a level six or five B. I might have tried to stage a mutiny on Captain Flint's ship before the flash freeze. Not really. Pretty much of them have to have to play BO3. Cool, man. How long has it been since you did it? BO3 doesn't have loot rando. BO3 doesn't have loot rando yet. I'm sure eventually someone will make it. Right? Man, I hate this jump. All right, got it. I don't know who. If anyone wanted, it would probably be Apple. Uh, Apple loves BL3, and they are on a huge uh, BL3 modding kick. And they were also excited uh, to, uh, when I released BL2's loot rando. Even though, you know, BL2's not really their game. Okay, I'm sold. Downloading VL2 now. Really? Oh my god. Wait, are you gonna play right now? Are you gonna are you gonna get to tell us every step of your journey? Me, squire. <laughs> 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 It's been a good year since I did a fresh character. Yeah, there you go. That's a great reason to play BL3. So that's made the progression of the game before 72 isn't the best. Yeah, I, um... I say... Uh... Don't use unique weapons in BL3 until you get to endgame. And it's a lot more of an enjoyable progression experience. Um... You know, you don't get the, like... Playthrough difficulties. You know, and I'm a big fan of that personally, you know, doing TVHM than doing UVHM, but... At least, like, you know, you can experience, like, you know, your character's uniqueness and... Uh, builds, you know, based on, like, their skill points. Um, if, you know, you don't, like, buy into the power creep until you have to. Let's shout. Simple solution is that. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily call it simple because you know it's it's a self-imposed restriction to be able to do that. Got Jacob's flag. Oh, cool. God, Jacob's is such a good gun feel in BL3. Let's turn up the heat. Also, BL2. That's sad. Oh yeah. Nope. Um, could have been Shadow. Wasn't Shadow. Thanks for not Shadow. But hey, we have a relic. Um, and um, now that we have a relic, we have four percent gun damage when we get a second wind. Oh, oh, and of course, um. Uh, let's see, 6%. 6 health every 10 seconds. 3 health every 5 seconds. No, wait, it's percent. Uh... <laughs> Second win might, yeah, true. <laughs> let's just let's just run um, on immolate. Yeah, you know, good call. I'll uh, I'll have to farm a perfect one at OP ten so we can do that. All right, now we just gotta get to my ship. Hey, cloth trap, you want an Ahab? Nope. No, he doesn't. There she is! 
Point six. No, I know. Point six. Hence the five health. Uh, five. Sorry, three percent health every five seconds. Bill 3 just doesn't hit the same as Bill 2 for me. I don't know how to explain it. It does feel kind of sterile. You know, like, um, they put a lot of effort into giving the game, you know, a vibe, but really it just kind of feels, uh, manufactured. And, I, and that's what I would consider to be the indescribable part. There's a lot of, like, very specific things that um, uh, prevent me from replaying BL3 as much as I can replay BL2. But like, you know, if you're if you're wondering what the indescribable thing is, that's, that's what my mind goes to. Hey, Jamwa. Uh, Expedition Boy, death. I, um, I trusted a cliff that I'd never... Uh, I trusted a bridge that I'd never walked over before. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station Poor Zero, dude. Bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the uh, Zero's had two really stupid deaths. Interface adapter to the catch ride. Machine, without I justification. Although, frankly, I did really like the um, Yuri's one because that was genuinely learning, and Just you could say the same thing about this one. Ride, and I'll get you a free car. It was a pretty unnecessary way of learning about that bridge, but. Again, 4-0. Uh, th these things didn't happen to, you know, accident. Executing phase shift. That's painful to watch. Why painful? What can I get for you? Welcome, customer. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher ride. Always open. Done the same thing. Oh, no kidding. Same bridge? Damn, they have bad. <laughs> exact same bridge. You know, actually, you're the second person to say that. So now I feel doubly vindicated. Looks like a viable place. Yeah, and then, um, you know, by the time you see, oh, okay, the bridge doesn't connect, you have a nice wooden plank to jump from. Except that that nice wooden plank is fake, and you fall through it, and your jump input does nothing. That's that's the sequence of events for me. I don't know if you can relate. We're only gonna kill every last one. You're getting into sanctuary, you bloodshot scaglings. Hold up, you're a vault hunter. Just a sec. Only wanted to talk to you. Let me echo it. Oh, forget what I'm on this radio chatter about. I was sad to watch. Okay. If you're saying sad because losing a one life, God no. Dude, that was a normal mode run. Who the hell cares? It's one life. All one lives die until they don't. Um, it again involved learning something. That's not sad. That's that's the good part of one life. And also, it's loot rando, which means we get to do a new seed, which is legitimately a good thing. <laughs> hey, Deceptic, speaking of good thing, hey, I miss you. Where you been? <laughs> Young man, you've been watching way too many of the electronic sports events. Do your homework. Hey, how you doing, man? How you been? And thanks for the sub. Happy 40. It's a four followed by a zero. Wait. Okay. Ahab's last- oh no, I got rid of the Ahab. Okay. Hey, Naradai, how you doing? How's the, uh... Closing going. No one lives die until they don't. Reminds me of my life, you know? I didn't mean for that to be like a really deep introspective into like the nature of existence, but. Wow. 
<laughs> hey, welcome back, Boylan. Hey, Corn. In the words of a show, Mopi probably won't watch because anime, people die when they are killed. Damn, I gotta start watching anime. It's going really well. Jeez. I almost don't believe it. After, you know, what it was like to even get to this point for you. They came back today because they're measuring up for renovations. Okay, yeah, that's... A, it, it's, it's already done, right? Like, in, in their mind... They're already living there for five years. Oh, is that you? Oh, it's the Vault Hunter. Get it! Hey, you like my speech? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long... <laughs> <laughs> Made it to Banditville, huh? Well done! It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm burnt. You're the one Commander Roland was talking about. The one who faced Jack and lived. We need your help back. First things first. Plug that power cord into the shield generator. Hey, how good do you think the Hellfire is at getting medical mystery kills? To bring us some intel on how to stop Jack. With him missing, we really need your help. Talk to Private Jessup at the gate. He'll let you enter the city. Jessup, stand up straight. We got a Vault Hunter headed your way. It'll be nice to finally, you know, move. Really? You're looking forward to the move part? Okay. We discover what's in all those cardboard boxes I packed before COVID. Wait, really? Because I know that the sale process has been going on that long. I didn't know that, you know, you packed four years ago expecting to move imminently. What, what, have you, what, have you, what, what has it been like living? It's on my gauge, basically every kill with a Ravager. Playstyle? Point blank or at floor? That is to say, basically every kill was gotten by the splash because full damage on splash, penalized pellet, no crits. Both stories are noticed. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept the secret. <laughs> Dude, what if the secret got it every time? Uh, you can buy the last sale from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. Uh, he ate one of my cars once. Yeah. Is there an obvious reason as to why no object are named Labelia? Labelia, so all of Gearbox's, um, packages, uh, projects, you know, code bases are named after flowers. Um, like Tina DLC, for example, is named Aster. Uh... Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies um, masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in three holes. I guess Find grenade? Them, kill them, and see if sure. figure out why they're here. Oh, hey, we could do fire. Um, Lobelia, I don't know what frickin' flower that is, but uh, that's the package for DigiPeak. UVHM Pack 2 and all of the things that come in it um, will be a part of the Lobelia package. Hey, Vault Hunter. If you're gonna be a part of I have been having such bad luck. Would that dialogue skip? Alright. I don't have anything shocked, do we? Moving on. And then Hammy has name game. We don't have a grenade. Maybe we can use Hellfire Splash. Consumer Appeal solves medical mystery. Yeah, there you go. Alright. One... One mission item, two missions. I don't have any. Uh, you. Oh, good to see you again. Game game. Hey, Blah Blossom. Sister Marlene sent me your way. Your sister Marlene. Any relation? <laughs> hey, Blah Blossom. Good to have you here, man. Um, whoever your Marlene may be. Many questions. So many questions. Oh! Well, let's see. Okay, I have a text message that clears it up. Sorry, told my brother your channel because he used to play BL2 on console years before I did. <gasps> Man, I was just about to, like, blurt your name out, but, um... 
Just pretend I did and that I'm very excited to see you here, dude. Good to have you. <laughs> How's your day, man? You got the day off or what? <laughs> or wait, hold on. Which brother are we talking about? Oh my god, Marlene has more brothers than I even know about, I'm sure. <laughs> What's that? Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> How's Oklahoma, dude? <laughs> Family in chat! I know, this is weird. Normally I have, like, an iron curtain with family. Like, um, none of my side of the family even knows my Twitch name. They just, you know, they know what I do for a living. Um. And I'm totally cool with it. It's just, uh. It's, a, it's like a whole new paradigm. <laughs> hey, Naradai, thanks for that, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks, so thanks for going out of your way to get the fam. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. Thanks for gifting the sub to Marlene's bro. To, to my brother-in-law here. Well, soon to be anyway. <laughs> but enjoy the sub, man. Thanks to thanks to our Marlene. That, oh my god, Naradai. This is gonna take some getting used to. The most Oklahoma brother she has. That's easy to remember, okay. I don't have a Mongol joint. No, there we go. That was too fast. Man, I'm good at this. Um, you. What if all mission items work? And that's the secret. For all I know, that could be part of the check. I've never looked at the code for Medical Mystery, even though we keep talking about it and wondering how it works. I've never deep-dived it. And maybe now with um, my, like, you know, new mission deep diving prowess from working on this mod, um, I could. Okay, you're not helpful for this scenario. There we go. There we go. Do another. Thank you. So that wouldn't explain random items like the Pimpernel occasionally working. Right, but would it be mutually exclusive? Like, you know, the check if mission item and... Nope. <laughs> Where's this guy? Crap. Crap. Play Borderlands in years, but coincidentally, I've been having an itch for it recently. Hey, no kidding. I am. Um, I'm very picky about video games. Uh, I don't actually game that much. Um, and usually, you know, if I try a new game, which is rare, uh, I'll. Why is name game not on turn in? Why is name game not on turn in? Why is it just on five out of five? Did I actually save quit too fast? You save quit during his dialogue. You can fix this by finish. I was gonna try finishing the optional objective. Thank you for reassuring me that that won't be a waste of my time. Anyway, um, I don't play a whole lot of video games. When I find a video game that I do like, I binge the hell out of it, and this has been, you know, the like major example of that for me. I. Once I started playing this game, I kind of just literally never stopped. It's a good game for that because, you know, how different every playthrough feels when you do them differently. How much content it has. Um, how good the, like, from level 1 to max difficulty progression is, you know. But I'm, like, you know, again, particularly extreme, like, in terms of just... Never stop playing. <laughs> Are Chubby Rex guaranteed during Gas Guzzlers? Because I've gotten like four and two runs during the mission. Um, did you look at one of their hints, Logbat? They are, but take a closer look at one of their hints. Hunter. 
How good to see you again. Oh. Thanks to the thorough drubbing you delivered upon Captain Flynn. And that's such a cool Maya weapon, too. Oh, we get our pick. Um, What, that one has a damage accessory? I don't think that's worth the recoil from the stock. I don't know, let's actually try it. Yeah, that's kind of gnarly. Does this one feel significantly better, though? It's just Torg stock. I'd say that is significantly better. All right, fine. Let's go. Um, assassins? Man turned mission enemies off when I made the seed like a dummy. Oh, okay. So the gas guzzler's rack are their own check. And yeah, as a mission enemy, right? Um, three horns, yeah. Um, they're not normal chubby rack. Um, in fact, even in vanilla, those chubby rack, um, they're kind of a bait. Like, they get you excited. Uh, you're like, oh, chubbies! Or, you know, hey, this is a great tubby farm, you know, for my class mods. But no, they're fake chubbies. They're, like, exclusive to that mission. They have the name chubby rack or tubby rack or whatever, but they aren't actually, like, you know, the same loot pool as, uh, main game chubby rack. Love when you find a good game to binge. Uh, your Tears of the Kingdom shenanigans were peak. I'm glad you like that. I had a lot of fun with that game. Um, but, uh, yeah, at, well, you know, I did get to the point in it where um, the playthroughs felt kind of samey, even doing, like, you know, uh, no melee, etc. But I think we probably got like four digit hours in that game, right? High quality, low prices, and no questions asked. What about you? Did you play Tears, Pixel? I can still taste her lovely dreadlocks. She fed me such tears of ecstasy. Love her. I I, that's unhelpful. I have made a fatal error. Send your complaints to twitch.tv slash movie. Hey, look, I fixed the typo. A siren, specifically one named Lilith. The official reports say she died in New you just got a sham from a stalker pile. You know. Keep talking and I'll add stalker piles as a check and loot rando. Anyway, how good of a sham? Is it a real sham? Like, you know. Uh, high 80s? Lieutenant Lightning, how you doing? When you started, you went hard on the series. Yeah, usually either, like, this is one of those games where if you like it, you go really hard on it, at least, you know, for, like, a few hundred hours. Sorry, hold on. Played the first game and all the DLC with every character before moving on to BL2. Oh, no kidding, you actually got started with BL1. Yeah, I was later than that. I got started with BL2. And I kind of regret it because, um, like in your case, so, you know, when people start with BL1, it allows them to in continue to enjoy BL1 more. Me, I, I kind of feel like that game's a bit of a drag, but I know that it, there's like a lot of enjoyment to be had in it. sirens are born with different before moving on to BL2, did nearly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever come back for BL3? Crazy ass powers. You cannot, I repeat, cannot win a fight with them in one on one. Or um, perhaps also Split. even Wonderlands. Me immediately. What do you play in these days? You can't. Me, yes. Are you calling in life? Yeah, right. The um, enemy name fixer or whatever. Same way it renames Treants to be. 
uh, greed or uh, stingy tree ants or whatever. It fixes the um, gas guzzlers rack. Oh my god, railings today. You also regret it, because I got into BL1 even after you played BL3. Oh, yeah. See, I could go from back to BL3, or sorry, back to BL2 from 3, because, you know, I already was so comfortable um, with BL2, despite its, like, aged flaws. I don't even notice them, you know, they're just, like, normal business for me. Whereas I don't have that for BL1. Oh no. He seems comfy. Like, you know, imagine a mattress. That you don't even have to touch. Give it a playthrough here and there, but I definitely don't think I would have liked it much more if I played it first. Yeah. Um, I really do hope that this hypothetical mod um, that is being discussed for BL1 uh, that gives assigned drops um, can let me enjoy progression in that game in the way that I prefer. That might mean a lot more BL1 playthrough for me. A lot more BL1 playtime for me. If I actually make that. When's your favorite BL2? BL2 is your favorite BL1 is a special place. Yeah, no, I think I think a lot of people could like say that. Phrase that the same way that like, you know, BL1 is like, you know, this like you know, really positive, like, warm nostalgia vibe. And good gameplay, even if it's not overall as much gameplay. Yep, yeah, PL3 when it came out, I like it, but it doesn't have the same staying power, yeah. I respect BL3. As much as we tend to make fun of it around here. It definitely has, like, undoubted positive aspects. But it does not have the gameplay loop that I play for. BL1 has a simplicity that I like. Yeah, right, right. BL1 absolutely feels a lot warmer, you know, than, than BL2 does. You know, it's not ridiculous, and, and that's in a good way. But, um, to me, like, you know, a lot of the reason why I'm able to keep playing this game is the ridiculousness breeds variety, and variety, you know, is, like, what I keep coming back for. Yeah, it keeps it from being stale for longer. That's a meteor shower. Well, I asked for a grenade. Slow meteor shower. Um, man, we didn't even hit ten from that, or eleven from that. Let's uh, let's go kill Lee enough times to see, maybe get a chance to see what he drops. But mostly hit level eleven so we can turn in Plan B and do post Plan B missions. Oh wait, Clifton waited until Jack was done talking. <laughs> I like the gunplay and movement. Oh, absolutely, yeah. See, that's what like sets you know BL3 apart. Um, is it really does have like the quality of life of a modern video game? But yeah, the lack of quality of life in BL2 again, it, it doesn't affect me because I'm just for me that's just life. Okay, great. I'm glad we got a shock relic. 
Um. Oh, and a cursor. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a long mission. Hey, that's so cool. Anyway, I'm glad we got a shock relic before we got a shock gun. Um, helpful for Marcus mission. Let's go kill Lee. Legendaries uniques have less part variants. Um, the most impactful part variants in BL2, right, is like matching grip and matching grip. It's at best one in five, but then also BL2, I do think is overall more uh, element dependent. Like, you know, getting matching element is more important for more guns on more characters. Um, and elements in BL2 are very rare, th despite that. That's like a major flaw in BL2 is how significant matching element is in that game while at the same time getting an element is awful. BL3, um, generally the most important part on BL3 is going to be like a 1 in 3 roll, and also elements are less often more important, or uh, important like variation rolls. And also when they are, they're not rare like they are in BL2, so like, for a given gun, getting the version of the gun that you need is pretty easy. The bad farms in that game... Okay, I would love to get either a Rough Rider or a Love Thumper for Maya, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Throw the relic at the target of me, yeah, yeah. Um, the bad farms in BL3, the ones that have the more insane uh, part variation or longer farms, it's kind of everything else. It's um, uh, class mods with their skill rolls and... Uh, passive rolls, and relics with their prefix and suffix and passive rolls, and shields with their passive rolls. Those are the ones that are, like, the forever farms. So it really, it depends on the item, you know. Cracksash, shield 1340. Manly man, I love you guys too. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't just save quit with bully mongs around, did I? I killed all the bully mongs? No. Yeah, I killed all the bully mongs, then I checked the loot, then I save quit. Right, 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 right. Anyway, level 11. We'll come back to that when we um, have an actual use for uh, Love Thumper or. Uh, Rough Rider, aka Fleet, and healing. Roland left a message for you. Hey, soldier. If you're hearing this, I'm in trouble. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this. This is the fire. Hey, Bio. How you doing? Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, still don't have anything shock. Nor in Maya's skill tree. Earliest shock is ruin. Only Maya's only shock is ruin, huh? Um. Okay. Uh, Zed. Zed and claptrap. Sanctuary will endure. You have a head cold. Shoot you. Yeah, I guess that, in the end, like, it may be one moment of pain. Well, okay, it depends. Shoot you where? Because, like, if I shot you in the gut or the knee, that would be worse than a head cold. You sure that's what you want? Borderlands, my next passion was towards FromSoft games like Dark Souls. Yeah, see, I'm not enough gamer for that. I can't do reaction-based combat, bro. <laughs> but, man, you know, do I recognize... Just how high quality of a dev FromSoft is. I wish. I wish I could enjoy games that good, you know? Um, did you, did you know Life Elden Ring? 
probably take you to that tennis lady on the other side of town. Oh, she's real into that clap trap. Man, you can get rubberized at level 11. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff neat. Um, yeah, uh, well, we have to do it again. Wait, clap, just clap to truck trap. Tack. I'm done with that job. Oh yeah, also it's shock. You're right. <laughs> also, I could kill myself with it if I threw it wrong at the target dummy. So we're not going to do that just yet. Yeah, let's get a lobbed one and throw from a distance. Clap trap. Clap trap. All right, I guess we got to save quit for that one. Tannis. Hey, Meek. How you doing? Good to see you. After hours of scientific insanity. All right, no do no harm this playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're farming Claptrap for a Quasar, and then we can use that. Uh, to run Marcus. When I first played, I was getting destroyed. Well, yeah, right? That's like um, the progression, the meta progression of FromSoft games, yeah? Notice and appreciate whenever I learned from the enemies and got better. Yeah, 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 totally. You helped me reach Sanctuary, Megan, and for that, you deserve a reward. I Pretty essential to get into those games. Yeah, me, um, I like theory crafting more, you know, like, um, plugging things into a formula and then executing that formula, like, with gameplay. More than I like getting good at, like, uh, memorizing enemies or honing my reflexes. Yeah. Hey, Nightlinks, how you doing? Good to see you again, dude. How's your week? You did kill yourself with the Cross of Cloud during Marcus. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't trust this to go through the window. So I'm pretty sure it would just end up bouncing around in the firing range, and I'd be like running away in a panic. Oh, crap. It uh, looks like the hiding space for my super. See, okay. I can do it with that, but. Leaving it completely exposed. So, congratulations! You've earned it! Okay, stop it. Okay, but wait, come back. Okay, that disables your interactability. I just wanted him to stop talking, man. Thank you, Mopi. I would enjoy the ability to route and play the Dark Souls games in a completely different order based on your desires for the run. I do like that. Um... I didn't know that the uh, all the Souls games worked that way. I, you know, that was my understanding of Elden Ring. But Get over here. okay, this Hyperion fascist thinks he's because he's got a shield. Spoilers. He... Take that, Jack Lover. There it is. <laughs> hey guys, we found the Tatler. <laughs> now, uh, now we just need to get one of the Catcoms. There's um, there's three. Catcoms um, somewhere in the seed. Surely we'll find one of them. Um, I'm not a high enough level for uh, corrosive. Nor have we gotten any corrosive locked items. Just, just again, the relic, you know. I feel Moby would enjoy the world building of Rain World. Rain World, not wor Rim World. So the stress. Hmm. Talk to me, baby. Minion, over here. Your master commands you. I play VL1. I named every claptrap. I like VL1 claptraps. BL1 in general, I really prefer its tone. VL2 is a lot more like, you know, lol, XD, look at how funny this thing is. And Claptrap's like a great example of that. Dude, Claptrap's in um, VL1 were like, you know, annoying. But they were annoying because they were stupid and they didn't mean to be annoying, they just incidentally were. This Claptrap. This Claptrap's, hey, look how annoying I am. In case you didn't figure it out yet, I'm supposed to be annoying. 
But I find the VL1 claptraps endearing. Very nameable. Looks like the hiding space in my super secret stash just fell apart, leaving it completely minion over here. Your master commands you. You help me reach sanctuary minions, and for that, you deserve a reward. Give me an example. Well, okay, what did you name Meat Flaps Claptrap? The first early bosses in world exploration orders are pretty varied in each game. Okay. Okay. I thought it, I really thought it was just kind of not not rails, but like you know you did maps and bosses in a particular order, and that Elden Ring was the first open world one. So as being able to remember where items are stashed in the world if you want to rush particular gear. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. I know both of us are big fans of that routing. Uh. Build component acquisition. Wait, hold on. Since when does this not work without a save quit? I didn't even notice he went through that whole spiel without uh going through the check marks. What the fuck? I've, this is my first seed where I've had to farm this shit, and I'm not liking it so far. You help me reach sanctuary, minion. And for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I come Okay, so it's it's a mix. It's partly linear, but at each stage of progression, you can choose. Okay. Hey, Safiq, how you doing? Literally made it annoying and is the worst character. I honestly wish there was a setting in the game settings to turn off his dialogue the entire game. Yeah. I, I didn't feel that strongly about it my first playthrough, but, you know, I don't blame you at all. You can save good through it. Yeah, that might be fastest. Okay. We're three for four on rubberized. Save quit through the tuck clap up objective once you get the check probably saves time. Yeah, it'd be really nice if, you know. Um turn in mission, reaccept mission, start dialogue, save quit, but I guess not. After the hundred though. Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. That's that's where I'm at. You help me reach sanctuary, minion, and first. Need to talk to him to check, right. When does that happen? When you're on a fresh save quit? You have to perform a series of devious challenges first. But then if you don't save quit and you just start the mission to repeat it again after having turned it in the same session, then you never get that check mark. So you have to wait. Yeah, hold on. Find stash. Okay. Thank God that's acceptable. Let's go. Um, and hey, I guess we'll just keep on this shock relic. Um, let's go do Mercy. You get the check for finding it faster if you just walk up to the locker even without opening it. <laughs> Just walk up to it and stand there? Okay. There's the Lee. Uh, actually, that's good because now I have justification for having gone this way instead of... Uh... Through Southpaw. Where do you launch your ammo? You set off the mines and tundra with a sham on. Uh, doubt it? I'm sure that just counts as, like, you know, whatever barrel damage counts as. But who the hell knows, man? There are some pretty random damage type assignments in this game. Oh, 
remember that one. I'm gonna go based on the colors. So green one I named Packers after the football. Hey, that's funny. Purple I named Rain after the song. There you go. Yeah. Classic orange one I named Box after the orange box. Oh man, you too. Um, part of my like narrow experience with video games is uh, I played Half Life when I was young. Played Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 got me into Portal, Portal got me into Portal 2. Portal 2 I still consider to this day to be one of the best video games ever made. Just one of the like actual masterpiece video games. Not just fun, but like, you know, craftsmanship. Keep your mitts off my point! Find yourself! What, what good you fancy fancy mitts? That's an orange beam. Thank God we got a first try on him, and it's gonna ring, and we don't need to do him again. Okay, cool. We don't have to do him again. Yeah, we do. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, though, dude. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, conference call. We should bank this. Keep that for fire. We can have you on... What a kit. <laughs> hey, Fi, good to see ya. That's less exciting. Um, also, yes, we have to do that. I guess... Tatler and Blaster? Yeah, yeah, here. Tatler's, <laughs> he was like, psych! <laughs> So it looks like that gun uses iridium to turn bullets into stuff for eight bullets. Just with four minds, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I'm sure there are plenty of weird things to be found that count as launcher damage and thereby would give you rockets were you to get hit by them. It's one of the better seeds. So many good things, so easy to find. Yeah, we did have a pretty bad seed on zero. This one's looking alright. And um, Maya less dependent on external healing than zero was. Zero, you know, we... When 36 levels without finding so much as a transfusion or even a survivor com or something fun. So, you know, our only survivability was... Well, okay, you know, typical zero kill everything. Um, and second wind if if it comes up. But yeah, so far this is a very good seed for Maya. We have guns Maya likes. Maya doesn't isn't as picky about like, you know, specific pieces of kit in her loadout, so it's gonna be easier to have a good Maya seed in general. Big Bertha? Yeah, Big Bertha! Uh, Big Bertha, you absorb rockets with an absorb shield. Totally. The seed that Biznap and I have going, that's actually the best seed that I've seen so far out of anybody. Biznap and I have everything that we want. Minus one single item, but we'll find it. But it's kind of stupid. The only downside to it is um, half of those items are hammerlock checks, but that's okay. The point is we found them, we have them. 
Bearcat grenades are um, launcher splash. Okay, rule of thumb is if a gun can... Uh, sorry, if a gun cannot crit, that is to say it's pure splash, it's almost always launcher splash. It's never grenade splash. Um, there's no such thing as a gun that um, can't crit. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm going to go, go turn this in. Not to mercy. Um, there's no such thing as a gun that is pure splash, but that splash is grenade splash. And that's a good thing, because that would be absolutely batshit busted on Axton if it was. Instead, it's batshit busted on Krieg, because those guns guaranteed proc bloodbath every time. One of the two splash types that procs bloodbath is uh, launcher splash. So, if you want guaranteed bloodbath mobbing, you know, use a pure splash gun. There are some exceptions to it, and also then it gets a lot more complicated when you're talking about guns that can crit but also have splash, in which case, yeah, I defer you to the uh, exclamation point splash guide there. Thanks, funny emote. But yeah, okay, um, for the grenade shooting guns, those are all launcher splash. Torg barreled ARs are all launcher splash. Oh, right. Oh, right. Man, it's a good seed when you don't have to repeat excommunicate. Just, you know, medical mystery, but that's okay. We'll do that later. Just don't have anything corrosive. All right. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate, actually, though. I guess we'll just... um Farm XP. No, fuck that. Let's go do a DLC or something. Um, it's a terrible idea, but we could totally, with our current kit, get away with starting Oasis. Let's do that. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? Of Oasis, yeah, there you go, Biznap. Funny you emote. Thanks, Biznap. This is level 15, um, but we have ranged gear, and we have a second wind weapon if we need it. And since we genuinely, like, don't get anything out of any of the XP-giving checks that we have right now in the main game, I want to go out of my comfort zone. I think I'm probably most afraid of snipers right now. don't have any healing and um, any shield. You know, maybe we should have done Lee for his shield, at least. I don't like grenades. No grenades. Whoop, I saw that. Let's just, yeah. Wanna land some mods, yeah. Uh Epic NNG, is that his name? Uh actually, he is the author, right, of like BL3 Redux. He did a Redux for Wonderlands and I've heard really good things about it. That is Epic NNG. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I've always heard that. Dude's really talented. It's a bloody vault. Stay out of Oasis. Stay out of Oasis. Okay, you know what I'm not comfortable with is Sandworm Queen. 
Um, more specifically, I know we can kill her. The question is, can we kill her without being left with a dot? Like, can I whittle her to low enough health to where I can know that I, if I go down, I can get a second wind off her? Because um, our DPS at level 11 here is going to be low enough to where I don't think I can just guaranteed not take a dot from her. So let's assume that we're going to have to go down against her. Can we then get up? I'm Captain Scarlet, and something tells me you're here for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. Enjoy the reduxes, but I do need to go back to Wonderlands, mainly because I'm yet to figure out any builds properly for yourself. Sure. Or maybe both. Come find me in Wormwater. I had a little bit of fun theory crafting that game. I am Shade, and you... You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. The town's pe if you're looking for the trick you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in warm water. You'll need a sail skin to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> Suppose I should get ready for work. Ugh. You know, if you quit your job. Um. Just wondering if I should skip to the bottle now, but even if we, whatever we got from it, we wouldn't be able to equip yet. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! A new person has left Oasis to come talk to me, and this person is so handsome. <laughs> oh, that is Mrs. Blavis. Be careful. She is a work out, so I went with the most smart. obvious classes. I always feel like a piece of meat around her. I gave her a coolant disperser. Meaning what? Uh, spell shot? Spell shot grave ward. I think was like the most uh common choice. I picked Spellshot Grave Ward for our first playthrough, and I had a lot of fun with it. Um, Spellshot, you know, like, uh, I picked because it seemed like the most interactive. Oh, wait. Spell shot shadow. Oh, cool. Oh, he is a cut up. Oh, gosh, Jocko. Jocko borrowed one of my pressure rings. Blight so and spore. Hey, neat. Find it, and it is yours. I did like that about spore, the fast action skill procs. Oasis needs your help, my friend. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very good man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he is not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? Oh, it seems dangerous. It's mobbing. Um, and it's two cursed skeletons. Why, hello, but it's also an I'm easy out. If we need to bail, to we can. How are you? Uh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they. That is a great story, Lionel. Anyway, I didn't play Wonderlands enough to be around for Blight. Actually, that was a DLC, wasn't it? I didn't even buy the Wonderlands DLCs. I know, I, I wonder if someone talented enough can find a skip for getting up to where the fire water is. Play bullet hell for a bit. You gonna do it? Okay. Cool. 
Easy. You have everything you need to rebuild the sand skiff. Just think the lovely people of Oasis. Did brew it with full edition? They didn't even get to play it on release. I went to Scotland on release day and missed a week. Uh, well, uh, maybe you saved like five bucks or something. You've been loving Lou Rando, it's awesome. Oh, thanks for saying that, dude. Glad to hear. What's up, graphic? How you been, man? Long time. How's your seed? Who you playing? It's Could awesome. Gonna start a one life later, see how bad it goes, yeah. This is the... Very much what I needed to be able to enjoy one life again. Hey, Whitecraft. Is there a character who benefits more from the randomizer? It's a tough question. Axton, yeah. Because the thing about Axton is he's so good with so many different things, but some of his favorite things... Um, are locked behind content that either you have to go way out of your way to do or is and or is not fun to do um and or is unreasonable to do in like a normal new game playthrough you know like Axon you know has plenty of stuff that he enjoys in a normal new game playthrough that is like accessible but the amount of things that like you get to experience on Axton when that you normally don't is is greater than the other characters. We found shit. Oh my god, that's so appropriate. Combing the desert. Um. Give my boat again. My, give me my boat, but horizontal. Roll insider check, Doctor T. No. Not in a hurry for this. Uh, the only reason, really, to do roll insider Doctor T normally is oh hey thanks, um that they give XP and now they don't. <laughs> Jobs for you. This one seems harder, as does Wingman. But so long as we approach with caution, that's okay. Information, is I know, but I get, I get information other places too. Actually, I guess first things first. Okay, explosives are this way, and also we can get high ground um, on dudes that drop teeth and legs. Thanks for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of, but let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking. With some shamanism on the She's side. um alluding to the fact that it was child graphicking. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Papers, nothing. No. <laughs> okay. Hey. Da 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 da. Da da da. Craw Jr. is a unique nade for me, but I don't even want to farm it. What are the unique nades that are good besides the um, magic missiles? Or I guess like if you you know need a source of nade regen in general. Hey, hello. I spawn you. He confused too. He paralyzed in 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 decision. Yeah. What's that? Who did that? Oh, I don't like you. Oh, you. Skyrocket, true. Oh, man, true. But, you know, that one's okay because it's like, it's fucking boring. So how, even if it's like, you know, so strong as to be worth it, how much do you really want it, you know? Buster Cluck is great, it's just not like, you know, go out of your way to find out if it's a Fuster Cluck great. Fuster Cluck, like, any time that I get it and I don't yet have a uh, nade um, that I'm glued to, I will use the hell out of the Fuster Cluck because it's fun and genuinely good. My ammo's a little lower than I'd like it to be for the weapon that I'm crutching right now, so... Actually, that's really cool. I'll take that. <laughs> so shitty. Mm -hmm. Thank you for... Kinetic Reflection Calm. Invincible and Normal have the same... No, no. Um, Son of Cromorex the Invincible is not the same guy as the Invincible Son of Cromorex the Invincible. You just hurt my brain. Uh, okay, uh, let me let me repeat. Son of Cromorax the Invincible is not the same guy as the Invincible Son of Cromorax the Invincible. Um, he's more invincible. He's the same son. Uh, okay, this is where we deliberately take a knee. Yeah, this is sketch. That's a lot of red dots. What? All right. Once again, let's not go down in a situation where we can't get up. That's the most important thing. Okay. Someone's got an element. Hate it. But that's our last gold team. Now we just need to escape. Okay. Very good. Mission accomplished. Still hear combat music. So I think they're still trying to attack me. Now we're good. Okay. No death command? I like how you said that without trying a death command. You did a random one life command, not a death command. <laughs> How's it going, Ultras? How's your day, man? Again, I did get the explosives, so now we go the tinkles route. Uh, but knowledge. Wow, I know, right? Wow, indeed. It's okay, new seed. Banded Allegiance. Yeah. Uh, let me 
sell stuff, but also remember to buy ammo on our way over. Wait, what was that, Band of Legions? Damage and fire rate? You know what? I'll keep it. And maybe we'll even use it with the Tattler, maybe. Bandit Maya. Yeah, Bandit Maya. You Tyler, we sure do. And actually, that is the ideal band of allegiance to go along with it, even. Yeah. It's your third death. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, it's one life, you just keep doing it. Hey, what's up, Gas? How you doing? Um, Quasar. Quasar will be best friend here. Oh, we we have this in the right place, right? No. Man's best friend. Okay. Hey, you found a stupid thing. Great. Be careful. My grandma used to feed orphans to it. So if your parents are dead, like, be careful or whatever. He might be able to smell your orphan. You killed Captain Blake's stupid stalker. Yay. Go back to the bounty board and... Uh... Mm -hmm. Unique pistol. Well, that might just make this whole um, underleveled excursion worth it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's gonna be Gwen's head. <laughs> Three very good options. I'd say more than three, but yeah. Um, I'd say all of the fippers are good. Oh, good. Speaking of good, good. No, that was the guy that I wanted to not still be around when I second wind it. Oh, and also you. And also we know that we can one-shot you with Bada Boom. That's very helpful. I will make sure we have full Bada Boom before we do Fire Water. Yeah, no, all three of the Fibbers would be good, the Grog would be good, the Ruby would be good, the Lady Fist would be good. Um, so, yeah, Unique Pistol, while it's a broad, expansive category, has a lot of options for us. Hell, I would love to get Hornet or Hector's Paradise, even. Okay, so if I remember correctly, dudes... Oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Reflexes! Oh, jeez. Okay, where is burying? Oh no, this is where the ring is. Uh, wingman. Up. Those are legend. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Anyway, the moment we um, pick this up, more dudes will spawn. So like, bye! Or not. Please, I feel too shy to okay, myself. or yes. Could you do me the favor of asking or not. To marry me? Hey, Stabler, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Found my ricochet fibber today and somehow failed to use it properly. Uh, it um, takes practice when you're not Gage, you know. Where else is things? Where's burying the past? Okay, way out there. All right. Oh, the drop chances on your loot rando work. Yeah, yeah, exclamation point loot sources uh, will uh, spell out every detail explicitly, including for every single enemy. But rule of thumb is um, normal enemies are 15% chance. Normal missions are one uh, instance of a loot reward. Slower enemies are a one in three instead of 15%. Uh, mission enemies are 50%. Longer missions give two instances of their reward. Very long missions give uh, four instances of their reward. I don't believe in marriage. I'm sorry, Shade. But the answer is no. I still have to aim a bit. No, see, I would say that the Ricochet Fibber, it's more than you have to aim a bit. To be, you know, like the Ricochet Fibber actually takes a getting a feel for the geometry, not just of the Ricochet, but of the, um,. Okay, we got that out of the pool. So, Lee's shield is less likely to be 
that. <laughs> Lee isn't that, yeah. Um, uh, so we don't need to repeat man's best friend. We could just do tinkles every time. Stuck up, bitch. Oh, hey, cool. I'll do wingman again. Friend, I have a oh, that's awesome. You have met yes? Um, all right, car. Precise angle type gun. I'll say it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I wouldn't even describe it as learning, because obviously you can see it, like, you've learned it. It's it's worth, um, uh, reflexing. Um, how am I doing on ammo? Did I, did I tend to that? Because that's real important right now that we don't run out of anything specific that we need. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Oh, I didn't save quit, so there shouldn't be a Tinkles. I do wonder if man's best friend would respawn it. Perhaps even without the ads. Not that they're a problem, really. They're just a couple check marks. How many unique shields are there? Um, Veritas. Or no, sorry, excuse me. Aquitas, Love Thumper. Uh, uh what do you call it? Uh, the, the, the Rough Rider. Um, Manly Man Shield. Pot of gold. Okay, could be a pot of gold. Could be a pot of gold. Gotta go do Lee. Thirteen forty shield. Oh yeah. Read the wiki. No, I'm just making conversation, and reading the wiki would undermine that. No, you know how fun the mini game is of playing the guessing game. Nine total. Okay, nine unique shields. Nine purple shields. But eleven legendary shields. <laughs> Mr. Bubbles and Little Sis have unique pistol and godfinger respectively. Okay. Where do you think Little Sis was hiding the godfinger? Me yet. Stuck up, bitch. 
Nope. Terrible. Let's try it again. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens if we pick up Aubrey's without a save quit. My lawyers have advised me not to answer that question, mostly because Mr. Bubbles has them captive. <laughs> My lawyers have begged me not to answer that question for their lives. I want to take care of friggin' stalker, they're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. High quality, low prices, and no questions asked. Yeah. Uh, you? Uh, mm, ammo? Feeling overburdened by money. Pleasure, dude. Come back anytime. We also are um, just about high enough to actually go do Frostburn in main game again. But, um, you know, now I need to know these checks, so... Hmm? Hey, it's there! Cool! Get rid of these hints and... Go back to the bounty board and I'll pay you. Um, see how this goes? If the ring just respawns every time without a save quit, that'd be wonderful. Because, uh, it's the, like, you know, dudes here that slow this down. Okay, guys spawned when I picked it up. Hmm. We're good. Realize the tracker now auto fills that sick. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> it's <laughs> it actually really makes playing this mod genuinely more fun. Like, thank God, you know, no work. You can just play. I didn't realize how big of a deal that would be, you know, when I first released this thing. Um, just how much work it would be playing, um, or if you didn't do the work, you know, of writing everything down, uh, just how tough it would be to, like, have a cohesive playthrough, trying to memorize anything, but, you know, obviously you can't actually do that. Thankfully, as we wrote the mod in general, um, I wrote it in such a way so as to make it possible. Oh, her dialogue doesn't play without a save quit. Oh, this is great. Oh, what a good farm we have. And we got a sick Maggie. <laughs> Jacob's Grip Mag. Are you kidding? Well, we don't need to do that anymore. Um... <laughs> Dude, that Maggie's like too good to be true. First time you requested enemies from early on, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, it's uh, I couldn't really make it fully retroactive. I tried, but it actually kind of bugged it out, and I had to release a, a patch, the 1.1.1 patch. Yeah. Didn't get tinkles. You're right. You're right. Now I wonder, though, actually, if it's. Faster to save quit. Kill Tinkles, kill Stalkers, save quit. Drive. Kill Tinkles, till ki kill Stalkers. Save quit, drive. Here. Money. Woo. Looping. 
Let's try it. Could it's probably cause yeah. Although I do have to stop and get ammo every time, so maybe even not. <laughs> get our last manly man shield, perchance. I mean, as long as we get, like, at least two grenades every time. Could be faster if you could set your save spawn as the worm water exit. No, especially not in a one life. A oh, worm water, not Hater's Folly. I don't know that there's a way up this cliff, do you? Not as clean. You have to go around. There is a car station though on that side. Uh, okay. Okay, mouth. There is. It's the path where you pick up the engagement ring. Which, thinking about it, has enemies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if that saves, like, a few seconds each run, not worth it, but... Okay. Gen genuinely cool to know. Boost up the hill, then car everything. Yeah. Um, I doubt it. I would assume that, like, you know, this is just, um, you know, an entire coliseum of invisible walls. But... Hey, Raptor. How's it going? Alright, it's one of the fibbers. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and it's shock. It's crit, and actually that is very helpful to have. Fine. Good. I will never complain about a fibber. Also, one more unique pistol on our way to getting the grog and one life. Finally. Alright, any other quick checks? Okay, we can do fire water like we were planning on. Although, again, we have enough XP at this point, but we might as well clear this map so that we don't have to remember specifically to do fire water next time. Same with burying the past. I'm gonna save quit. Norfleet suit, dude, I still have not gotten... There are two things that I have not yet gotten in seeds that I've really been wanting to get in seeds. One of them is the Norfleet because, you know, meta seed randomness. You know, I want to get one of those seeds where it's like, oh, you get a fucking Norfleet for free. Like everybody else has been getting. Um, and the other is Cobra. Everyone's been getting to enjoy... The Cobra getting the Cobra in normal mode, and I haven't, and I want to. I have not yet gotten a normal mode Cobra seed. The Cobra's not OP, it's just like, you know, it's a gun with cool gun feel that, um, you know, actually works in normal mode, and but you never get to use it. Welcome, I can remember when else you had to have that fun, and I don't.
where is Cronus? Like, this way? This way to Firewater, but then if you, what, if you keep going, it's Cronus? Your Grandma Flexington story is a Norfleet. Well, see, that doesn't pain me, because, haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> see, Norfleet Cobra. Rebecca, yeah, I haven't gotten Becca either. That's another great one. That one's like the Norfleet of fun guns, you know? Cobra's in your Kriegs Hammerlock DLC. So you didn't find another fight. Yeah, right, right. Too bad. But that's what I mean by like, you know, a Cobra Seed. That's not a Cobra Seed. Of course you have the Cobra somewhere. But a Cobra Seed is a seed where you get to use the Cobra, right? No commercial. Yeah, 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 exactly. Bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care. But oh, this is Firewater. Oh, hey, this is a cool route. All right. Yeah, note to self. In the future, always do Tinkles plus uh, Engagement Ring. Uh, first. Oh, oh, Explosives first. Explosives plus Legs and Teeth first. Then... Bearing the past takes uh, place next to Firewater. Hey, this is cool. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, this is a problem with a, you know, bada boom. Good. Thank God you got the whiskey. Frank was beginning to get violent. Please return the drinks to him. Uh, and then we can save quit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom release pod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If um, if it weren't for that, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing a level 15 DLC at level 11 like we are. So we get to have that kind of fun, thanks to having Bada Boom. I goddamn hate my great grandma. I'll have a beer to that, uh, Aubrey. Uh, guy over there. Get the whole DLC before Lilith, yeah. TBH. Let's see, next would be, um, Hater's Folly. I am a tough man who Not sure how comfortable I feel doing that with, um, our current kit. You have a problem, Frank. You were so drunk you were speaking the gibberish. Please return how long uh, in this DLC do you think we would be Perhaps until we were 15 and could use things like that? Hey, cool. Don't need it again, though. All right, let's go. Oh, except I got that's corrosive. So no, no, still no Marcus mission. I'll do one more Lee on the way to Frostburn because we are interested.
Oh man, it's already 2 p.m. Jeez. What be happening again? Three duds and a chain in two piece loot. <laughs> what chain this time? I had a dream. Blah kept teasing the return of Jack in the story, and it's eventually revealed to be one-eyed Jack from BL1. You did not actually have this dream. Your subconscious is not that clever. <laughs> nice try, though. Thanks for the spot quest. Dud, dud, dud. Blood of the Ancients. Toothpick. Um, Blood of the Ancients is, um... Oh, into base loot. Yeah, yeah. Three, then base. Yeah, yeah. Probably sure. left landmarks for their reinforcements. Those should lead you to the Firehawk. That or just follow the screaming. What is this? Oh, you'll see. I don't have a subconscious. I have a dawn conscious. Because I never submit. Yeah, yeah. Very good. You know, it's funny. Yeah, we... We never specify... For our higher level conscience. We just call it conscience. But I guess, um, you know, the implication is uh, that it is our dom conscience. Step off, Vault Hunter! This is between the Bloodshots and the Firehawk! It's the same energy I have as I have never lost my virginity because I never lose. We're gonna string him up from his own freaking intestines. I can say with confidence that I often lose. But at least I won virginity. This is unusual. The Firehawk has harassed the bloodshots for some time, but they have never mounted such a large scale assault on the Firehawk before. I wonder what's given them such confidence. Keep going, bloodshots! That demonic thing will do the goddamn day and mess with us! Stuffy little <laughs> I like the idea of winning virginity. Beating virginity! As opposed to losing to virginity. Did I really do that many? Um, any synergies? I'll use a synergy. They're all apparati. There's a synergy, alright. Oh, is that bandit grip? It's bandit grip. Alright, cool. Maybe I should get Gage to play co-op with you. I can't remember ever seeing Gage play co-op, period. And Gage is a popular guy. But go for it. Should we check? Let's check. My dom and subconscious are in conflict and it's about to get sexual, right? <laughs> you know they like the conflict, right? Yeah, cool. 
cool, buddy. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> oh. Wow, I'm too strong. There's more, right? No? Hello, fellas. I need your um, XP. But it's for a friend, trust me. Uh, it's not for me. I, I need your XP for a friend. Dude, he's so strong, he could stand up to that man. Look at this poor object permanence. You just walk behind a pillar. Yeah, yeah, right. No, see, he's regressed to, regressed to infancy. I walk behind a pillar, and as far as his, you know, train of thought goes, I cease to exist. Yay! Whoop. Murdering you is gonna be a right Jack, I am very busy with other things right now. I'm sorry. But now I'm sure your bad about Roll is just fine. Of course, if Roll had been such a dumbass in the first place, you would. Uh oh. Whoops. Almost. Not ready for you yet. Oh, he's done! Alright, everyone. Work together. On the god Lyoth. Oh. Hold on, that's a calm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Wow, was god Lyoth worth it. You know, unless this is Slayer. Alright everyone, place your bets! <laughs> you have a uh, 5 to 1 odds. Siren, you think? What if it's Binder? What if it's Binder? Or Cat? Honestly, Cat would probably be the best early, like this early, in lieu of any skill points. Sof. What's Sof? Foss. <gasps> I need a hug. Let me explain something. Even if you do rescue Roland from this firehawk guy, the Crimson Raiders ain't exactly long for this world. <laughs> You know what? Is he not life? I would be fine farming God Lyoth for a calm, dude. That's like one per playthrough. A lot. Fun. Thank you, Anski. Um, I mean, cool. That's not cool. That's one point. I got so happy. Let's see, Minecraft troopers drop. Okay, I'm guessing either the blockhead or the longbow. Head. Yeah. 
the block bow. Actually, block bow is pretty accurate, isn't it? Earthquakes marks my drills getting closer and closer. Hey, Kendra, great to see you. How's it That's going? Of progress, baby. Granted, is it affect No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was a joke about um, it being very boring. Result. <laughs> Disco, that's adorable. It looks like a VHS tape. So. How you doing? The bandits call me the fire. Name's Lilith. I'm with the Let's try. I keep the Mucho busy. Oh yeah, how so? Focus on taking down Jack. Anyway, long story, lots of internal bleeding. Could you help me up? All right, Mr. Bubbles, then. Four of them little sisters dropped. The bubbles dropped. Wait, you're actually... Okay. Oh, I don't know. Maybe your setup is such that you naturally are able to get little sisters dropped. Um, like, you don't have to, like, be careful about, you know, hurting little sis. Appreciate it. Can you make a friendly fight mod that doesn't break the game? What do you mean by friendly fight? I mean like NPCs, teammates, Thanks. Lilith. Bet you're looking for Roland, huh? He's not if here. you're asking if I could make a mod uh, in which we can kill Lilith, my question to you is who cares if it would break the game? Twenty-five orders waiting to get on machines. Five currently in production. Oh yeah, that's busy. says unique shoddy <gasps> blockhead oh my god it's actually gonna be blockhead they want the Waldemar <laughs> so okay what are you doing here uh, you better have a part running the machine running uh, in a non needing attention way right now it better uh, I assume that's what it is. You just set five machines to run, and now you have a moment to breathe. Oh, oops. A report soup Feeling tapped out, though. Could you give me another um okay no offense but like that was like terrible journalism you didn't even cover yeah, you know story. any kind of details about the soup <sighs> or like you know um how the soups um uh, impacted society finally the bubbles drop it was so worth it Somehow that shows how much HP an enemy has left. Uh, Commander has a keybind, uh, or has a custom command that you can no paste in, no, in the uh, Commander Discord. Well, before the blood shots around, is getting in. Report. Pyrrhic victory! <laughs> All right, killer, I'm back. <laughs> Get that little detail after paying for your 4 dollars subscription. Yeah, yeah. Um... Reuters and AP and BBC are the are still my like daily drivers for news, and they don't require paid subscriptions. 
they do like me to log in with my email address, and I do because it's literally the least I can do to support them is um, give them data. Hey, I uh, have a job for you. Ever faked your own death? And then of course you know they have a ton of ads, and it's you know a little obnoxious, but again, literally least I can do is like look at the ads to get them revenue for the genuinely positive work that they do for society. Funny seeing health numbers on enemies. Yeah, so the commander keybind, sorry to clarify it, um, logs all living enemies' current health values to the console when you press the button. It logs it to the console. Uh, and you just pull up the console to look. So, like, you know, if you're, like, <clears throat> trying to see, hey, how much how much raid bu how, how much health does um, Dexy have or whatever. Or like, you know, how much health does Pyro Pete have left? You can press the button. You know, Synergy's actually kind of boring, huh? Did he? No, we didn't. How about that beer I owed you? So, yeah, well, that's the thing is, it's kind of like the same boring as the Lady Fest. Uh, just, you know, more body shot, less crit. So even more boring. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. This beer for response. Oh, okay, see ya. I was gonna say cozy. I have to go home. Well, good. Okay. Our stuff for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. This can be cozy. Kind of like our place in New Haven before... Um, yeah, I'm going now. Not expect a Half-Life quote. I think you're the first person who didn't already know about that quote who commented on it being a Half-Life quote. Whose idea was that one? The Barney quote? The dinosaur or the Half-Life NPC? Barney. Oh yeah, that the Barney. Yep. yep. You sure made a joke. <laughs> Hello, that Twitch fellow. How are you? Good to see you. How be the randomizer? Good. It's always good. Every new seed, no matter how garbage, is so exciting. Anyway, how are you? This one, um, the seed is totally normal. Um, we have different guns than we did the last seed, and that's all I could ask for. It's still early. Really? So what's the emergency? I liquefied that. Come again. I was out hunting and living. Got a minor cough, but I'm living. Oh. Mm. I'm glad to hear the minor descriptor. Jack just left him for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let oh, the Oh, I meant to go to lead, not right. Uh, no, no, uh, no you're, you're right. Of course. Are you sure? Ace, how's it going? Oh no, no, not oh no, we get to do a new seed! And kind of, we sort of learn something again, which is good. It was, it was a better death than the accident anyway. Anyway, how's it going, Ace? 
<laughs> I hate learning. All right, then it was worse than the accident. Man. Don't go that way, I'd assume that's the lesson. Yeah. And also, like, you know... Uh, broader perspective of, like... Um... If I don't know a map, don't just, you know, like, charge around in it. You know? Like, like be... Uh, take in, you know, new things more cautiously. You know, to me, like, in that moment, it was like, okay, there's a bridge. I can walk across the bridge to get back to the travel. I'd literally never gone that way ever before. So, but, you know, it's like, plain and simple. Just, you know, walk that way. No bridge is not a through way. No, all the collision on the bridge wasn't real. In the future, don't trust it so strongly. That kind of thing so strongly. Well, I just watched the Hey Kale, glad you could enjoy it. How are you? Welcome back. How's work? Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it, which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. You're rather resistant to fire, but Clayton wants you to burn them to death. Clayton wants me to what? Kill them with a non-fire weapon? <laughs> Including the last few shots? Uh, okay, good. Okay. Kill the incinerators by any means necessary. Got it. I aggroed this little midget with sweet release. Why did I get baited? Oh, hey, it's broken. Cool, Molly one sight. Why did I get baited into taking a free point in sweet release? What is more beautiful than a handful of ashes? Nothing! Nothing at all! Remember, since those guys resist fire, you should be Okay, those guys resist fire, kill them with non fire. Got it. Hello? And... Look, I'm sorry that I got pyros, okay? Hello? Hello? Okay, keep looking at me as you run this way. Yeah, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on! Oh, who's a good birdie, Shaco? Who's a good birdie, Shaco? You want a treat? You want a treat? Good boy! Good boy! Come on! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's right! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Come on! Come on! You're being good! Good boy! <laughs> hey, Clayton! <laughs> you want a dog? <laughs> that is enough, my young torch! Children now <laughs> Fire gun. Hey, cool. <laughs> well, that's our first sniper, isn't it? He's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Loggins. How's it going? You just kill them with fire. That's slang for explosive weapons, because explosions are fire. <laughs> you have to kill them with dope ass, sick, nasty guns, dude. Yeah. anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. Scorch equals legendary AR. How about class mod? I'm not sure other class mod. Can you guess class mod and be right? I 100% want to treat. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Never die. Treat! <laughs> the false idol 
Okay, no more. scorch. Retreat? <laughs> oh my god, how many of you are there? Quest is trickster come. Okay. 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 Blue? Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you have the spread. Or whatever. These people are weird, but they only seem to have themselves and that scorch guy. Maybe we should um, leave them alone. Match. Who's your favorite trickster? Nice choice. Nice choice. Demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Matchstick. He you says midget so the derisively. The, the midget. Incinerate him within the jaws of That's where it does sound like a slur in this game. Actually, um, maybe this time we'll see what Little Boom's legendary shield is. I was forget that they call Midget's Tinks in VL3 somehow sounds a lot more like a slur then. No, I don't get that vibe. That Tinks sounds like a slur. Well, I guess... You, what you're saying is it sound that sounds like a word that would make a good slur if it actually were a slur in real life. Sure. Thanks, Borderlands. Yeah, too many twinks are it's, twinks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My brain went immediately to an actual real epithet. <laughs> Too many fucking tanks around here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. The tank bar is two blocks down. Got that done. So shut up, Gage. Hey, Gage, how you doing? Legit, I joke. I'm not joking. That actually did teach me a new kind of caution. You know, where it's like, if I'm not familiar with an area... In general, even just like, you know, a place that it looks like you can walk. Um, still exude caution because this is still a one life. Wow, we're over full. I really should have gone bank. Okay. Shit. No meteor shower. All right, you know what? No skip for us now. Your trust terrain Borderlands games especially have not. Yeah, right, right. I, I did not have that fear. I, I did, did not have that fear. Anyway, how's your run going, Gage? walked off a half bridge yeah so the full sequence of events was um assumed that the bridge went uh more or less the whole way across noticed that it didn't uh saw that i was walking um along a wooden plank that extends a little further assumed i could jump off of that to make it across because you know you would be able to and then realized that the plank did not have collision and I was already falling, so my space key did nothing. Um, you know, these guys really are just 
All of that happened within like a split second. I tried. Get to the incinerator console and give him what he wants, I guess. Yeah, Borderlands math question. <laughs> math? Hell yeah! Alright, what's up? <laughs> you ever gave me some explosion? Oh, cool. That was kind of weird. Was it a pot? Right, right, no, totally. So guns that can proc bloodbath, uh, but don't always proc it, is it just decided by whether or not the splash was the finishing ball? Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. And you can kind of, like, guesstimate the odds, right? Um, like, let's say you're talking about no crit. No crit. Um, if you have a gun that has 100% splash, you can guess that it's... Oh, I should say no crit, no other types of buffs. No, in the case of Krieg, yeah, it's just no crit. Anyway, um, if a gun has plus 100% nade splash, then it's a 50-50 chance whether it'll pock bloodbath or not. What are these red dots? Okay. You'll smash this 90%, it'll be like 40 Yeah, exactly. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and actually, you know, given that, right, that's like encouragement to not crit. Um, cause any crits reduce your chance of proccing bloodbath with the kill. Welcome, customers. Okay, before, before we, here, let me turn this in. But then, before we go do anything else that can give us loot, let's go to the bank. Cause, some of these things, um, are later items. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. Thank you, Torch. Okay. You shall join Max. It is time for the Enkindling. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Clayton said the Enkindling? You have done so well, Torch. Make sure I got Once the right four line. Yeah, yeah. The Enkindling is complete. We shall all receive our reward in the Firehawk's toasty bosom. But yeah, technically it is, you know, again, whatever gets the final blow. It's just, you know, if you're spamming a bunch of bullets, you can't really predict that. Um, best you can do is, like, say, odds. I can target give me a Hornet, two playthroughs in a row. But it's slightly less interesting because I don't have the mod installed. <laughs> slightly less, yeah. Thanks. No, Hyperion Lilith. Knows about me, the better. You thanks. You didn't uh, listen to those echoes. Yeah, you right? can do that. Try to shoot the ground and land splash, but I mean, like, there's so few guns where it's like the splash is big enough for that to really be viable. I don't generally go the route of um, focusing on bloodbath, but also not using guns that are guaranteed bloodbath procs that are like RNG bloodbath procs. Usually, you know, like, if my whole build is Bloodbath, and my goal is to have Bloodbath active, then I'm running pure Nade Splash, or pure Splash guns. Sorry, not pure Nade Splash. Um. Yeah, let's put that away. Let's put all of our level 15 things away. That's a B delivery system at this point. Yeah, I'll keep that on me. Oh, that's 13. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, let's sell the Hellfire, because we have now something else fire. Cool. Okay, yeah. We'll come back to the bank at 15, right? Right? We'll remember, right? Good. Now the bloodbath lies about being any explosion. Well, it says explosion. Which is not a word that exists anywhere else, to be fair. But that does not um, at all excuse just, you know, how... Um, Welcome, customer. Uh, uneducational bloodbath skill card is for how it actually works, yeah. 
what it doesn't say explosive in yellow text you know like um if it if it, the game is talking about the element it does use the word explosive if it's in a skill card it highlights it in yellow you know like like you can compare strip the flesh to um a bloodbath's card and you'll you'll see a difference but like you know who the hell is actually going to like you know spec their skills by looking for highlighted exact derivatives of words is cobra gun splash yeah cobra's gun splash same as molly one snipers except um the volcano and the storm <laughs> oh borderlands so want elemental splash to work it'd be pretty busted if every gun even on crit would proc bloodbath that would be less balanced than it is now bloodbath is already busted just being able to guaranteed proc it um with things that count as like launcher splash or you know any grenade kill if like you know you could take um Uh, you know, like a ogre and, you know, get a crit with it and, uh, or, get, you know, focus on critting with it. And every single ogre kill proc bloodbath, that'd be worse. Also, um, you know, if, if the alternative that you're alluding to is like, you know, any yellow damage number proccing it, well, then you wouldn't get to, you know, use fire guns with bloodbath or or anything. So I don't think that would necessarily be more fun. You have done so well, Torch. Now, pull that lever and commence the enkindling. Maybe not pure splash has been my Krieg issue. Maybe I just need to adapt and use the fastball to proc bloodbath or let sometimes happen with Teslas and like, yeah. I will say the most effective way of leveling a gun Krieg is uh, rush bloodlust. Oh, sorry, rush bloodbath. Get a calm that boosts bloodbath. Use transfusions as your utility nade and run cannons. Torg barrel Jacob's ARs. That's always on Bloodbath, always supply of grenades, always supply of bloodlust stacks, always supply of healing. Wow. Oh man, crit fibber though. We almost just one shot him. He is purple class mod. I'd prefer blue class mod right now, but I'll absolutely check purple class mod. Maybe. Great job taking care of the cult. I tell you, man, being a god sucks. Let's see what the turn in is. It's a dumb question about shaders. I'll try to answer. Don't know if I'll be able to. Also, I, I can I probably won't find it dumb. My gun Craig feels so weird, feels wrong to ignore the action skill. I disagree. I I think it's like Um I mean uh, there's plenty of characters where like, you know, the action skill is not the focus. A lot of people play axe and no action skill, which, you know, I don't think is optimal, but it's faster and more fun. Everyone plays Gage with their action skill just kind of existing if they even ever use it. A lot of characters just like, you know, their real action skill or whatever, their defining interactivity is something else in their skill tree. I, I don't think that's weird. Yeah. Um, no, wait. We go to Lilith to turn him. I'm so, yeah, exactly. I don't throw turret early game. Even though I know that it's right to, I often don't even think about it. Because there's not enough encouragement to yet early game, and I'm doing other things on Axton quickly instead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like his real action skill is like Onslaught, or Expertise, or Metal Storm, depending on how you go. Yeah. Same with Gage. Like, you know, Gage's real action skill is Anarchy. Uh, whatever. 
Krieg's um, real action skill is blood la bloodbath and uh, uh, blood twitch. Thanks, Lilith. Well, now we can do Marcus missions, except slag. Yep, corrosive, right. <laughs> it happened, dude. Dolminator. <laughs> That's our earliest Marcus mission weapon. <laughs> Hmm, now what? Armored targets. Like Armored targets. Oh, we got two. Heck yeah. Oh, man, did I see how that acid ate through that metal. I love corrosive weapons. Man, Tadler build, though. All right, let's do another one that gives Accelerate. Like Armored targets. Robots can take a lot of damage. Nope. Unless you've got a mm, now what else? Ah, armor. See how the acid eats through the metal? I must 28? Are you I kidding me? Mm, now what else? Ah, armor. Armored targets like these damn 78 mines I no. Now what else? Ah, armor. Armored targets like his damn time. 38, no. Armored targets like his damn time. Period. Robots can take a look. See how the acid eats through the metal? 38, no. Now what else? Ah, armor. Armored targets like his damn time. 38, no. Also, we'll use these to bankroll, um. Armor. See how the acid Our moxie tips. We haven't done that yet either. Armored targets like these damn 78 accelerate. All right, cool. Very good. A lot of damage, unless you've got a corrosive weapon. Goodbye, Slayer of Terror. I hated you. I hated you so much. I just hated you. Um, and then my bandit relic <laughs> is at level 15. Well, I guess, you know, maybe we're actually gonna make this uh, Tatler last forever, huh? Is it releasing just the mission? Yeah, I have, and I will at some point, but not a... Uh, no, no time frame, I'm sorry. Okay. Is that good for anyone? Um, Gage, but it's not actually even optimal on her. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You haven't met the ho dunks yet, have you? You bastard. Ever dear, this isn't my favorite gun, but you might get some use out of it. Chiefs yeah, that's true. If you get it um uh, in a seed before legendary soldier. Thanks, Moxie. Seriously, how are you a bartender? Let's go manually make a vanilla seed easy mission repeat mod. Yeah, true. If that um exists, which there's a very, very, very low chance that it's po that that exists, there are one billion possible seeds per combination of settings. But then you go into the factorials of like how many possible permutations of items to locations there are and uh, yeah the chance of one of them be one of the billion actually being vanilla is very low hmm. I guess I'll put away the nade I don't know eh, I'll keep it white whatever oh and I was gonna respec Actually, zero, because Sandhawk. True. True. Hey! You found a customization station! You can use this to change your appearance. Huh? <laughs> 
Lee! Give me your thing! I just need to know! Lee! It's okay, Anmaya, if you don't have a good calm. Yeah, um... Oh, wait. Oh, what were you referring to? Cat? Yeah. Needs a buff? Yeah, no. No. Yeah, this way. Oh, Terra. Um, yeah, Maya's tier ones are okay. Yeah, it very much depends on how you interpret that question. Um... Whether the inter whether the question is, uh, is the item ever worth using? Like, is it ever actually worth equipping the calm, or is the calm, um, you know, have any benefits to it whatsoever? Obviously, all of them have some benefit, but I would also say that all of them are genuinely just worse than the character's other options for every build. Like, I can't think of an example of any build where the optimal comm is the Slayer of Terra. Not even Gage. Gage, if you're wanting a max DPS comm, it's not 600 Anarchy, it's the, um, uh, correctly chosen passives for the Necromancer comm. You know, usually Chaotic Neutral. Um, I think our gear is good enough to where I actually feel okay doing this. Although, maybe we would want... Let's see. We got Bada Boom. Yeah, okay. Just wondering... What are, well, maybe not that. I wonder what to do for Buzzards, but... Dominator for Buzzards. Easy answer. Also, let me make sure we're full on ammo. So we're doing a lot of things. Uh, why don't we also get a box? I should be able to use a legendary soldier despite not having any of the skills that boost. True. Yeah. Did I also did I talk to Ellie? I'm all right. She's all right. Oh my god. Box. Box! Bro. Box. Now. Okay. It's so mean. <laughs> it says go away. <laughs> hey, Storm Rider, bye, Storm Rider. 600 just works if you're trying to drunk multi shot hive. Well, yeah, okay, so obviously, if you're bypassing the need for more um, mag and fire rate, or let's say reload. Yeah. No, you're right. If all you need is to um, shoot one hive magazine with double shot, or rather shoot two hive shots with double shot, then yeah, you get no benefit out of passives on a Tinacom, you just want more base damage. True. Box hates you as well. If I ever see that box again. You're in the camp? You really are a cowboy. Now snag those volleyballs and get some jet fuel. Well, no, so for the Wanderlust build, that's actually where you very much would want chaotic neutral and not uh, 600 anarchies. Like chaotic neutral necro with Wanderlust would be more DPS than Slayer of Terror with Wanderlust. 
Get schooled, son, about Wanderlust build. I really like you existing. You continue to exist in perpetuity. Thank you. Get on your goddamn um, who's the fire? You. Okay, well, you're getting your ass handed to you, so... Oh, God. Um, okay, you guys are not being cooperative. Also, I don't like my lack of DPS against you. Also, I don't like that I'm being corroded. God damn, this mission's not easy. Okay, but have you shot yourself in the face before, like you just did? By having your bullets bounce off of a crazy witch lady. Oh my god, that's so much better. What was I thinking? Not using this in the first place. for maximum shot damage. You know, I wonder if you're, if you're talking like the theoretical like that, uh, whether maximum single shot damage would be um, the crit from Necro uh, or, you know, the extra 200 anarchy. Depends on the gun, depends on the level. Unless it doesn't. Oh, the Lady Fist, it would definitely be the Anarchy. If you, you know, you crit with the Lady Fist at 600 Anarchy. But yeah, the Theoretical. 40% more crit? Oh, it's more than that! Oh, hey, you're back! Glad you could calm down. All right, who will win? One really angry fat guy versus three men without shirts. Okay, pretty sure the guys without shirts. So. And their beer. 59%. It's more because that's one of the ones that is understated on the card. I think. Is it? Or is it just fire rate and mag? No, not mag. Which of the skills that, like, the Necrocom's mag doesn't get right? Fire rate's one of them. I'm pretty sure the other is crit. There's the sea gauge and loot rando. Yeah, have fun farming when you don't have a bee in your seed and that's your only other option besides anarchy while you save quit. You can be my wingman anytime. No! Logan! <coughs> you, you can be my wingman anytime. I love you, Logan. I love you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Logan. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Also, I accidentally picked it up again, um, which I don't want to do because we're going to want to do this at a higher level when it gives when it levels up with the dust. Shit. Whatever. Eh, might as well do it now when the 
Twister gives us on level. A proper corpse at the end of the aisle if I have to. I'm not canceling the wedding! <laughs> Sorry, babe, but I'm marrying Loggins. I don't see you getting me twisters. is an ice cream in the UK. Oh, lovely. He died. He died. He died. I, I, I knew it was going to happen, so I said it anyway. That he died. He won't die. He died. Twister is a mid ice cream. Hmm. Ice cream in the UK, my god, I can have one right now. Uh, even though it's so mid, according to the Disco Degenerate. Oh, it happened! Someone clipped the whole sequence of me doing that mission so I can send it to Deceptics because he would like to know. Although, it, that one uh, might have been in such a. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, shit. Why are you deagroing? Oh, ho, ho. In my excitement, I didn't play one life. I die. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Clip that. Because that actually might be useful. Although I'm not sure if that one was because of loot rando or... Dude, why buzzards? Who the clutch of the clip set? Yeah, right. Okay, problem with this um, being on... Okay, okay, you, you... Exactly what we're looking at. Twister. No, completing this mission without picking up all six items. It's happened to people in vanilla. And it just happened to me. And I don't know how. And in this case, whether it had anything to do with um uh Lou Rando. And the fact that I'm repeating this mission. But again, it's happened to people in vanilla. Yeah. Man, we got a good look at that guy's shirtlessness. You really splash those suckers. Yeah. Come on back. Mm. Hey, thanks. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, let me put that somewhere else. So the whole quest by like 50 seconds before completion is probably good enough. Yeah, maybe. Uh, although I do wonder if it like, you know, random shit like, you know, how you drive into the camp affects it. So I'll, I'll just like link him the timestamp in the VOD.
do some testing. I have a theory. Okay. You can be my wing oh my god, he just and gave us Jacob's grip. Holy fuck. Logins, I will s suck. You. <laughs> Actually, hmm. Faster reload by like a good chunk. Not that much more damage. I will blow him away. Yeah. Hope you've had your shots. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go for the faster reload one. Crazy as that may seem. Catch you later. Man, help you kill many things. You're my miss farewell, friend. <laughs> Finish off logins. <laughs> Optional objective. <laughs> I elect to do it. name of that in the code? Uh, da, 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 too close for missiles. Yo, it's all lowercase. The package name for the mission is lowercase, which is weird. But there you go. I do. What's your theory? Well, okay. The Type it out your way in again. once uh, it is convenient what your theory is. What was in the box? Um, uh, hops, barley, water, yeast. Rudeness. Yeah, it literally it told me to go away. Man, would you look at that design? Like an eagle soaring through the midnight sky. Only the eagle's like 300 pounds. With a oh, 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 Would it be extremely inconvenient to, since we're on this side, go check Black Queen with the skip? Yeah, I'll do it. Oops. But who will run Goop? That's probably a reference that I don't know. Really, Beer telling you to go away is giving you good advice. <laughs> no, the Beer is setting a bad example. Um, 
for, you know, uh, positive interaction with your fellow kind. Okay. Maybe not fellow kind, but... What if you are beer kind? Well, then there you go. Okay, I just assumed that I could kill one spawn and leave, but no. It's alright, I get to twist your spider ants. Aussie comedy group called Auntie Donna. Ah, okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely not a reference I'm familiar with. That one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Do the whole head in the box thing, it's gonna. Oh, okay. Explosions, theft, and interior design. Wow! Whoa, wow, wow, what a seed. Oh, man. Oh, we're gonna be so invincible. How much kinetic reflection do we have? I mean, really, now we just need one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this character. It's really cool, because, you know, I mean, it's like... Um, we get to play Maya the fun way and be, you know, like... Properly Maya. We don't need to use fucking Grog, Cloud Kill. Uh, you know, like, like in UVHM, we'll be able to be just, like, charging at shit. Keeping our kill skills up, having fun. Like, really, if, uh, like, you know, if I were to be given a choice between, like, one item, every seed, um, Grog or Antagonist, I, I, I would always choose Antagonist. That's the fun, overpowered survivability. Slack, anyway. Like, I haven't even seen it. it. Doesn't exist. Okay. Antagonist! How do we get the target dummy <laughs> to damage us? So I was watching um BL Pitts uh playing with his friend, and to complete their slag Marcus mission, they went out of bounds, dueled, and um procked each other's antagonists. Which, again, you know, I'm really, really happy with the way that we nerfed uh, the Marcus missions. And that really just drove it home, you know? Hey, Magnus, good to see you. How's it going? Go get an 880. We'll, we'll continue getting more of those as the dust levels. Fortunately, that mission levels with the dust. And um, if one of them is an 880, then we'll keep it forever for purposes. Roland should be around here somewhere. I'm sure you can handle yourself, but if anything happens to Roland... Um, okay, sure let's kill Badma just to get level 15. Yeah, he's a dud, but... Level 15 isn't. <laughs> Um, I need shotgun us to you. Uh, so we're gonna go back to Sanctuary. 
omen one. I wouldn't mind that. But, you know, I have Twister, so I'm not also going to demand it, you know? Got the Sheriff's Badge. Hey, cool. Good. Good get. One of the good unique relics. Out of a sea of, like, terrible unique relics. Um... Don't need to respec. Uh, I do need to get level 15 items out of bank. I'm wearing shock rally. You Good. Find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that. Oh, I didn't even put it on yet. I got so excited. Yeah, is how do I how do I get in a fight with the target dummy so that he hurts ya. me and I slag him back? Want to break some stuff? I guess I'll keep... Nah. I'll keep our amazing Maggie. I'm never going to use that Hornet. Although I guess I should keep it for getting more catcoms just in case. Cool. Uh, just in case. Let's go. <clears throat> Try to return a gun to Marcus. How do you mean? Oh, I was gonna get shotgun to you. Shit. Imagine how cool it would be if the antagonist didn't block bullets. I, I'm trying to imagine how cool that would be, and I, I don't know, I man. I must have a terrible imagination. There's no other missions here right now, right? I did tip Moxie. She gave nothing. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need another head for my um <laughs> Huh? But even killed the psycho, it's not like he shot me. Did Nomad Bullet kill Psycho after bouncing off me? Can I just run around holding the crit fibber and enemies do nothing but kill themselves? Maybe we should get an 880. Yep. All right, normal mode antagonist. <gasps> Double badass! It must be my birthday! I... He dodged my bullet by materialize... Or, uh, 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 turning into a cloud of vapor. Oh my god, the game's really trying to give me something that can stand up to my current setup. I kind of wish you did a run on April 1st, where every item source was vanilla and you just pretend not to notice. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Oh my god, the box has a Gwen's head in it? <laughs> How did it even fit in there, dude? Yo, we got a corrosive gun from Knuckle Dragger! Now we can do, um, Marcus's corrosive mission early. Play Terraria 1.0 for 6. I've already done that Terraria playthrough. 
It um, it actually wasn't that fun. It, we we beat all the bosses, and I never want to do it again. You were around for this. Yes, I know they released it officially, so you don't have to use the down patcher that I used, but... I think actually we technically used an even earlier version, but there's probably not really any difference. Alright, that Mike's a dud. Like, um, the version that I used, I think it was 1.0.4, it was like the earliest one that the down patcher was able to do. And I think in, like, that era of the game, like, everything, all the content and mechanics were still the same, it was just, like, bug fixes and shit. So, like, 1.0.6 is probably just a less buggy 1.0.4. Less buggy 1.0.0. <laughs> he punched me and he died. <laughs> anyway, dude, Terraria in that era was actually awful. It was real bad. You know how modern Terraria, it's like really movement based? Okay, imagine Terraria without that. No movement. You are always the same movement as when you uh, start a fresh character. It was like that. Um, you do get a hook, uh, and the hook is actually kind of cool because you have to swap to it and use it. But that's it. You don't get boots, you don't get double jumps, um, you don't get jump height, you get nothing. Uh, no movement speed, no extra jump. So every boss fight was really just um, have enough HP and defense and DPS to be able to kill the boss before your health bar depletes. Somebody stop that slagging from spring and roll. Do you have to pay to be able to download things for Nexus mods even manually? No. Um, Nexus mods just makes you use click through, like, you know, ads and a menu, but you can always download for free. Oh, and it makes you do the, uh, quote-unquote slow menu, uh, slow download, which just Ball means you wait five seconds for the Good download Good to finally link. meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those blood shots. Um, now that being said, what are you trying to download from Nexus Mods? Because chances are you have exciting. a better source for it. Um, on not Nexus Mods. Oh my god, it's 3.30. I need to eat and chug some coffee. Okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hello. Nexus Mods is the Reddit of modding. Yeah. Starting to download Redux. Did he really only upload it to Nexus? Hmm. And the guy is like, uh, like big, successful YouTuber and stuff, right? So he likes his metrics. It's also in GitHub. Okay, yeah, no, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get it from GitHub. Um. While I eat, observe. 
Here's how you download a mod from GitHub. All right? You ready? Okay. So you have the GitHub front page. Here's Borderlands Loot Randomizer. Click on Releases. And then click on the item at the top. Not source code, just the, you know, download at the top. Yeah. Oh, what's this mod? Yeah. Are those space pants? Because your butt is space. Your butt is from space. Don't worry about it. Bad example. Do you have confirmation that it's for sure happened in vanilla? 90% sure. But, honestly, no. Also, a wiki tab. For some repos, yeah, there's a wiki tab. Loot Rando ha uses the wiki tab, but not everything does. the current stream but like farther back <clears throat> um mm -hmm. uh isn't there a way to go to that point in the vod in a clip watch full video yeah there you go do you see that um so if you have the clip click the three dots watch full video and it'll take you to that timestamp Let's see about getting out of here. Vault Hunter! You gotta stop this thing! Let go of me, Dad! Oh, I need ammo. Nope. Long time no see, Roman. Soldier! This way! I think Safiq might actually need to be provided with a link. To the uh, Wonderlands Redux GitHub. I don't think they've gotten that far yet. Normally, you find that via like you know Google. Are we sure that um, Redux even has a uh, GitHub? Oh, okay. Put in the old mod folder. For Wonderlands, I have no idea. I do not know how Wonderlands or BL3 modding works. Or um, if there's multiple ways that they work, um, which way Redux works. Yeah, I am positive that there is a, uh... Oh, God, why is my eye so itchy right now? Sorry. I'm positive that there's a tutorial video on how to install Redux. And it gives you, you know, like, um, exact step-by-step -step instructions and everything, and that's probably your best bet. Stop this damn thing! Full links for the year old video. Oh! Wonderland's Redux is over a year old. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't myself even know how one Borderlands 3 modding works. Never touched it. 11 months. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, like, Wonderlands Redux was newer for some reason. Look out! Badass loader! 
Anyway, whether you download the thing from the Nexus or download the thing from the Git page, it'll give you the same thing. You know, just in the steps in the video, you want to just make sure you're working with the same files that they're working with. That's all. Doesn't matter where you got the files, just so long as your files look the same as the video's files. Oh, I triggered him. Oops. Um, give me this. And am I being attacked or no? I am. Oh well. Slow. But boy, will I not complain about getting to twist some more robots. gonna do Tundra Express checks this time. Got text was Yes, I saw. <laughs> Thank you for your remittance. How you doing, Thumbs? Good to see you again. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop. Tiani. He means hi. Actually, I guess this still depends on um how our uh. Our splinter group checks are. And we still don't have any slack. Yeah. That's like I feel like shit. What is that? Get up search still jank. Um, searching within repos? No. Searching for repos? Maybe. I can't remember the last time I've done it. Hello, mother. Have you heard of these insect things called? Good. Anything else? The escapees, for whatever reason, find pizza irresistible. You will lure them out with this pizza, then murder them. Where's my iridium? Oh, good. Good. And then were any of our sanctuary chicks relevant? Like, okay, what was... We farmed secret stash. What was that for? What we farmed secret stash for? Quasar. Yeah, no, we're good. Although that levels up. Oh, man. Don't need a new one yet, but... <laughs> oh, what's there gonna be best way of kill? Let me just bottom him. Get this infected tooth pulled, and maybe that will help you improve. Ah. I can see that. Alright, don't save quit after Flinder, don't save quit after Flinder, don't save quit after Flinder. Wait. Quasar, for where the agents are to tread? Oh my god, they just kill themselves as I run through. My Uh yeah, we have to figure out how to do that mission without sending Claptrap away. Maybe he has secondary use for that, like he does for bad fur day? Probably not. Oh my god, that's a pearl. Excellent. Return to me. I have a large pile of blood Good. with your name on it. But where's gun pile? I assume 
this to be a metaphor. Ralph has legendary pistol. <laughs> the pearl is a stinger. Oh, stalker. Sorry, excuse me. Cool. But we don't need to farm it. Um, Mick is also a dud. So, legendary pistol and a stalker. I think we're okay. For now. Legendary pistol. I mean, um, again, Hector's Paradise Hornet. Um, uh, uh, Harold. Gub! Relic, which I would like to see. This is cooldown. I have to give you the opportunity to get a better butcher source than this. True. Okay, we're not safe quitting. We're continuing. Converge! And even more twisting! Which one was, um, Legendary Pistol? Second guy? Relaxing. I'm relaxed. You know what? I'll kill this guy. And then this guy will kill himself? <gasps> so will that guy and that guy. They're all just suicidal. I'm happy for me for a lot of things. Good <laughs> mad mic drop, dud. Um, yeast. Yeasty wet brain. an opportunity then my message was prophetic by the way have the opportunity right literally the opportunity i will come back with new hair <laughs> uh who are you getting it from that's ominous I guess that would be used hair, not you new hair, but new to you. Should I get come back with new hair? Your hair is great, but I know that you feel constrained in your the hair on your face. Legendary gate. Okay. Um. Let's see. We kind of already have like the ideal Maya nade. It's 
too long and I want to cut it. Oh. Looking at you, it doesn't seem too long. Unlucky. Watching people. Yeah, it's like it's it's weirdly satisfying, even though it's boring and or well, even though in theory it should be boring um, with how un gameplay it is. It just feels good, like you know, take that. Kind of makes me feel like a demigod. I am a demigod. Kind of reminds me that I'm a demigod. Dude, it is hot. We are uh, we're experiencing what feels like real summer. Probably isn't though. You know, I just had this like weird feeling of paranoia about a, a marauder throwing a grenade, but it looks like we're good. Dude, I broke another toilet seat. But you're not even, like, heavy. <laughs> okay. I, I, I know that you're trying to bait us into un asking you more questions about this, and it's working. March was the time for fake summer into winter again. I think April is just spring, no questions asked. No, I just mean it's probably not actually that hot. It just feels like it because I'm used to, you know, cooler right now. Oh, no, that's the time. Oh, it's 76. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Um. Yeah, we're okay. Actually, though, that's a good stalker too. <laughs> Shit. But this Maggie, we need a we need a reason to use some of these things, you know? Oh man. Anything higher than 75 is complainable. Yeah, right, exactly. Mathematically I can complain. Right now. It is unfortunate the mutants could not be tamed. So they close. Been useful allies. So close to vanilla. Tannis, Tannis took her rock salt and she just like started like painting on it um, to try to pass it off like a new gun. You know what? You Might as well do it again. Uh, except Moxie's pizza. Uh, whatever. Uh, I was going to put away... This. Oops, when are we going to use... And we'll put away that. If we get an SMG. Thought that was it. Yeah, yeah, right. Bandit shotgun. Could have passed for it. Where's my iridium? Two! Lou Rando lets you skip the balls for sure. Okay. As in, like, what, doing exact same thing with and without yields the different results? With Loot Rando, you always skip the balls. Without Loot Rando, you never skip the balls. Hmm. Alright, well, thanks for the bottom of that. A, you know, you've uh, done science that I was wondering about. B, like, that's new Loot Rando tech that you have now introduced to the Loot Rando meta. Skipping 
sniping balls. Yeah, no balls. Hey, buckets. How you doing? I think it's money dripping in blood or do you think it's like a type of currency that blood uses loser had a bum leg I know right I haven't had it without repeat mission so if someone had it in vanilla it must be something that was tracked on the character perhaps it, yeah right okay Fresh. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'll just give everyone a second to return. How's the YouTube stream doing? Is that still uh, uh, going okay? Loot randomizer. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. YouTube stream's still up. You guys are here, right? Hello. Hello. Testing. 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 We back. Okay. Okay. Good. Yes. You. Hello. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um. That was weird. YouTube seems like it was fine uh, the whole time. It was just Twitch that not only dropped frames, but straight up disconnected. Anyway, I had this like whole gag that you guys missed in response to Tannis saying that she was talking about literal blood money. And I thought it would make an interesting discussion, but oh well. <laughs> Are you? You seem pretty alright. about blood money or something else you had in your mind? Yeah, right, right. Like, um... She says you might assume blood money to be a metaphor. You would be incorrect. And it's like, okay, so... Probably the joke means she has a large pile of money covered in blood, right? But what if not? No. What if blood money... What if it's blood money in the same sense as, like, American money? Or European money. You know, like, it's... It's money that blood uses. For, you know, blood economic purposes. Hello, Chris. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Twitch is back, too. Don't worry. I'm legally obligated to tell you I ain't a real doctor. Just what you are doing? Crypto-based blood onks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> onks. Oh. 
Right, or I guess that's like the third interpretation is like money that is specifically used for blood, like to buy blood. Like Disney dollars or whatever, you know. That was not as successful as with the, um... Oh, we got, we got it this time. Weiss? Is that Betty? Oh! Yeah, okay. Hey, if you want to give me a slide one. Anyway, um... Fuck, I was gonna say something else. Yeah, whatever. I got in! Hey, welcome back. Yeah, no, everything looks so... Okay, on my end, supposedly. Hey, Replicant. <laughs> Good to see you again. How's it going? Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Probably could switch up his butts. Agree. I would like a slag one. A, because, you know, slag bouncing Bonnie. But B, because Marcus Mission. But mostly because slag bouncing Bonnie. Anyway, blood money. Yeah. <laughs> Maya, you don't need slag. I'm level 17, Maya. I do need slag. Okay, I want slag. But no, you never uh, just have ruin, and I would like the option of not having to have both ruin and scorn. Your shield will slag! <laughs> oh, yeah! You're so technically correct. You know what? Actually, though, us being 17, I think we probably aren't going to end up doing <sighs> No, we'll do uh, the Tundra Express missions, because we want to be 18 before Fridge. I'll tell you what I'm definitely doing is... Um, uh, <laughs> I think this is going to be a Finks playthrough in normal mode. And Twister plays the piano good. Because your butt is space. Thanks, your though. butt is from space. Hey, Warlord. What's up, dude? How's it going? Over here. Your master commands you. Thanks, you homie. Me reach sanctuary, Lincoln, and for that, you I didn't get to talk to Claptrap. I love that. How does that work? Thanks, Warlord. Happy 44, dude. Thanks for the forever support. How you doing? What you up to these days? Life good? 
Family good? Work good? It is unfortunate the mutants Trade could dog. not be tamed. Okay. They would have been useful allies. I'll do this clap trap because I started it, but. So you have to do thirteen forty missions again. I mean, honestly, I might. Um, you know, since I do want Slag Betty. I'd be okay with any type of Betty. Uh, any delivery, I just want Slag. You know what? Fuck it, I'll try that. Wait, that's level 12. Hold on, were all of those 12? Okay, well, we can't get slag. Go figure. Um, I guess uh, TVHM will uh, get another chance. Oh. Worth doing again. Cool. Okay, anyway, we have Marcus. Oh, sorry, um, uh, uh, Hammy's mission. We have Hammy's injector. Let's go kill us a snowman. Gorily. It's long. <laughs> it's a Hawkeye. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You know what? I don't have a sniper. Sure. Man, did that really stick far out. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, zoom. <laughs> Ten. What do we determine? Fourteen. Fourteen is matching grip. Twelve? I don't know. 12. Fantastic. Cool. Feeling overburdened by money. Don't die. I need your business. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sorry Tatler. <laughs> But a slag Betty item of the day. Uh -uh. Even if it was. Ain't no Bonnie. And it ain't no loot rando loot. Well done. Now, set some more on fire before what? that one dies. Come here. Come back. Oh. This is going to shit. Alright, someone else pot up. I'm sorry. I accidentally picked up the hint, but that's okay. We'll get a drop, right? And also, we totally won't die doing these two at once. Right? They're all on fire now! <laughs> Dead. Uh, hey, 
What? Oh, hi. Hey. Nice get. Hey, that was pretty damn good. That's not gonna happen. Ah, there you are. There she blows. Orange. Striker. You know, man, we were suffering with the twister so long. Thank God we got a striker. Okay, this is a terrible idea, though, actually. Okay, you're our second one if we need it. I don't, thank you. Jeez. Ah, <sighs> uh, did I glitch him? Was he face locked anyway? All right, yeah, yeah. This is this is still a one life. They're still mutant parkids. Yeah, we've got good kit, but not. Let's still play correctly, you know. Um. Also, definitely we have enough XP to where like the level what fifteen, maybe thirteen missions here aren't really worthwhile. I guess we'll see. Uh, what Tina offers us X for level wise. Is it bad to pick up the hints? No, um, it's just that picking up the hint uh, dismisses the hint from that source. As in, like, you know, I won't get the hint again because I picked it up. Unless I, um,. Go to options, mods, reset dismissed hints. Hey, Envy, good to see you. From the other side, indeed. What are you do? What are you doing here? Actually, hey, buddy. How's your day, Envy? Fifteen. Okay, fine. Just killed me. And let me just say, no hard feelings. Before you wasted me, I kept my best guns in my garage. On phone and lazy, I respect. I'd say you deserve it. I know this sounds like some sort of trap. So you're just gonna have to trust me. Hey, Cobain. Tried Maya, got her to level 30 so far, and you're loving her. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Like, um, you just find it fluid, and, uh, you know, you can progress. And the game's not, like, um, punishing you for doing everything imperfectly. See, loot tracker document to check your old drops anyway. Right, right. Cloud kills insane, that too. You know, maybe I should add something about cloud kill <laughs> to my, like, you know, advice about playing Maya as your first BL2 character. Hey, you gotta be. I know Tina can be odd, but she's the most gifted demolitions expert on Pandora. Just do what she asks, and I guarantee she'll help you hijack the train and get the vault key. Snuggle bites, but don't, don't. What is so well thought out? 
Not gonna lie, heavy props. That's a big compliment. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for saying that. The, um... The concept, right? You know, the shuffling loot pools thing. That in itself, you know, is... Uh, was what was really desirable, right? But I did, uh, uh, as we worked on it and, and started to appreciate, like, you know, the significance of it, like, just the concept, I did kind of, like, get this feel, like, you know, it really should be done, uh, attentively, you know, like, like, if this mod is gonna exist, it should be done right and not just, like, a waste of the concept. So I tried to tend to the details. Alright, aim labs. Nobody. Fail. Fail. Got him. Fail. Fail. Got him. Wow! <laughs> A non-unique AR from Will's Quest. Huh. Uh, okay, not for Maya. The Louvrand is not an original idea. The implementation of it in a game like this is genuinely near-perfect experience. Yeah, well... Uh, I mean, even just, like, the idea of... Uh, an item randomizer in Borderlands, you know, being, like, shuffled assigned sources. That's just, like, a good concept, you know, like, like, that's not, like, something I, uh, came up with, uh, out of sheer genius or anything. Like, that's, that's an idea that, like, just should have existed. The things like, you know, the, um, hand-tuned, like, loot generosity based on, like, you know, sources, source to source. And, like, the hint system and the tracker system. Um, and, like, you know, the, the curation of the item pools. Those were the details that I wanted to get right, you know. So we didn't just have, like, you know, the item assigned source shuffling, you know, we actually had... You know, the whole experience be, like, you know, good to play, not just exist. Yeah. Did I ever told you? Sound exactly like the YouTuber Captain Sauce. If they have, I forgot. <laughs> this is a good thing, right? Captain Sauce has, like, the most luscious, pleasurable, auditory, dulcet tones, yeah? At least it's purple. Yeah, right. Yeah, but that would basically be vanilla, right? That's right. Twin sisters, man. Oh. Take him. Take him, take him, take him, take him. Just for my damn little mini choo choo track. Shut him up! Good plan, Chris. No questions. All right, what you got? 15. And we're like almost 18. Yeah, let's let's save this for XP and TVHM. Hey Gucci. Yeah, like you could have had the mod that was just random mission rewards and that's it. Ability to repeat stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to give me credit for the mission repeatability aspect, I will take it. I am not going to lie, I worked my ass off for that. <laughs> I worked my ass off on that. Just poke their bellies when you want me to set the splosives off. I gotta do it remotely. Huh. Oh, snap, son. The modularity. Oh, yeah, right, the categorization. Yeah. Did the game eat the input? No, so, um, the board, if you look closely, right... You'll notice I'm, like, running off a, uh, narrow plank. That plank is not solid. So, um, when I hit my jump in input, um, my feet were already, uh, not on ground. Well, that's one way to hijack a train. 
The Valky's still up on that. Search the train cars. We're probably keeping the vault key in the most fortified one. My pleasure is on your side. I need your business. Eat the game for yeah, right, right, right. Pizza. Oh, fantastic. Huck. Sorry, blue name. How are you, Huck? Probably one of the worst you've ever had. Well, that's actually, like, really heartbreaking. Oh, dude. Because it's like you're excited for the pizza. It's like, you know, you, you, you're hungry. And it's like pizza's a little treat, you know, simple, but like, you know, every time you get hot pizza when you're expecting pizza, it's so good. And then you get this pizza and it's like, you know, just a huge letdown after all that anticipation. Oh dear. Tastes like cardboard and burnt garlic. Little Caesars, by any chance? That's my impression of Little Caesars, but... Hmm. Would we do faster than that? Taking a scratch. Things get bad, just run. Roland is wrong, Vox Hunter. You can't even know. Yeah, Twister's our best bet. You killed Wilhelm. Holy hell, Jack doesn't stand a chance. Wilhelm dropped a power core. Unique so SMG. What would Maya care about? If you bring it to Roland, Sanctuary's shields. Whoa. Never seen a power core like that. What you got from a lot of things, I guess, if, you know, we're including DPS SMGs. I'd love a crit. I'd use a crit with my catcom and just, you know, absolutely shit on everything. Hell, you know, good touch or bad touch would even be good with our catcom. What if it's the Sandhawk? Um, then I'd be unenthused, but I would use it. And then if later we got a B, then I would be disgusted. Hey, Broken Justice. How's it going? This mod is giving me the motivation I needed to do a run I've wanted to do for a while. All quests and DLCs on every difficulty. Oh, cool. I'll tell you, I did have a lot of fun doing uh, what we called the everything playthrough. Um, just um, OP10. Uh, we, you know, started a new character and we did every single bar challenge. Um, and then, uh, and along the way got to OP-10, and, um, we did every single mission at OP-10. Not every playthrough, though. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, you know, just doing that purely vanilla. So, you know, you, I, I, yeah, totally, you know, you could have a lot of fun doing all the missions and every playthrough with Loot Rando. But, it, you know, you don't, I don't think you even need that much motivation, speaking from experience. Be about twice as fast if I had slag. You know, about. Yeah, Emperor would say legendary SMG, right? If it was one of the Seraph ones, it would say, you know, Seraph weapon. When he stands still, actually, that's absolutely the way to go. Okay. Right. Commerce or, um... Well, okay. Besides the commerce... Besides one other possibility, commerce would be the worst possible thing. 
You know, besides the other worst possible thing. Where does Hint go? I didn't pick up the last Hint, did I? What's the Emperor's legendary effect? Um, it has penetration, and um, it has higher base damage. In exchange for being, um, you know, like, what, a third the fire rate? It's terrible. It's, it's one of the worst legendaries in the game. It's up there with the Cradle. Oh! <laughs> oh, well, now we have to. <laughs> Where's my cat com? <laughs> Yo, let's do bandit slaughter with it. I'm not fucking kidding. Where's my cat? <laughs> Emperor can bore? I wouldn't phrase it that way. Emperor penetrates. That is, you know, it will keep... Passing, but no, it doesn't do increased damage, and no, it doesn't do the, like, infinite thing, as far as I know. Okay. Where is your cat? Yeah, where is... where are both my cats? We need to find a way off this place. Both, wait. Yeah, you know. Banana... Uh, wild. No, wait, wild? What is it called? Killer? Might be killer. Wild. Okay, wild cat. You guys are about to see what I mean when I say that the Catcom is just a class mod that makes a bad weapon type good. Percentage your cat, 78. What percentage is your butt? <laughs> 200. Okay, uh, Slacker will be in this primers. Uh, shoot, uh, it'll get us somewhere. All right, I got this one. All you gotta do is hit the last switch. All right, we're primed. Everybody get ready. Don't worry about me. Grab I need that iridium. Get to Roland. Get this copy of iridium. The gearbox SMG. You can tell from the yellow and the gearbox logo. about orphans. Damn. Wait for the remaster where they add legendary gearbox guns. Yeah, right. And um, they do like 20,000% crit and like 10,000% melee damage. Yeah, I wasn't fucking lying. This is on level.
Maybe you're gonna get for the creepers. I wasn't planning on checking them right now, because, you know, we're not going that way. We'll, we'll do it when we do Caustic Cavern stuff. I just want this fast travel, because, you know, um, after the Sanctuary sequence, you spawn next to Sanctuary Hole. <clears throat> They'll buff five gorillas by 3% per level. level. No, ch <laughs> the, the gearbox uh, folly, right, is to uh, over-nerf things that were too strong and over-buff things that were too weak. So no, what they would probably do would be, you know, if they were to touch gorillas, make gorillas... Um, you know, one-shot raid bosses or whatever. Wait, does a remaster? No. No. No, we're just musing. Damage is one, but a stupid high gun damage percent. So 10,000 per gun damage, but it really does 100 damage. <laughs> Son of a witch. I mean, um, the door's iced over. that would just be exactly the same as a gun with 100 damage. Uh, but like, you know, the crit joke, right? So they did that in the BL1 remaster. They, you know, introduced a gun that had a absurdly high crit percentage or something. Is it only spawn for you? Not sure why. Uh, probably just spawn lock, right? Right? High quality, low price, and no questions asked. Thanks for the tell, your friend. Marcus, you Well, remaster a game if you could just re re release it. Five, four, three, two, one. It's oh, going. Is it cheating to let Goliaths do my work for me? Does that invalidate Gearbox SMG build? That's a game mechanic, right, but it's not a Gearbox SMG mechanic. more of a concern so far than I thought it would be. Glad to deliver gearbox SMG bullets with their fists. Okay, there, sold. <laughs> They're just reskinned gearbox SMGs. 
Yeah, like, that's clearly a gearbox SMG. Thank you, Mr. Goliath, man, sir. Because the legs aren't in this game. Um, have you not seen Goliaths? I just got the 10th kill bandit with critical hit while I wasn't shooting. That was so nice of them to contribute to my total. Oh my. Uh. Sixty-six bullet. that whole promotional joke they did in Bale 3. I do remember like Tedier Guns being featured in one of the trailers or something. Is that what you're referring to? I don't I don't remember the specifics at all. You steal my kill. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that was definitely cheating. Also, I only have three bullets. Okay, wait, hold on. There we go, more bullet. That was just maximizing ammo efficiency is what that was. Ah, shit. <laughs> Waste of bullet. Really boring. <laughs> Doing lies. Do God lies have their own drop? Yes, I did give God lies, uh, make God lies a location, assuming you have evolved enemies on. Yeah. Ah! Alright, two. And we probably won't go any further than two. Um, just because that'll get us to 19, and we got other stuff to do. I don't know. Let's see what two gives us. You have to go AFK. Is the Wilhelm unique SMG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wilhelm gave us the gearbox SMG. Yeah. We are using Helios because it'd be too easy. Right, right. Like, and absolutely. It's like, how am I supposed to kill anything with the gearbox SMG if I spec Helios, right? That would be cheating. Fire bad. Oh. Everyone dying to one twister shot? Good. Oh, 
Is half your drop just bottles? We have every location turned on and we have duplicates turned off. Um, it's about one third. One third of our drops are duds. Hey, KSG, how you doing, dude? Wow. Thirty-four point five. Yeah, yeah. And it, legit, it may seem lame, but I actually really like these settings. Every piece of loot feels like you know that much more significant. And I also um, really like. Um. Without dupes, you know, when you get something, you know you're never going to see it again. Even if it's a good thing. Uh, or, sorry, even if the something is good, that's really cool. You know, it's like you're, you're doing a checklist. Here, shoot me again. Do it. I give you permission. Thank you. You're welcome. Especially calculates my current chance of getting it done too. Oh no way! You actually did it. You implemented the card counting. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I guess with the spreadsheet, it wasn't too hard to just also add that, huh? You do, you input, like, you know, the total locations and the total items, and then the spreadsheet is able to say there are this many duds, and then it looks at how many things that have been marked off as duds. Finds how many remaining duds versus how many remaining locations. Yeah. Hey, Info. How's it going? Thanks for keeping Jenny company. Absolutely, my pleasure. I love you, Jenny. Oh, my God. Let's hang out all the time. Good girl. Good girl. You want a treat? Jenny, you want a treat? Jenny. Jenny. Treat. Jenny, you want to go for a walk? Jenny, walk. Walk. Outside. Jenny, you want to go in the car? Jenny, car. Is it working? Jenny, food, dinner. <laughs> walkies? <laughs> How to spot the Brit. I know of walkies from, um, you know, Wallace and Gromit. The wrong trousers. Poor Jenny's his girlfriend. Dude. Dude, Info doesn't date a dog, you weirdo. Baby girl had tonsil surgery and luckily for her, I put a hole in my foot stepping on a rusty roofing nail. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, lucky for everybody. with a rusty roof nail and foot club. Oh, wait, hold on. How do I join? Do I have to pay dues? Do I have to be hazed with a, perhaps with a paddle? This is going to be fun. Who will win? I'm betting on Goliath number six. Okay, it's fun. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I wish I just wish it had an edge on a crit. Seems like the perfect time to post cat belly. 
That's cat belly. <laughs> you can tell from the pink. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fleshy in there. <laughs> it's like a fleshy forest. <laughs> also, look at the... Look at what he's doing with his paws. It's so cute. Oh my god, he's like... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, what was this? Hi, Chatty, I love you! <laughs> oh my god, look at her! Look at the size of those ears! They're like... <laughs> Each one of them is as big as her face! Her whole face! <laughs> Thank you. I love your guys' pets. I love them. I'm gonna perform crimes to take them for myself. Oh, crap. Hey, Fulcrum. Good to see you. not what I meant by fun. There you go. Too slow. I got greedy. Cheater. Hey, Ken, how's it going? Over another Slayer of Terra? <laughs> How you doing, Ken? Happy Wednesday. Unless you're a die, you're just changing characters. Uh, I'm doing one life attempts, Fulcrum. You can, you can make a pretty safe assumption that I wouldn't just change characters for no reason. Tell Mopsy I'm quitting. Well... Could keep going. Only um, restriction that I'm feeling is ammo. What do we have to swap to? Oh, we have Maggie. And we have Gearbox SMG. Yeah, we could probably go sur like last through all of... Um... Round three. Yeah, let's do it. How's it run? Hey, good. Maya has an antagonist early, and that means she gets to play aggressively. Death to another bridge? Oh my god, I guess you're right, dude. Zeros and bridges. You're right. The first zero was also a bridge. You know, why don't we start with Gearbox SMG when everything's particularly easy? Rats are good at killing themselves. Let's just let them do it. That saves ammo. Found a B shield on yours. 
What about your ratio? Do you, you really need, like, you know, backup? It's King Chrono, so pretty painful. Oh, that's not bad, dude. He's one in three. Suck it up. Plus, you know, with your B, like, that should be real easy. Which one's Chrono, though? I guess uh, you kind of have to go through however many four kings are before him, don't you? See one of the later ones? Scale correctly? Like, it has damage? Um, it has white SMG damage. White Hyperion SMG damage. The reason you're able to see my uh, killing things is that thing that I often allude to. Where the Catcom um, is able to make um, what is otherwise a very bad weapon type good. This is this is your demonstration of that. If you use SMGs on Maya and it feels good, it's not because of the SMGs, it's because of the comm. Hey, Johns, how's it going? Oh, right, up there. I, thought, I threw that like it was my lava one. Whatever. Eh? now lest we get in way to drop range this is optimal holding the hawkeye while letting enemies crit themselves Oh my god, my <laughs> Oh my god, this is so stupid. Jenny's 100% Beagle. In fact, she's known as a fucking Beagle. Took her as a rescue from a breeding farm. That sounds like a nice way of saying you got her from a breeder. Because <laughs> Beagles are so consistent genetically, they're often bred for labs. Oh. Really? I wouldn't have expected that to be something that varied. Spe uh, breed to breed. But your breed meant, you know, consistent genetic. I guess not. Okay. Oh. Well, then it's a lot of things. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I find it repetitive. 
So watching Mayor Lemon play uh, Hyperion Slaughter last night. Side note, it was Krieg, and oh man, was it some good gameplay, I tell you what. Anyway, man, Hyperion Slaughter really has the music that I like. Hey, Yunan. Welcome back. Level of Twister 12? 13. Right, it was too close for missiles. We get to get more of them because dust levels up. Are you kidding me? And that's just wonderful. This is a Twister playthrough. Twister while you're napping. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, we have slag now. Sure. I'll take the less damage one. Okay, cool. Welcome to Dr. Zed's portable clinic. What can I get for you? All right, let's move on. Oh yeah, you're right. Right, 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 right. The round before this was freaking lightning bolt. Now we got magic missile. Yeah. Weird. Welcome, customer. Lovely. Curated seed. Not random. Actually, how close are those things to each other in, uh, like, my catalog here? Magic missile. They are literally next to each other. In order. Lightning Bolt, then Magic Missile. Same with the Slaughters, obviously. Also next to each other. Two, then three. What? <laughs> when random isn't random enough. You followed Jack's orders from the beginning. Jack modified the power core you found to have a Hyperion network uplink. Through it, I was able to access Sanctuary's defenses and lower them. It was all... Part of Jack's plan. Stupid human brain. Yeah. <laughs> when the pattern seeing brain kicks in, yeah. Yeah. That guy was really small. He and he used it to his advantage. Hey Craft Knight, how you been, man? Good to see you again. Food for the oh, magic missile front for right here, right? If we extrapolate that pattern, yeah. I make exceptions, so okay. yeah, right, right. We need to start implementing quote unquote smart shuffles or like, you know, more shuffly shuffles. Same as iTunes and Spotify. It's not called iTunes anymore, is it? Like Apple totally dropped that branding, didn't they? Without you, Pandora has no hope. You have no reason to trust me, I get that. But if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior... Still iTunes? No, it's not just like Apple Music, like there is an app called iTunes still. And I'm awesome. Hey, killer. Phase the city? No big deal. Find a way back here as quick as you can. 
Where's the desktop app? Yeah, no, I, I would have assumed that they would have rebranded that app to Apple Music. Just like they did, as far as I know, like other places. Blast must have taken Sanctuary off the fast travel network. Um, okay, head to the Iridium extraction plant nearby. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. You know, I didn't lie to you about everything. You really are the only person who can stop Jack. And with the iPhone in hand, is unsure. Yeah, no, I mean, me too. Like, I have an iPhone, but I don't, you know. I don't like have all of Apple's services or anything. Just what I need. Which actually is none. I don't have, an, I don't have Apple TV or any of that. Um, anyway. I just remember growing up and, like, iTunes being, like, you know, the beginning of the end of CDs. Like, uh... iTunes being, like, kind of, like, the first dominant or prevalent, uh... Uh, digital music or online music like delivery it was like mostly successful because the iPod was successful you know iTunes was your gateway for the iPod and it was good software so it wasn't like um, uh, anyone was resistant to it you know like people welcomed it as like their iPod gateway and then hey you know I have iTunes can get music on iTunes too but man, like, uh, I just bring it up just now, I'm like, wow, did... Is there actually even still an iTunes? You know, I, there isn't, is there? Like, the end of an era. Shit. Google search shows a top result for desktop iTunes app. Oh, okay. iTunes. Apple. Yeah. Get it from Microsoft Store, and yeah, it looks the same as I remember. Shit. Uh, Windows, Apple Music. Download iTunes for Windows. There isn't even an Apple Music. Yeah, Apple Music user guide. This is all your favorites. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, how to join Apple Music. I don't know. But yeah, like it just shows iTunes being used. Or... or Assuming that was. Did that thresher just eat the beacon? Uh, you'll need to get that back. Did he go down and come up? I think I, um, might have hurt myself a little bit there with the, uh, uh, on-level magic missile. Let's remember that magic missile has a level, and it's on. Oh, this is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. And, uh, example, this one guy in New Haven. Right. Desktop version of iTunes is going away, currently only available through the Microsoft Store, and then eventually kind of further ceasing to exist. Oh, okay. There's a roadmap on the dev site. Oh, okay. Wait, so is there currently an alternative? They're just not forcing it yet? Like, there is an Apple Music Windows app? Or... Web app? As, like, you know, uh, your... Gateway to Apple Music service? I don't have any help. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just got to wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? Hey, what was our bottom boom from again? 
We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping you anymore. Defend that beacon. It's level nine, so me thinks like a sanctuary mission, huh? Oh, it was name game, wasn't it? So it doesn't level. Fine. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't knock their gun arms off. Let them knock their gun arms off. decide if they want to continue the other things that iTunes does on a PC like backing up an iPhone etc oh man yeah I wonder what kind of data there is there like what um, how many people actually still back up their iPhones to their PCs instead of iCloud almost kind of sounds like you know something that would cannibalize you know they're like uh, sales of additional iCloud storage, although I don't know how many revenue stream that is for them. But it's like, you know, I, Marlene and I pay for a family plan for more iCloud storage, and, you know, we back up everything. Um, and, you know, stole all our photo libraries and everything in the cloud. And that very much does give me peace of mind. So I'm happy to pay the three bucks a month, you know, for our family to do that. Uh, 200? I think we have the 200 plan to share. Um, iCloud. Yeah, 200. Again, to share. Uh, most of it is her. I do use more than 10, so I need some. Um, and I used to pay a dollar a month for the 50, but she already had the 200, so I discontinued mine and got on, and now we share that. Hey, Tuna, how's it going? Good to see ya. How you doing? Last week, um, Tuna got us a wedding gift, and he told us to expect it, because, you know, Amazon had it shipped to our place, um, since it was on our registry. And then the box came, and it's like the size of, like, eight bananas. No, like, 14 bananas. It's, like, just enormous, and we don't know what it is yet. We're not opening our wedding gifts until, uh, the wedding. But, man, if I ain't curious about tunas... If you pay more for your iCloud backup, you may not know it, but you're part of a class action lawsuit. Ah, there's probably a lot of class action lawsuits that I don't know I'm a part of, right? The cat or the fruit? The cat. 
The cat likes to sit on the box. <laughs> like, actually, we we have the box in our dining area right now. Um, until we can, like, disassemble. And Banana's just like, this is a good, nice place to sit. It's high off the ground. And it accommodates my footprint. Hey, Crewman, how's it going? So is Lobby supposed to drop the same item that the quest gives you, or was that totally a coincidence? That was totally a coincidence. Congratulations. I've had that happen once, too, when I ran a seed with dupes, where um, I got 1340 shotgun from Bowl, and then we turn it in memoriam, and lo and behold, it's shotgun 1342. Legit, what are the chances? I guess it's like 1 in 300 whatever. Hey, how's it going, Krubin? What was what was your dupe? Wait, we're not turning that in yet. Not until 21. Um. What checks did we not do last time that we want to do this time? Very sorry to say, I need your. I mean, honestly, the the most logical thing to do in general is just um the fridge stuff because that's the highest level. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, I like fridge stuff. Quest rewards change between normal. No, only if you change seeds. The quest rewards never change, unless you change seeds. You can even play on a different character and they will be the same so long as you play on the same seed. If you want, you totally can create new seed when you play in TVHM. Uh, and yet another seed to play for you, VHM. You can do that. Um, but no, that's not the... That's not the default. Um, is there anything right now that's 20? Hey, man, I, uh, I need something. Yeah, hey, uh, won't okay. Get... Shorty must die! Shorty must die. The Irish way to play, find every source, every playthrough. Right, right, right. He's hiding in Stalker territory. Go get him. What was the Overlook quest line? That one doesn't become available until after we turn in bright lights, and I don't want to do that until, again, we're level 21. Clan Wars. Ugh. What was available now? Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll pick up the beginning of Clan Wars. Uh, can we pick up old Slappy? Speaking of, is he available now? Or is that after Bright Lights? He's available now, and he's level 20. it. Plus we got these guys. Bonjour. This guy. I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets. Like how he looks around. That boy over there. Huh? <laughs> that guy? Ask around in Moxie and Dads, figure out which one of these identical scum stains what? pulls the trigger. Otherwise, That's shit! No! Get back here! <laughs> I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself dead. But the bottles from empty quests and boss drops. Would it be possible to make a turn in for something, say, XP or specific items like 10 of them? No. Full disappointment. <laughs> and that happened just because of dialogue at the wrong time. I guess. He's got the shivers. There's only one of them. The other ones just walked away. Alright, if you say so. Yeah, I... All right, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, good job, Dad. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Who needs the bottom boom? Um, also, Slag. Marcus. Also a little safe and sound. 18. I got an Fine. Jack blasted my personal safe out of my own store. Oh. My most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeloading no, no, bandits. No, 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 Slag now. him first. Head back to that Lanceman. Attention. Head back to that Lanceman. I only have one question to ask of all of you. One question. Just one. 
just a few years ago, we were enemies. Bad and touch. Eh. As glad as I am to see you all in sanctuary, I know you wouldn't have come if you had any other option. Mm -hmm. I know how bad things are out there. Mm -hmm. I know how Jack's army has swept across this planet like a sandstorm, ripping apart mm -hmm. everything. More than 50 months, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I joined the Crimson Lance years ago, they told me... Uh, that birthday. No, birthday is after. So that's it. Okay, that's everything we've got available on level right now. Uh, except, right, thanks for reminding me about Caustic Caverns, Marcus. Let me see about Perfectly Peaceful. Get the bad touch from the Marcus Chris, of course. Hey! Oh, Mark, Hammy, no. Hammy, be interactable. Blue is legendary binder in his legs. Is that a joke about bondage? BDSM. Perfectly peaceful, level 18. Okay. And then also, actually, Highlands. Highlands probably has some level 18 stuff. Yes, okay. Arms dealing, stalker of stalkers. Oh, man, that means we need to get hidden journals, because we're... Oh. Carrie, do you also... Yeah, he already has a Gearbox SMG. <laughs> I'm very sorry to say... Okay. You know. I think I just failed arms dealing by safe quitting, didn't I? Oh, no. Oh, I guess not. Good for me. Oh... Uh, no, Overlooked isn't available yet, so no medicine while we go. Hey, Oren. How's it going? Sucks. I was expecting more performance out of your Mac Mini. Uh, performance for what? Hey, Jolts. How's it going? Any good farms? Oh my god. We get antagonist in the dust. It levels! Hey, Jolts. How you doing? Um, we get Twister from Loggins. So, like, you know, Ellie's Garage is gonna be our hangout. Um, like, you know, so much. We get to run around with kinetic reflection, with a twist, with the antagonist, and a twister. We've been having so much fun. Borderlands. Okay, well. Best you could do for performance, install Windows, assuming this is, like, you know, not... Yeah, you've got an x86, like an Intel Mac, right? Um, here's the thing. Mac OS's, um, uh, graphics APIs are terrible. Like, I think it still runs, like, OpenGL. Uh, definitely the Aspire port, if you use the native Mac version of Borderlands 2, uses OpenGL, which is awful. Your best bet, um, uh, install Windows on the thing, you know, dual boot. Boot into Windows, use DXVK uh, as your alternate graphics API. Try getting Windows? Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll get better performance on the same hardware if you, if you use Windows for sure. You got like 10 equalizers today. Oh, cool! Huh. Man, I, I can't think of ever getting an equalizer from anywhere. I feel like it's the rarest legendary in BL1. So what were you farming? Oh, I just realized I did this out of order, but I think it's okay. We still have plenty of time. Read only for me attempts to run for given masher. Oh, cool.
We don't mean what? I'm going to die. Roland, the forcibly I don't relocated know the sanctuary for what that would be in BO1 at all. Good hustle. Just put those babies in my PO box and we'll see if that arms dealer lives up to his reputation. I'm sure there's a shortcut up to the wildlife area transition, but Oh, hey, hey, thanks! <laughs> Chap chapter 2. Oh, the scavenge. Duh, right. I've seen you do that. Love open GL. It runs on anything. Yeah, yeah. Now those are some pristine All right, no arms dealing this well playthrough. Done. Um. Oh my god, come on! I'm not even jumping down there. Is this a fucking joke? Okay, one. Take it. Future Loot Render will be a UVHM reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's also something that I am looking forward to. Is uh starting UVHM naked. Uh working forward using only loot rando checks. Routing to like you know, routing from like the easiest checks to the hardest checks. Uh yeah. I think I'm stuck in normal for <laughs> Yeah, no, no, right, I understand. So the way the way I'm trying to play, but I'm still falling into that same trap anyway, is I try to only do missions when I actually need XP, or, or missions that are actually on level. I never do underleveled stuff, because I'm like, hey, I could just use that for XP in TVHM or UVHM, exploring that. Or, uh, you know, when I need gear, like, you know, hey, I'm... I, this seed hasn't given me jack shit. I need something. I can justify continuing to do more checks. Yeah. But yeah, the UVHM thing, I mean, obviously that'll feel completely different because it'll be like very much a lot or a lot more of the making do with what you are given than it is in normal mode. You know, normal mode, anything works. In UVHM, it's like, okay, you have to make it work. Even if all you've gotten so far is a gunnerang or whatever. Did I seriously not get any more piles? I also do want to do Loot Rando No Uniques Run. Since no uniques runs are so fun, but no uniques gear acquisition in vanilla is so bad, I feel like it'll be like, you know, the most fun no uniques run ever. Maybe. Um, and then of course, you know, allegiance runs and shit. Normal mode, you could just do main quests? Well, I mean, no, in Loot Rando, you need to explore some content. The, pro the, que the, the difficulty is um, not doing literally all the content, whether you need to or not. Because it's like, it's so tempting to just do everything. Sounds like fun if you start at 80 OP0, figure out your way to OP10. Sure, okay. 
much more poignant in my head. Apologies. Doing levels as you find things good enough. Yeah, right. Every time you feel like you can try try to do each OP level with a minimum, right? You couldn't really enforce that in any way, but you could, you know, take it upon yourself. Be like, okay, I think I can maybe eke out a peak run with the, this shit that I found. Um, that's really cool, and I'll use it. I wish I could have just naturally gotten better parts, but I'm not doing that mission over and over. It's not fun. I feel like whenever I found purple item hints, I skipped over them since I usually had better stuff. Yeah, that... I mean, that's just like in... Vanilla, you know, you don't go for the unique item, the non-unique items when you have unique items available, except in like really narrow circumstances. Okay, so like Krieg, I would get really excited for purple AR because it could be cannon or E-Tech weapon because it could be splashy blasty, right? Um, definitely I get excited for like purple relic. Uh... Purple Grenade, I would get more excited for, except that Purple Grenade farms, even when they're divided by nade type, still suck because nade parts suck. Like, I would only get excited for Purple Nade from a really fast mission turn-in or some, like, really generous enemy. You know? Like, because if it's not going to be a fast enough farm where I could actually farm a transfusion or actually farm a Betty, then, um, sticking with me, yeah, exactly, right. Like, even if you get a de designated source for something really narrow, like purple transfusion, it's still gonna be awful. It's still gonna be sticky homing 3.6 most of the time. I would love a way of fixing that while still keeping nade rolls relatively vanilla, so if you have any smart ideas, let me know. Because, I, 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 you know, I, I want non-unique farms to be good in loot rando, and nades are kind of just... You know, Easter egg scene tuned to it, yeah. Iridium reroll. <laughs> um, okay, now we need to get Henry, but we can do that while we get the other Tannis Echoes. Uh, hidden journals. Man, we have a lot of missions accepted right now. You know, you tie quests to length. Or if you're about to say, tie drop generosity to the part specificness of the item, I'm half tempted. I've thought about it. Like, you know, um, you do a long mission, and the long mission gives you double the quest rewards. But then that mission rolls the Orphan Maker... And the or and it, it by virtue of it being the orphan maker, it quadruples the quest rewards again, such that then if you get orphan maker on a long mission, you get eight of them. Again, half tempted, but that's kind of like ridiculous. <laughs> the reason that I'm only half tempted is um, the upside at least to. You know, usually, say, purple orphan maker, uh, purple grenade farm or orphan maker farm being bad, is it provides like seed uh, variation. Like sometimes you'll get a seed where your orphan maker is on a fast enough farm to actually be readily acquirable. Same thing with the transfusion. You know, you might get your transfusion on face McShooty, and then you get even more excited than you otherwise would because it's like, oh my god, this is actually a seed where we can actually farm a transfusion. Um. So it's like, there's not no downside to it. Um, or, sorry, there's not no upside to ha keeping it the way it is. So I don't necessarily feel inclined to do something ridiculous, like, you know, just spam the player's backpack with tons and tons of transfusion drops because transfusions are rarer. I really think making every item uh, farmable every run... Yeah, exactly, right. It, it, Helps the fun, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you want randomness for better or for worse. Or or there being the concept of randomness for better or for worse is a good thing, not a bad thing. Agree. It's just, so far, I'm, I've always been disappointed by Purple Grenade. And that's too much not fun.
We could make that a setting like dupes. Yeah, but the, that's also a problem in and of itself, making every single thing a setting. You know, everything that, like, you know, has two sides to the coin be a setting. Nah. At some point, we just need to, you know, or, or a lot of the time, we just need to have good design. Get on the floor, click button to wipe it, spawn a new copy of it. Yeah, right. I like the mod as it is now, too. I just want to run where I can farm grenades. Cool purple grenades. <laughs> Not be opposed to you narrowing the scope of parts based on the tag's generosity. No, because the tag's generosity is already covered by means of number of rolls you get per attempt. We don't need to do that. that that's already done. That's um, you know, very long missions giving four so rewards. Done. Already. Uh, also, I realized I should probably have considered the fact that we're about to fight Slappy. Gentlemen. We're gonna go down. Hey, Chris Scott. How's it going? New Borderlands game being developed by Embracer? Uh, Embracer has nothing to do with Gearbox IP, no. Beware Slappy's tentacles! We'll blast them in half and they'll regenerate sooner or later! I don't have a- oh, you know what I do have? Duh! I was gonna say, I don't really have a good setup for this guy. No, we got an AoE nade. Yeah, that's true, right. A lot of grenades isn't as much of a problem, even if, like, delivery is still bad, at least. It's all your doctor experience, not Okay. Okay. We don't need to do slappy. Um, yeah, like, uh... Getting lobbed or longbow less than one second fuse is not that bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, let us... Did I retrieve the arm? Tell me I retrieved the arm. Oh! Could have remembered later. So that's cool. Yeah, but like, four rewards, you can't get the worst fuse part, for example. No, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, tying it to tags... Restricting it to parts based on tying it to tags would just be doubly tying it to tags. So, say, short missions would get doubly screwed because short missions wouldn't have uh, any benefit. Why would long missions have double benefit and short missions have zero benefit, you know? So, if anything, like, we would tie it to item. Um, you know, like, restrict parts on item. And that's where I'm thinking that's too not vanilla. You know, like, this mod isn't BL2Fix. BL2Fix does things like that, and hey, you know, I, I encourage you to run this mod with BL2Fix even, but... Um, as far as, like, this mod making... really part-specific farms, like grenades, um, or, you know, the butcher, or whatever, better. Yeah, maybe it is just perfect the way it is now. Maybe it could be slightly improved somehow. Maybe, um, it could be much better improved. Yep. No slappy. Journals. Finish that. Source of Betty slash Source of Ladoff Nade feels good to you, but you don't play Nade heavy builds. Sure. Yeah. All right, um, actually, let's not do hidden journals until we do uh, overlooked. So we could just do Frosted Caverns or Fridge first. Do Caustic Caverns first. I feel like I've done it less recently because play through a biz now. 
Oh yeah, you're right. I did get the same item from Slappy and the Turnin. No, I didn't. They had two different flavor texts. Actually, use the Hawkeye for this. Let's remove the bit of fun. Yeah, it probably is good the way it is now. And I should just, you know, again, look forward to getting good transfusion seeds. Even if they're rare. Today a miner found a crystal formation near the alien ruins, but it started moving. The creature appears perfectly peaceful. I don't think it's ever seen a person before. That's true. Yeah, no dupes is actually the most dupes. In, with dupes on, you can only get, at most, one duplicate of every item. With no dupes, dude, you get, like, well over a hundred of the same damn beer bottle. Ms. Booth, while your concern for these creatures is noted, we shall not be moving the dig site. The Doll Corporation has sent sanctuary. Their greatest mining ship to this godforsaken planet to mine crystals. And you have found some. Please round up the creatures so that oh, my mining system may- Rookie mistake. <laughs> Make the dead a random mesh. Um, there are- There's a limited so I kind of considered it. Curses! Those the reason I went with a beer bottle- um, it's because, it's, there's a couple reasons. One, the beer bottle is always loaded in every map. I don't, I didn't need to, like, load a bunch of extra meshes and have them in memory at all times. Uh, I could just use something that was already in memory. Um, the other reason is, next time I see a dud, I'll, I'll point it out. The other reason was kind of, like, because, um, there was already other, like, game, uh assets that went along nicely with the beer bottle and because everyone likes beer right right banjo dud yeah banjo's loaded in every map i think right you see banjo in every map in the uh, in every map in the editor Yeah, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know why Banjo, right. Entire Bud Stallion, yeah, load Bud Stallion's mesh. Keep it in memory. I have enemies drop Bud Stallion, but like, you know, like, echo sized. Is this one? Okay. So, check this out. You ready? How cool is that? That there just happens to even be an icon with a bottle, so you can see it from a distance. Ignore the fact that it has a shield on it, don't worry. You found the safe? <laughs> oh, thank God. Open it and return its contents quickly. Which is like, you know, actually kind of helpful. It's not a big deal, you know? Um, you kill, like, Saturn and you, um... Zoom in up top. What does that bottle icon from? It's unused. Um, so it's for an unused buff item, which Gearbox developed, but then I guess like cut, uh, where it drops like health files, and if you pick it up, it gives you temporary damage reduction. It's called a buff drink in the code. So, anyway, I like the fact that it's not used anywhere. You know, that's cool. It's like, um, you know, almost like a new asset, but obviously I just stole it from unused code. Yeah. They used for, like, Moxie selling you booze, the poison bottle, and Torg. No, because Moxie selling you booze would have the, um, like, a quest item pickup hover. Yeah. What would you restart the stream? Um, Twitch, I think, restarted the stream? Oh, let's not forget. Perfectly peaceful. Hey, Trout. How you doing? Mrs. Horchick, I don't think you understand. You can't mind these creatures. They're living... Okay. I'm gonna put that on.
so that we are better set up for crystalisks. Without the crystals, they'll die. Yeah, I got disconnected too. Okay, so it wasn't me. Was that just all of Twitch? <laughs> Did every single streamer get disconnected at the same moment? Because we're not on the same servers. You're in a different part of the country. I mean, it's just what's here. Yeah, no, I just saw someone in chat say frames question mark, and I looked over and it said reconnecting, and then reconnection successful, and I was like, oh, oh okay then. Same, right, right. Yeah, and I, I, at the, when that happened, I looked at the YouTube stream and it was fine, so I was like, maybe it's not me for once. You don't have all the guns, dear. Now, unless anyone from the late Ms. Oh, right, hold on. If we're going over there, we might as well get minecart first. No one's seen that one clip from Iron Chef. Which one clip from Iron Chef? Well, anyway, hold on. Next time I get a dud, I'll look at it again. Um, but the bottle that's in that, like, you know, loot beam icon has a shield on it to indicate, you know, defense. I will say this only once. Your job is to escort um, Again, like, you know, the idea being you pick up this item and it gives you temporary damage reduction. They just, you know, they cut it. But the item, I think it's actually even fully functional. Like, if you, you know, uh, mod them to actually spawn and don't do anything else and pick them up, they actually work, I think. They just decided against that being a gameplay element, which I don't disagree with. That would be, it would be weird if... Borderlands 2's balance involved you occasionally getting buff drink drops and picking them up to be more tanky. Health vials are one thing, you know. I really like Mox Tails and TPS. But they're drops and they are... Are they auto pickup? They're use on pickup. I can't remember if they're auto pickup, like health files. Do they feel OP? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll spawn one in at one point and mess with it. Oh, side note, they also actually have the same loot beam color as uh, the hints that I uh, have here in Loot Rando. They're that, like, you know, kind of off brass color. Dull brass color. Don't think they're on a pickup? Okay. Unique shotgun. <sighs> I'd love a heartbreaker. We'll see if we have to go this way again anyway. You know if it's a blockhead! <gasps> True! <laughs> we have to know if it's vanilla. <laughs> Calling Hydra. Yeah, yeah, we don't have Hydra yet. Crazy, it's not that crazy. Read it again. Your Vox starter shotgun. <laughs> we have a um good source for catcom, so we have a 78% cat. Um, and we got we in fact got the gearbox SMG from Will William. And so we did bandit slaughter round one with the gearbox SMG, and it was actually very easy. Not leave you guys alone. What are with the antagonists? What happens if I shoot them? No. Are we done yet?
Couple Chrysalis. So annoying. They're just wall enemies. That's not a joke about them being made out of stone. Like me antagonist. Just, just don't retaliate. That's what they want. Airlock two reached. Please open airlock. As it turns out, Doll turned tail when the Crimson Lance showed up and flexed their various muscles. The central issue. Antagonist, what did we talk about? Do it right. Air launching it from Steam now. Play by Wonderland still, right? Oh! Verify game files in Steam. Rewatch video. It's a shield. Shields don't talk. It's a game. Wait, you don't hear it? I. Every time I've talked to the antagonist, it's responded. Snarkily. Kind of a dick, to be honest. Your FI game files is just bring back what you deleted, takes out the. Yeah. Uh, it, it reverts every file of the game to how it um, should be so as to match what it would look like if you downloaded it fresh. So 1340 shield talk? <laughs> yeah, but it don't have anything interesting to say. It's always like, shields up. I got you, boss. Sorry, Skull Masher. It's Diube time. But one must assume a deeper connection between the demon spewing vault and the limitless iridium in this planet. Perhaps someday I will uncover these secrets and further down the line invent a dance based around season. Oh, wait. <laughs> what do you mean they're fighting back? Okay, cool. Who said they were as docile as bloody kittens? Give me that gun, you coward! Aim for the blue one! Aim for the blue one! What does the pearl do that you just picked up? Higher crit? Pearl? Do you mean... Mission objective? <laughs> that pearl? I pick up a pearl recently. Pretty colored one that you just picked up. Oh, the Diab? This thing? Um, oh, it's it's just a purple Jacob shotgun. It's got a good barrel, so it's a mag 13, and it's high damage, and um, it has really good, uh, what do you call it? Handling. Yeah. All right, mm, Marky. I'm alive because of the fault hunter. Yeah, the. Ah, Gazangas. Oh, indeed. Thank you, Marcus. Uh. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Thank you, Marcus. We even got slag. Cool. I 
Anyway, um... Yeah, no, uh... Jacob's sniper. This is just a regular Jacob sniper. Um, the... <laughs> hey, another Molly one pistol! <laughs> Alright, we ain't doing that again! Oh, that one's in slag! <laughs> anyway, um, the... What's special about this is just that it's, like, the version you get from Butt Stallion, normally. It's a purple Jacob Sniper, but it's got a gemstone skin on it, which makes it prettier. And it also does give you 15% bullet reflection while you're holding it. That's the advantage over a regular, normal Jake purple Jacob Sniper. Yeah, there's the pearl. Yeah, right. That's true. Actually, you're right. We do have yet further encouragement to use gemstones in this playthrough. Stacking yet more bullet reflection. Oh. Sure, you think you're doing right? Hey, nice, Sophie. Hey, have fun, man. Whatever. Excuse you. Did you do the slide? Do some steps. There you go. Not that it matters. He's a dud. I did one thing right by following the steps the first try. Hey, nice. <laughs> no, be done. No, no, dude, that's legit. That's not dumb. Everyone does something out of their comfort zone for the first time, and seeing it actually work feels good. You don't have to compare yourself to us. Or me running a mod. Hey, Pyrex, how you doing? Good to see you. Back to the blue, we can step before the slide. I feel like I have seen that happen. And also, I'm guessing that you probably are telling this story after having learned the hard way at least once. In that case, he never did the slide. He did, but it was like a backwards slide. It was like a different slide. Moxie has pornography to accept. Thanks, sugar. I'm Lacker, hey, fun. These to the Echo I'm good, but fun. <laughs> no, I saw him do a frozen movement. I swear. Maybe it was a rotate. I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah. Bridge. Not too pleased with my sleep schedule right now, but I'm up. <laughs> You're up, um, and not in a very a state to be pleased about it. I take it. Yeah, I'm like invincible to bullets. Oh my god, actually though. Oh, the rack ruined it! Damn it, rack! Yeah, no, so we have the negative 
incoming damage now. If our kill skills are up, we heal from getting shot. Well, our shield does. Oh my god, we need to find more gemstones. Like, I, I love the shotgun, but like, we can run, we can do this with any gemstone. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, no, bullet reflect kills are your kills. They do everything. They proc cloud kill. Straight up, enemy shoots you, bullet bounces off, hits the enemy again, cloud kill appears. No, like, uh, your bullet reflection is, in fact, you shooting a bullet. <laughs> hey, dragon. How's it going? Gemstone AR Maya. <laughs> um... Twister? No, Wanderlust. Fibber? <laughs> yeah, Fibber was the right choice. Purple Grenade. I'll give it a chance. Unique AR. Definitely. I'll give it a chance. Although I'm kind of really now just wanting more purple gun <laughs> rolls. Dude. Dude. Give me more gemstones to choose from. I like this one. I'm not complaining about Jacob's being what we've got. But, you know, with this, really we should be playing aggressively. So really I'd like, you know, Jacob shotgun or bandit shotgun or Hyperion shotgun or something. Did you see the creeper drop before you go to bed? No. I wasn't gonna, though. I don't want to keep you awake literally forever because you refuse to go to bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, you can see the swallowed hole turn in. I should have done Laney, though, while we were there. Whatever. We're going back. Fun, but not for us. Yeah, go to bed, dude. <laughs> it was great hanging with you, crewman. Till next time, man. This time we'll do Laney. After Shorty. Did I say? Yeah, I say, but after Scooter. Like, actually, one kill, and we are just literally invincible. I guess you know, bullets, but like, that's pretty invincible. Because of a uh, release tomorrow. Oh, what's tomorrow? What? What? I just didn't want to aggro other stalkers. Why you no crit this way? World Warcraft Season of Discovery patch. Oh, cool. Alright, have fun tomorrow then. I guess we'll probably see you, you know, in another life. You know, when you uh, reborn after your World of Warcraft life. Ow! That's not a bullet! Cheater! Hey, that's not a bullet either! That's my money! I'm below health gate against crystalisks. And, um... You know, they don't really attack with bullets. They also make scary noises. I bet Lang will stop craving human flesh in a 
she smells them sizes. Why would anyone ever be a cannibal so long as pizza exists? <laughs> Oof. Okay, normally I'd do the nade jump to get that one, but, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Under the circumstances. Is that the best lines of the game? No, no, that's Marcus. Come on, man. When Marcus says no, oh. Included, how many uniques would the mod have? I don't know. I don't know how many are exclusively uniques. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can actually figure that out easily. 77. 77 have a hint that starts with purple. Or, wait, I guess we also want blue. For the comms, 87. Um, for all blue slash purple items, which does not include, you know, any uniques. Yeah. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, purple pistol. Yeah. Oh, E-Tech. Uh, E-Tech counts, right? Um... 97, including E-Tex. Yeah. Um, and then altogether, there's 317, I want to say. Use parentheses searching up words. Uh, that's regex. Um, VS Code does regex. Uh, your text editor of choice may or may not use regex. Whole life has changed. Find a text editor that does regex if you want it. Yeah. Okay, are we gonna level up af off of Sleazy? No. Who are we gonna level up off of? Krabby! Nope. Tipsy! Tipsy! <laughs> yeah, dude! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, the, you wouldn't be as excited about Regex if you knew about it. Trust me. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Bunny Emote on this. It's so useful, but it's so awful. But it's so important. But it's so gross. What did Lenny drop? Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't even look. You're right. Um... Unique AR. Really? Again? Man, there's some unique ARs in here. The good one is using dot .command as file-based regex. Regex, it's wild. Dot .command. What's dot .command? That's like a more recent Windows scripting thing, isn't it? Stomper time. Yeah, I mean, it's cheating if you want to guess uh, both um, Laney's and Shorty's or whoever's as a stomper, but go for it. Oh, good. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead okay. Now that we have been allowed to turn that in. Getting closer and closer to digging up the world. Oh, you. Still don't know you will help me and I will pay you. I can help you with that. Why was Doctor's Order still level 20? 
Because wildlife is 20. Why is wildlife level 20? I was 21. <gasps> Did I need to save quit to get sanctuary to level up before I turn the... Oh, wow. I think I just learned something. If you level up, then go back to sanctuary. Sanctuary doesn't level up until you save quit, and that includes um, story missions that you are granted. Huh. Fair enough. Torg Allegiance. Nah, not not for us. Alright, Overlook's still 18. Four. And then slash R modifier. Percent percent I in all dot MP4 though. Oh, globbing. Yeah. That's called globbing. Um when you uh expand uh, file name wild cards to ex to cover whatever may match it in a folder. I try to load as a vid. <laughs> no, not not on my screen. Wait, did it? Hold on, Twitch chat. No, no, not for me. <laughs> Asterisk got MP4. Wait, so hold on. What all leveled up just now? When I did that, Costa Caverns probably, but it doesn't matter because we don't need any of those checks. Um, yes, fridge. Let's go finish fridge. Oh, quasar. <gasps> dust! That was it. Hold on, we're going to the dust to get new antagonist and twister. Right. Right. That's what I was thinking. We're not doing missions there. New missions there. We're doing old missions there after that turn in. Do that thing you do. Um, cars? Thank you. Hello. Okay, so, in theory, we might only need the gas cans. Let me memorize where the gas cans are. Okay, that's a volleyball. I want to test. Hey. Oh, that's a barrel. I don't like him. I hate him. So yeah, let's leave all volleyballs, just get gas cans. That's a volleyball. That's a gas can. I only have eight bullets for this thing left. But I, like, very feel very, very safe holding it, so, you know. Is that a gas can? Tis. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's awesome! Thanks, Loot Rando, for breaking this mission in my favor, not against. Not gonna fix that. <laughs> uh, fire. 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 Ah, oh, shit.
Uh oh. Hey, who's got a fire gun? <laughs> so am I what broke when you repeat this mission? Because Loot Rando makes it repeatable. Um, you are, don't need to pick up the volleyballs. You just need to pick up the gas cans. Or maybe it'll work if you just pick up the volleyballs. Um, maybe it's just like you need to complete one of the two objective sets. Shit. Um. Uh. Er, um. Oh, damn it. No. <laughs> Uh, where else could we loot something that is potentially, hopefully, maybe fire right now? More chest. Lockers. Mm -hmm. I'll do those if I really have to. And I'm looking for a chest. We haven't opened yet. There's a fire barrel. I should have just rolled it down the hill, dude. Toilet near the net? Well, you think there's a toilet with like a guaranteed fire weapon? Nah, -uh. no way. There's a chest. There's very valuable armaments over here. Stay away unless you want to get blasted. God damn it! <laughs> Nah, <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> uh, toilet, toilet, buzzard icon. Toilet. That's a barrel. Toilet? Oh, wait, wait. I see more toiletry. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Toilet? Hmm. What can we do that's, like, extremely clever and solves all of our problems with no effort? gambling machine. <laughs> yeah, but that's not up here. Otherwise, I totally would gamble until we got one. Respect for Helios. Is there a respect station up here, too? Box? Torg? Couldn't have been Molly one? Set yourself on fire. Okay, how? I would love to do that. Spike shield! Couldn't have been Nova! Although, actually, I don't know if that would have even worked. <laughs> Probably no nades don't work. 
fox got in that spiral and stopped teasing me! <laughs> Toilet! So I should always be carrying a hide. <laughs> I love how we actually did, in fact, get two fire elemental things, and neither of them were guns. That's awesome. Alright, um, I'm gonna save quit. We'll kill a couple more cars for Ellie. And... What was our box? Our box was a dud. That sure couldn't have been a good touch, huh? Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. Hmm. <laughs> um. Um. What was Hellfire in this seed? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably our fastest. No, fastest would just be Vendor. But it wouldn't be very loot rando now, would it? Okay, Hellfire. Town ain't big enough. Hammy! <laughs> well, we're here. We'll get Sniper SDU. Fine. What you want? Mercenary person. I'm still captain. That fox got captain cyberbully. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that was, like, very deliberately mean to me. So as to make me feel like shit. That's bullying. Okay, we could have bought a gun for a veteran. Right, no, I mean, I was about to, but no. No. This is more loot rando. I could have turned it in there. Yeah, whatever. You're setting my blight collar. What's the best character background for blight collars for Warden? Who? What? Please make Captain Flint's death as pro. Those words mean. I think he's playing oh, Order Wonder. Wait, cars, cars. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry that we can't relate to you on this fun, new fun thing that you're doing. Trust me, I, I, I feel that. Oh, we didn't need to go over here because we just left this off. Eating fire. Can I just double swap something? Suspicious, though. That must have buzzed their towers. No more sweaty slow 
Wait, let's let the men do it. Go ahead, men. Shoot me. Oh! Oh, maybe if you were wearing a shirt, you wouldn't die. You wouldn't be the one dying when shooting me. All right, I got him. <laughs> Spore Warden summons plant pets. <laughs> Oops. I really shouldn't have teleported the vehicle in this instance. Don't worry. We will get... Okay, we're safe. We will get a streamlined route for this mission down. <laughs> You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, but we don't need to now, because look at that. First run. Thank you. What a pal, dude. I love him. All right. Last two ornaments. Hey, bees. I know. We get a twister seed, dude. Not just twister, but like, you know... Twister that levels up! Twisters! Jacob's stock unusable. Yeah. Guess I shouldn't fire it too fast, huh? Might be hard with the twister, but. Hey, how you doing, bees? Things are looking up! Yeah! I got enough ornaments. This place is gonna look bad ass once they're up. Who goes there? People are gonna see that one. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. Hot. Hot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's looking good. Explosions, theft, and interior design. That's hell of a day. Garbage. Holy shit, that's so bad. Is it so bad that I want another? Kinda. Wanna help me One more. Something? Going list of items that affect card damage. Trying to see if I missed any niche ones. Uh, you're familiar with Sawblade getting melee, I assume. Oh, what's in the box? Is that double bandit? It sure is. Double bandit TDR? No, wrong one. Yeah, bandit, bandit, TDR. Crip buffs, Amigo Shield Bypass, cool. Uh, Orc Rog, yeah, yeah. Do I know anything else? Probably not. Obviously B. Uh, okay, you're familiar with the Love Thumper proccing when a saw blade hits, right? So that the car Novas. Love Lover Manly. Manly Man? Oh, I didn't know that one. That's funny. <laughs> you see a little, a stupid, tiny, little explosive damage number on saw blades. <laughs> That's so dumb. Wonder if Ogre. Yeah, no, I mean, that would be exactly like Orc. Test it, but you don't need to test it. Exactly like Orc and Grog. Yeah. Oh, okay, I wonder... Do you think Morningstar? If you got a crit with your vehicle in a car while holding Morningstar, would you stack crit? Man, would you, look at that design? you must like manly man if it spawns. <laughs> Um, we did get Manly Man Shield. Unfortunately, it was over-leveled at the time. Shame. Need to hit a crit, right? I don't know. I think so.
New Dexy strat. Mm. Can you aim that high? In those stupid boats? And be like, that one's my favorite. Hot. Hot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's looking good. Share me. Ooh, good one. Yeah, yeah. Do you get share me? Staffed and interior design. Hell of a day. Are you kidding? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to dunk on fools with my 32% antagonist. Okay. Got to do our fridge farms. We got to figure out what's what. Oh, wait. Hope you know. Keep farming. It hurts me. No, just wait until you see it in action. It won't hurt you anymore, I promise. think you have a shock weapon? Uh, we'll do... Well, no, we'll do Lady now. Poor little fella. He ascends! No, not you. Get the twister be jumped. I know. <laughs> I thought I picked this up again, but okay. Oh wait. <coughs> okay. Well, at least we didn't leave it unturned in so they'll spawn over here and then we can like keep running through the map to get the other glide spawn i guess while we're at it <coughs> derby's crypt transfusion thought it was all Damage, so it has both, like, 1% lifesteal or something? Okay, oh, Kale says 2%, okay. Uh, but also, when you get a crit with it, um, it spawns transfusion trails where it hit uh, on the spot of the crit. Uh, and those um, target you and your friends like a normal transfusion made. The way you accepted Best Mother's Day ever made me very nervous it would break. That's a thing? Best Mother's Day breaking when you pick it up too fast or what? What do you mean? Where Goliath, friend? There, oh, there he is. You accept Echo Tech missions too soon after interacting with them it breaks. Really? Okay. Really? 
Welcome, customer. Really? Doing well. Never once had it happen. And I spam every time. Maybe I'm just... I'm, my APM is too low, man. I gotta work on that. Starting to share me don't now. There's only a few. Well, so a lot of these work exactly the same. I know this because, you know, I um, was able to just have, like, a generic piece of code that worked for all of them. You know, that piece of code that fails to make their exclamation marks appear, frustratingly. They boost bar, bar barrel damage. I don't know what it counts as. Commerce! Off the list for unique SMG. Heck yeah. Thank you, Antagonist, for slagging someone in a useful capacity. Pearlescent weapon, you say. Please don't be butcher, please don't be butcher, please don't be butcher, please don't be butcher. Becca, I would be willing to farm this shit for a Becca. Patriot. Yeah, you know, the Patriot hates us all so much that it probably would spawn even if the hint was pearlescent. Oh yeah, no, no, totally. Uh, don't worry, you don't need to apologize. I don't have, like, sensitivity about one life deaths. How's it going, Mockerish? Good to see you again. <laughs> My favorite echo. <laughs> I didn't kill them, I promise. I, I like that. Because it suggests a possible interpretation of Batman, where he killed his own parents, he's fucking psycho. <laughs> hey, Meticulous, good to see you. Then that specific piece of wood isn't real and that's a win in your book. Yeah, well, also, beyond that, so there's that specific one. But also just this kind of general mindset where I really shouldn't feel that confident in content that I have done never. You know, even when it's like, you know, just walking. Um, like, in that case, you know, if I had been treating it like, you know, a one life so thoroughly that, like, hey, you know, I don't necessarily know exactly the route that I'm walking. I should, you know, like, walk a little slower or, you know, like, look over this bridge before I trust the bridge, then that wouldn't have happened. There it is. Thank you. And really, like, what I wanted to get out of doing loot rando one lives was learning every piece of content and not just the incredibly whittled down game that is normally part of the one life route. So as, like, stupid as just walking off that bridge was, it legit was in that interest, you know? Wait, 
Wait, can you be picked? Oh my god, you can. Poor boss. Did I pick up the hint last time? Did I dismiss? Is there a hint or a pearl lying somewhere around here? Hello, Kareen. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Hmm. It was fun doing every side quest and exploring around so much more than usual. Dude, I know! I know! Isn't that the best part, Fulcrum? That, like, you know... This game has so much content. It's got... Uh, literally, by, um, you know, my catalog... Uh... 500 pieces of content to interact with. Um, but we never touch any of it because, you know, it doesn't give things like the fastball. Rackman is probably canon somewhere. Oh, wait, I don't need to do Rackman because we've determined that he's dud. Let me let these guys help me kill these guys and then, uh... Be on our way. Okay. We've all made that same face because of our own stupidity. It hit me in the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm glad that you were able to get a laugh out of it. Killing Mal gave us the stinger. Okay, and that has to be the funnest weapon to orc swap. How many pistol SDUs did you get? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, yeah. That's nice because, um... Uh, you know, the stinger um, has the slow bullets for you to appreciate, like, the sheer ridiculousness of what you're doing to it. <laughs> Not enough! <laughs> What does the orc do? Okay, so you know how the grog has the drunk effect? Where um, if you swap to the grog, or periodically while you're holding the grog, it procs uh, several seconds of, like, bonus gun stats. Like, it gives you plus five projectiles, but, like, minus fire rate. The orc has an effect that procs in a, the same way, but the gun stats are different. It does plus one projectile, but it gives... Um everything else positive as well. Fire rate, gun damage, um, reload speed, double shot chance, which is essentially just more fire rate. Ricochets and splits into more bullets, right? There it is. Uh. <laughs> Those guys were twins. They had like the same gun and they did the same slap and then they died at the same time. Where's the gun pile? Working on it. Welcome back, Arch. All stats like the Evil Smasher. It's not as um, strong of an effect as the Evil Smasher. It's not all stats. Evil Smasher gives mag, it gives recoil reduction, it gives accuracy. Um, Orc doesn't actually do every good stat. It's very specifically plus... Oh, also, Evil Smasher doesn't give plus projectile. <laughs> anyway, um, it's very specifically on the Orc. Plus projectile... Uh, Plus double shot chance, plus fire rate, plus base damage, plus reload speed. That's it. Evil Smasher is- yeah, Evil Smasher is the glitch where it gets very voluminous. Not to be confused with voluminous. Okay. 
The sister you got there, sir. Yes, it is. Thank you. What's up, Lemon? How you doing? Oh, oh it's like right, Ricochet. You're right, you're right. And um, Evil Smasher does not do Ricochet. Gage does Ricochet. You always seem to have a twister. I don't. But I do with Biznap and I do here. Where did it go again? What happens to this ship? Where's my hint? And or, or or pearl. Do you have it? Uh, normally smash head drops the uh bandit shotgun, the sledge sledge shotgun. I found it. Note to self, person. There's gun pile. Yeah, sledges. <clears throat> Successfully modded in your first custom item? No way! Okay, do you mean like... Uh, gibbed in an item? Or do you mean like... Uh, no, you said custom item. Hey, wow, cool! Bravo, dude! Pearl's the most fun thing see for... Yeah, because it's like there's only one category that is pearl. And it's pearlescent weapon. So, like, you know, you see that different rarity and that different text color, and it's all the more exciting. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I use the kitten so much, though, but it's like, that doesn't... It's still so fun. So as for that to have not really detracted from it. Should we give you more? Yeah, me and my hot kitten here need to be left alone. Hey, yeah, now we got a fire weapon. You're right. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> Let's never sell it. <laughs> hey, scrum. Gungasm. <laughs> or gunsum. Thank you for letting me use a stinger! It's so much one of those categories, right? By the time you can get a stinger, you're past the point in progression where you would really bother farming a stinger. Nope. Now where is it? Holy hell, what is with the loot physics in this one? Oh, it landed in the chest. Not this time, Do doesn't look like it anyway. Hello, I am shit. How are you? Frame rate isn't 30. But like, I don't know, it doesn't seem to fling that hard normally. It's just sometimes I don't even see it at all. We found it once and it had just buried itself in chest collision. I don't know if frame rate would even help that. See it! It's a converged thing? Nah. Hey Stacy, good to see you again. Yeah, I'm doing good shit. Thanks, dude.
Damn shit. <laughs> For just saying, like, no, I mean, really, there's no correlation there, but there is lots of correlation with um, killing an enemy too hard or uh, loot colliding with other things as it comes into existence, including other loot coming into existence at the same time. It'd be awesome to have Borderlands 2 and Free Sequel be in the same game. Oh yeah. No, yeah, you're definitely not the first person to wish that they could enjoy TPS characters with um, BL2 content, for example. Limitations that make it impossible. Not impossible, but um, it would require someone who is exceptionally talented, like really talented, to dedicate hundreds of hours to it. And right now, there's just no one that talented with that much time on their hands. Oh! Is that Bearcat? What is that? Tiz! Alright, we're free from Smashhead! Forever! I don't space pants. Hey, me too. How's it going, dude? Space. Your butt is from Thank space. you. My he. My ha. My uh, he, my uh, ha, ha. There, you got your money's worth from me. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Happy three months. Enjoy the sub and your lurk and all that as always. <laughs> Appreciate you, dude. Thanks, for, thanks for keeping the support alive. I'm not sure you want to say I would pay a thousand bucks. Yeah, I also would pay. Uh, Three digits. I don't know about a thousand. But man, getting four more playable characters in BL... Sorry, four. Six. Getting six more playable characters in BL2. And not just any six playable characters. But the TPS ones. Yeah. No, it's the Holy Grail. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people discuss it um, as a desire it would really be just like too good athena game yeah athena in the game but everyone in the game any any new playable characters would be amazing and those are the six best playable characters that has ever been in a borderlands game you would get six new characters and it would be those six new characters you know really is just too good to be true, though. <laughs> Athena with peak opener. <laughs> uh, Athena with interfacer. Athena with, um, well, okay, I was gonna say Athena with heartbreaker, but she gets that. Athena stacking with the butcher and then switching to the interfacer at 700. Oh, boy. The frost lady fist. See the slag lady. Uh. Nisha with the Lady Fist, that's the problem. That's the downside to all this. Pimp on Athena. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, infinite ammo pimp. Yep. Yeah. It would keep stat it would maintain seven hundred, wouldn't it? With sweet spots anyway. Aurelia. Oh, Frost Lady Aurelia. Changed to... It's like, I see. No, no, I think in this, like, theoretical world, we would get Cryo in BL2. I think. I don't know. I guess you could take whatever liberties you wanted. Chopper Nisha. Chopper Athena! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, switch to the chopper at 700 stacks! <laughs> oh, wait. Right, gotta... Gotta do this pattern. 
there exists in the code? No. No, not in BL2s. Um, I mean, the closest there is is, like, you know, there's odd instances where you get, like, this unique cryo debuff because you, uh, walked in the water in, like, cold area. Lead storm, Athena? I don't think she would break the lead storm as much as she would, uh, like, the interfacer. The chopper, I'm memeing, like, like, you know, she would have infinite ammo chopper, and that would be cool. And actually... You could probably mob uh, really effectively with, like, flash freeze in the chopper. But anyway, 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 that would just be a meme. I don't think, like, the um, lead storm, she would break that hard. You know, the most that Athena breaks things is when she bypasses their magazine, you know, which is why, like, you know, her top tier gear in TPS is just straight up. A regular purple Hyperion shotgun, you know? Is because you get infinite fire rate on this thing and fully auto, but you're also not reloading every three shots. And the lead storm, it's like, yeah, she'll get a lot of fire rate on it, but you know. Okay. Yeah, the development's right, right. So I think it's like, you know, on Athena, on Athena, you give a, uh, Shadow of the Seraph's Relic and a Shock Interfacer. And you stand at point blank or sweet spot range and, um, it would be like uber development. The end game work, OP levels and such. <laughs> Finally, the TPS characters would feel difficult. <laughs> Orking Athena. I do like the idea <laughs> that actually... Uh, orking, you, she has swap speed. Oh my god, no wait, you're right! Dog, you would, you would proc unrelenting and you would have so much fucking swap speed, you're just swapping between two orcs. Shooting each one just a little bit each time. But like, you know, you think you get orc stacks as Axton with 10 points in expertise? Yo, 999 Maelstrom with 11 and unrelenting? <laughs> oh my god! Someone, okay, someone at least just port the orc to TPS. Killed Dexy, but I actually did everything the part. Yeah, right, right. Shouldn't shoot in that direction. Oh my god, you're so right about Orky, Athena. I didn't even think of that. Forget the, like, you know, reduced ammo consumption from unrelenting. The swap speed. Or sorry, swap speed from swap speeds from elemental barrage. Unrelenting is just the ammo. Elemental barrage is the actually fuck. Which one's which? One of them is fire rate and swap speed based on maelstrom stack, and the other one is reduced ammo consumption based on maelstrom stack. Barrage is the free ammo. Okay, free ammo while storm we based on maelstrom stack while storm weaving is active. And then unrelenting is kill skill, fire rate, and swap speed based on Maelstrom stack. Anyway. Yeah, wow. There are safe spots for Dexy, right? Um, not purely safe. Like, you have to move based on where he moves to block his attacks. Keep his attacks blocked. Unless there's, like, an actual perfectly safe spot for him. Is that 
Why are you asking, Gas? Why are you asking about kill Dexy so long as you have ammo regen? And can crit. Okay, okay. Okay, you're not talking about a multi-week-long Dexy kill where you don't pop pimple pimples. Kill Dexy with a chopper. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you know Gas? This is his okay. shotgun that we never checked or that we don't know that I can remember badass creeper right okay Thanks again, man. rend with more good mob density map sounds awesome yeah totally Two chopper cell. I made a chopper cell and it was legit. It could make it all the way through bloodshot without running out of ammo. OP 10. sell any tips no just you know um get a kill punch cancel um make sure to oh, do not shoot be very careful while you don't have your kill skills up that's all about shooting I didn't turn it in this time. Mm, do they still spawn? Like, in the yonder? It says Legendary Hoarder is the way to go. That's what I used. Just because, you know, it's also DPS. But honestly, um, you might want um, uh, a plus six. Uh, five shots or six com instead. Spawn. Yeah, I'm afraid of me wasting my time right now. Too late. <laughs> it's almost weird seeing blue gear not from loot rando check. Okay, you're being... Oh, I should not have come here.
I ain't seeing no sinkhole. I mean, they respawn uh, after the mission, but I didn't even turn the mission in. That's the problem. Antagonist on TPS characters. It'd be balanced by OP10. But yeah, yeah, Athena with an antagonist and conduit. Or, no, I take it back. Athena with a triple pangolin blockade and conduit. No, no, Athena would actually be a blockade character. Because she would want pangolin. Hold on, I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Hello. Return fire. Yeah, huh. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if return fire's bullet deflect mechanics are just the same compounding three stats, same as bullet deflection items in BL2. Items and skills. Probably. Also, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Athena with the Norfleet. Fucking duh. <laughs> you get up to seven stacks and you swap to the Norfleet. <laughs> infinite fire rate, infinite mag Norfleet. That's it. <laughs> that would be how you would do um, flash freeze on her. <laughs> Cryo Norfleet at that. Can I pass my Rustler's, Rustler's Arf Maker from Zero to Maya? In one life, Zero died. Um, It's a safe farm. The rules for safe farms is, yeah, you can stash that thing. Future characters need to do Blades Log at the exact same level. Uh, and then when they turn it in, they can then swap it out for the one that you previously read-only farmed. Again, that's only true for what are considered to be safe read-only farms. Ones that don't involve any enemy interaction whatsoever. No enemies getting mad at you, even, when you do the farm. So, like, you know, the ruby is fine because you're just running to Moxie in Sanctuary. The Orphan Maker's fine. You're just driving to the chest. Again, no enemies. It's not true for, say, the Pimpernel, you know. Um, even if you're zero and you can sneak past the loaders, I mean, that's that's not safe. That's That's gameplay. Yeah, Heartbreaker is okay too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, like, you know, it's it's key that you do, that the levels match. Um, you know, if you got the ROM at level 27 on one character and you want to use that one again, you have to do it exactly at 27 again. Crosshair for the hail and the world burn. Have a little arrow that moves depending on your accuracy. Mm -hmm. I'll have to pay attention to that. You're talking about the um Oh my god, we talked about this like years ago, what the name of that type of site is for like a grenade launcher. Yeah, this. What is this called? 
this this thing. Um, here, Quora. Why do grenade launcher use ladder type sights? Oh, okay, ladder. Okay. Finally, we're free! Bruv. You know, that's not bad. Hey, that's like a lot of... Yeah. Alright, anyway. Alright, finally, let's go do something else. Let's go to wildlife. Also, let me sell all these launchers. I guess I'll stash that? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Nah, I'd never use it over the Quasar, let's be honest. Try not to die. Uh Sanctuary. Who kitten? Laney. Laney has a pet kitten. I love her. Purple site to you. Seems on most guns in the late eighteen hundreds. There's no use case for it in modern day, like, you know, even things like a grenade launcher, you know, with, like, you know, much heavier drop-off. Okay. So I will put away the cat. Now, you know what, by the time we want to use a cat... Uh, we'll probably be eligible for level 25 one. Let's! Okay, we did get doctor's orders. Anything else? Oh, we we're gonna do hidden journals. Mm. And torture chairs. We will, we will. Let's, let's go to wildlife. The torture chairs reward is level 25, regardless. Anyway, the idea behind the ladder site is it's like, um, it has, uh, distances, and so, you know, like, you do, like, a rough approximation of, like, you know, hey, here's how much it will have dropped off after this much distance. So use modern day, mostly military grid launcher. Right, okay, okay, yeah. The ceiling chairs, they know. <laughs> what is the get current health value command? Um, get all health resource pool current value. Three words. Get all health resource pool current value. I can give you support and lead you to blood wing. You get my bird, you get your clap trap upgrade. Wait, we have to let the loaders do it to themselves. Take the okay, I got another idea. <laughs> We did it! We wounded it! Oh my god, that works so- <laughs> That was so dumb! <laughs> I 
All right, let's just take a nice stroll through wildlife. Oh, I shouldn't have sniped that man. That undermines the nice stroll we're having. Welcome to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. Jack says he built this place to promote science and discovery and whatever the hell. But it's BS. Hey, you know, we're not too overleveled right now. Maybe we'll actually do creature slaughter this time. Because, you know, we're always too overleveled for creature slaughter by the time we actually do it. I was gonna do this whole thing where I'd lure you in here and kill you, but you just, well, you just kind of showed up. Thanks for saving me the... Slag mutation is a volatile, brutal science that flies in the face of human ethics. Needless Future say, Slaughter has no bullet, I know. It'll almost be like, you know, we're not invincible. Crazy. Almost. We still have an antagonist. And ward. And inertia. And a ruby. And a quasar. Okay, before we do that, might as well check Pimon and Tumba. A farming room. Yeah, we'll kill the ulti. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. <sighs> Has 100% reflection possible in vanilla. Um, Maya gets 100% reflection with one point in kinetic reflection. There's three stats uh, that dictate bullet reflection. One is the chance to deflect a bullet. The other is how much that deflected bullet uh, how much uh, that bullet's damage gets reduced by, therefore you take less damage. And then there's um, how much damage the bullet deals when it hits an enemy after having been reflected off of you. So th every um, source of bullet reflection contributes to those three stats. Um... The antagonist uh, gives always gives you 50% chance, but then a variable amount of the damage and the reduction. Maya's kinetic reflection always gives you 100% chance, but a variable amount of reduction and a variable amount of damage as well. Gemstones always give you 15% chance, but then 70% reduction. Is that right? 70%? And I don't know what the damage is, because, like, you know, that's... who cares. Save quit is... yeah, it still breaks inside Annex. Let me do a midget run. So anyway, right now... <laughs> we have our 100% chance... Um, from Kinetic Reflection. Then we have 70% damage reduction from kinetic reflection but also another 32 percent damage reduction for a total of 100 percent sorry 102 percent damage reduction technically when we have our kill skills up when we have kinetic reflection up we heal from bullets for two percent of their damage what their damage would have been That's a good argument for you to fix it as part of the mod. Yeah, I know. You know, that was the thing. Yeah, it's pretty busted. Maya, Maya just wearing the antagonist is, like, real strong at OP-10 as a survivability setup. But then also, um, you could do silly things like Sal wearing an antagonist holding two gemstones is just immune to bullets. You don't even need kill skills. Just getting shot recharges your shield at all times. Hey, Shower Handle. How you been? Long time.
Am I the invincible until she goes in to fight for your life? Then you're like one of the baby seals that makes funny noises. Yeah, you're not wrong. Flush log file go. Uh, okay, so you know where your save folder is, your your save games folder. Go up a couple levels somewhere in Willow game. There's like logs, and it's the most recent. Um, thought it was Python. No, that's different. That's anything that Python Unreal SDK dot log goes, and that's it. Um, uh, the game's console commands output to here. I'll show you. Uh, So like, you know, my games, Borderlands 2, Willow game, logs, most recent one, just launch.log. Yeah. <coughs> well, I see a bottle. No midgets for us. I don't care what you do to me, just let my husband uh, go. No, no doctor's orders midgets for us. Have it's we got a regular midget yet? Anyway. Just please let him go. What's the hold up, Sammy? Where are you? Don't call me. Go. This subject is unsuitable for testing. Right. Where did you? Okay. So your doctor if you experience not just swallowing or short as a breath. Wife of yours and how you wanted to see her like ever again. You can't. Still don't okay. hear screaming. That's nice. Did you find her? What a nice mission. She okay. Looking for Okay. Take two. I just saw the time. Hey. <laughs> that one okay how the fuck is it already 15 past 7 <gasps> oh my god hey who else has been playing loot rando and you look at the clock and you're like what <laughs> guys it was wonderful hanging out with all of you all day thanks so much for sharing in this fun with me great having you <laughs> hope you had as much fun as i did apparently really y'all are y'all are a great crowd this was a real enjoyable experience um why was your stream crash? No, not even that. It just doesn't even feel close to seven yet. It's me with Factorio. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Insert just game that you're that excited about. Yeah. Seriously, thanks for thanks for everything today, guys. Thanks for all the support, you know, the donations and the subs and the gifts and the hosts, all the things that let us do this. Y'all are the best. Thanks to all of you. We'll get to do this again tomorrow. Normal time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, 18 UTC. But until then, y'all have a good rest of your nights. <laughs>